the moment Halo 2 was released in 2004, it was clear that Earth would never be the same. In addition to groundbreaking FPS gameplay, compelling story, revolutionary visuals, and a rockin' soundtrack, Halo 2 popularized online multiplayer matchmaking for a new generation. It's also credited with giving birth to American console esports. The game was incredibly skillful, incredibly competitive. It was this online explosion that got people to actually see that there was the potential for, you know, video game competitions. The rise of Halo 2 raised the ceilings of esports athletes, making idols out of gamers like Walshy, T Squared, Elamai Warrior, Ghost Ayami, and Nated. These Halo pioneers inspired a new generation of esports phenoms. Halo in general, it takes skill, like a lot of individual skill. One of whom would go on to become the biggest gamer in the world. Ninja comes from the Halo community. Quit trying to steal our superstars. Ninja's the biggest game in the world, and he came from Halo. In the zone, baby. This is what I'm in. Halo 2 transformed the worldwide landscape of gaming forever. And now, it's time to finish this fight. This is what this is where the chaos is just gonna unfold. Stay away from us, or you're gonna get popped. This guy's serious about the game, his mechanics are clean. This is gonna be really, really exciting. What? <laughs> this is not your everyday competition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. No, it's not the MLG ESPN Top 10, but it is Twitch Rivals. I'm your host, Chris Puckett, and I am so pumped because today we are celebrating the return of Halo 2. It is Halo 2 Throwback with Ninja. I'm going to be hosting all the action. I'll be doing the play-by-play, -play, and I'm going to be joined today throughout this show by a legend. He has been going all over the country, touring, doing his comedy work, but we were able to lock him down in Chicago today. DMAC is joining us from a hotel room. DMAC from the Bracket Show to the Old Spice Report to cast it up top, now to casting from a hotel room. Halo 2 has been around the block. Bro, this feels like 2007 again. Bucket, what are we doing, bro? This is so beautiful. We are the we look the same. I don't know Basically. if somebody needs to tell us. We age very well. I think we look good. You look extra great today. I want you to know that. Uh, DMAC, we're going to have a great show. We have brought in all of the legends, right? If you ever came to an MLG tournament, if you ever played Halo online or watched the TV series on USA, uh, you know these names because there were juggernauts back then. Everyone was a local legend, but then you had this tier of gamers that was on everyone's radar. Dude, we had such a great time during that era and it sprouted to such big things in the esports industry and it all started here at mlg in 2007 when we were all in the mud when everybody was getting a boost mobile phone for being pro okay? <laughs> it's different now bucket everybody is it's different now ninja got a shoe okay once you get a shoe involved in the game it's a different story Ninja oh, making ball. more money. <laughs> he made yes, more money bro. on Family Feud than he did in most people's Halo career. So Ninja is joining us live on the show. I got to bring him in right now. DMAC, we are joined by the legend coming back to the roots. The blue haired hero is with us. Ninja, how are we feeling, buddy? Dude, feeling great, man. Feeling great. Just got out of the shower, bro. I'm ready to watch some double shots, some BXRs, and a little bit of shoddy sniper action. And of course, obviously, we haven't announced the show yet or the start of it, but we're doing the free for all, man. Which is uh, honestly always it's it's traditional, right? It's tradition. You 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 do the free for all on the first day. Yep. 
And then, and then we move into the 4v4s. Ninja, I'm a little bit bummed you didn't bust out the bandana. I've got mine. Or this one is not a ninja Ooh. bandana. This is a throwback to a player who is in the mix today. Legit. The original bandana rocker. America is in the building today, DMAC. Legit. One of the many joining us here on the show. But Ninja, we got to talk about this. Halo 2, such a legendary game. This is what took us from LAN parties and being forced to be in the same room to now playing online and grinding to the moon. Everyone was going for those 50s. What was it like oh, yeah. back then? Because this was before you officially became a pro. You were still a semi-pro back in this game. Dude, back in the day of Halo 2, man, I didn't even know MLG existed. Like, I didn't know that it was, like, a tangible thing. Um, like, I thought that there were just these teams. They already formed. They already existed. And then there was no actual way to, like, make it to these events. Until I realized that there was, like, the open bracket, right? I literally would just, I would tune in all the time to the MLG events. And I would be like, oh, man, it would be so cool to do this. And I was at a party one time when I said it. And they were like, you can just do that. You know that, right? Like, you just have to form it. You have to make a team. And then you guys just compete. And, they, like, you buy a pass and you, and you go. So I learned that in Halo 3, man. But back in the days, Halo 2, bro, you know, just the classic mom's basement gaming, dude. Grinding, uh, just trying to grind that 50, but getting standby and DDoS. It's so nutty. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, stand this by is what I learned from this story is you got to party in order to become a Halo 2 pro. Dude, that's how wrong. <laughs> We're going to party today. Let's take a look at the format for today's action. DMAC is going to be with us for the next seven hours. So lock in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 16 players. We're going to break it into four teams of four. One captain will choose his three teammates, and we're going to choose those teammates through a draft. No, there are no predetermined teams. You're not going to see a full final boss roster today, but you will see a mixing of the best of the best. We're starting things off with a little bit of free-for-all. Let's break it down for the people dmac how is the ffa gonna work and what are you looking forward to with big team battle i mean bro this is a wild format okay but it's the best of halo 2 so we're doing this free for all it's shoddy snipers two rounds we already have pools broken down eight player eight players in each heat and it's like once we do that we'll have a draft situation and that's the big thing fucking you know it's your ability to make a team that's going to be what leads to your success today. So if you're trying to make money, you better be a good captain. Yeah. And that was just the situation back in 2006. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, you, you had to be that leader. Like, you you wanted to scoop up that young kid and then just get carried for years to come. I remember when people were first scouting out, people like, I got your pistol. People like Ninja, Mickwin. Anyway, we're getting into this a little bit later. For now, we got to talk about the prizing. Free for all. You finish in our top four. Not only do you become a captain for the draft, you're also banking $400. A big team battle. You're part of the winning team. 18 hundred bucks second place 1200 bucks but that's just our first ten thousand dollars everyone is getting paid today and you can make some serious checks playing some 4v4 today mr ninja are you looking forward to the free for all the big team battle or are you looking forward to the fours um you know the big team battle is going to be uh, a very chill relaxing uh session of the of the stream i'm really looking forward to the free for all getting started uh watching some of these legends uh perform in you know in halo 2 snipe shoddy domination and fashion uh but of course the 44s are, are going to be i think what everyone's going to be waiting for right i think that's where everyone's yep. going to start really sweating you know what i'm saying they'll be putting the bandanas on if you will mm -hmm. like i honestly do you think <laughs> legit actually is going to be rocking the bandana today Maybe. i'm thinking He's in his mid thirties, right? He's probably bald. I'm expecting he's only recovering. <laughs> he had he had way too much testosterone as a sixteen year old. There's no <laughs> chance he still has hair follicles growing. I think yeah, that's gorgeous. what I was gonna say, Pucket. You were talking about picking up a young player, and it's like everybody in this pool is old. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that's gonna work this time. It, it, it's we we got people that have probably been divorced in this player. <laughs> it's, I don't think you're wrong. It's amazing. <laughs> I was like, reproducing probably. Divorcing? Maybe. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, I want to remind everybody, you saw the breakdown. Everyone is getting paid in the 4v4. You get $1,000 for fourth place, all the way up to $4,000 for first place. But most importantly, we've got Doritos for days, baby. If you win this tournament, we are hooking you up with a year's supply of Doritos. DMAC, Cool Ranch, Nacho Cheesier. Which way would you go, bro? Bro, I would go with Cool Ranch, and I would like some specificity on 
I didn't say that word correctly. <laughs> it but was close. I would like um, <laughs> some clarity on which Doritos we are going to get exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, which size? Uh, all these things matter, bro. So yeah. if we could get some clarification on this before the end of today, that would be fantastic. Mac only eats the 3D Doritos. Doritos, if you're watching, look the <laughs> man up. Uh, you can catch him somewhere between Chicago, LA, and New York City. Ninja, we got to jump into this with our, our list of the FFA uh, opponents here because this is going to be so epic. Lots and lots of talent in the free for all 16 players. We got two lobbies. The top eight are moving on. Here's a look at some of the juggernauts that are in the building tonight. Walshy, Elamite, T-Squared from Straight Rippin'. We got Ghost Ayami from Team Carbon, Naded from Perfect Storm and Storm Ventures, Best Man, Enable, and Briz Legit, just to name a few, DMAC. I mean, let's just say Walshy's picture looks like he started 10 businesses. Okay, so... <laughs> He is definitely Canetto. looking like somebody that knows what he's doing. And goes the army. I'm going to go with him. That's a New Jersey favorite. That's the homie for life. So Ghost got my vote all day. Ninja, who's the scariest on this list for you? Mm, I mean, in the free fall, I think that you're looking at, uh, I think Nated is going to be the person to look out for, man. The guy's been grinding Halo pretty consistently, as well as Snake Bite. Um, but I mean, look, you can't, you can't forget about hysteria, dude. Honestly, this whole list is terrifying, bro. Yeah. Um, it, mm. it, you know, also I believe we were talking earlier, man. You were saying that Mason, uh, Mason and Elamite were absolutely grinding Halo 2, getting ready for this. So they've dude, been I, playing I, every I, night. I've been tuning into the Twitch streams. If you guys haven't, Mason Cobb, aka Neighbor, used to be the flashiest player in Halo 2, in Halo 3. He he would only run the sniper rifle. He wouldn't help his teammates in the majority of situations unless he could bring up a multi-kill immediately after. Uh, neighbor is going to be a rock star. He's fired up, and his only goal talking to him is to beat Elamite Warrior. But both of those players have another juggernaut in their way. It's the original GOAT, the original team builder and captain. We got David Walshy Walsh joining the show. Dave, how yes, you feeling, baby? It's 2021, and you still still look like you're under 40 years old. Ah. <laughs> I'm still under 40 for a couple more years. I mean, I'm 37 years old and still playing this game. So, uh, yeah, still loving it. <laughs> Something's never changed, man. Dude, uh, Dave, you are absolutely a legend. I honestly put a hole in my wall hanging up your jersey before tonight's show. I had to rock the final boss hoodie, but back in the Halo 2 days, it wasn't final boss. You guys started off as shoot to kill. You became Team 3D before eventually landing on the final boss title that you guys carried on to multiple national championships. What were those days like for you? Because you lived as like the original pro gamer. Yeah, uh, it's it's so exciting to see where esports are at now. But back then, it was just it was incredibly exciting to be like, oh wow, we got like a sponsor maybe to cover our flights or hotel or like cover expenses and um, you know growing up with uh, MLG and like that explosion and that being on TV is just like it happens so quick. Like even though we see esports massive today, I went from you know like prize pools of like hundred or hundreds of dollars to you know like the prize pools that we're seeing today. Pretty big money on the line nowadays. Today, you're playing for $4,000 in the 4v4, also 400 bucks on the line in the free fall. But most importantly, you get to be a captain and draft your team if you finish in the top four. So, Dave, you're clearly in that top four. Who else do you think will be captains at the end of this FFA? Um, well, all four of us are are already the captains. So, I mean, like, I feel like oh, I'm you guys the captains locked in. Okay. thus far. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, I'm the captains. I feel like I'm the strongest. Let's be real. Like, all right, like T squared, Ghost Ayami, and uh, Elamite. Like, free for all back in the day, I was stronger than all of them. Also, just like team <laughs> building throughout the years, I was better than them. Like, <laughs> like when I was doing my interviews, I was being 100% honest. I did not sit down and count how many wins I had. I was like, I think I've lost six Halo 2 tournaments, and that's it. All the rest of them oh are W's. <laughs> Oh my God! Yo, he's going in, bro. Yeah, those Dang, bro, like I that. see that you, you have just lost started. Start of your uh, you still got it, bro. In here, you still got it. Okay, you might be a little slower in here, but in here, this is all that counts, player. 
I love it. Dave, uh, it's great to have you on the show, and thank you for clarifying. You are a captain. You officially get to draft a team no matter what, but you're playing for draft order. That is the distinguishing factor here. I think you're getting the number one draft pick. If you do lock it in, do you have a player in mind here, Dave? Um, I do, but, like, I'm not just going to give that out. Like, you know, that's... All right, it's, it's Ace. Here's the thing. is It's not because Ace <laughs> is, like, one of the best at Halo 2 right now. It's because I want to prove that I can win anyone. And, like, since I can't choose Elamite, oh. like, all right, I could take someone like Kyle Elam and bring him to a victory. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I can take Elamite's brother and bring him to a victory. And so that's what I just want to prove today is that I can take even someone like Ace to a W. Well, we know... We know you have been putting in a lot of time. You have brought in a very special oh trainer. You have been grinding. Dave, who has been prepping you for this ultimate moment of taking on your old colleagues once again? Well, you know, it's like it's like when Rocky was training for like Rocky 17 or whatever. And like the dude is like 37, should not be boxing, should not be playing video games. But I had to bring in somebody to help coach us up, to help get me ready. Um, I feel like free-for-alls are all luck, and I didn't have, like, a lucky rabbit's foot, but I found luck embodied in human form, brought him out here. I have with me today Mr. <laughs> no Michael Strongside Kavanaugh, here to coach the Bomb Boss roster. <laughs> get back to business. Let's, Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's so how, go. Are, how are we going to know if you're actually playing all day today? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can confirm that. Like, dude, they just called out our strat all day for for oh, you playing on the control. We've got to maybe or may not have a second control. He can't, he can't show his hands on camera, he said, because of personal be religious beliefs. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Of okay, course, okay. religious be beliefs can't show the fingernails. Like people's houses, there might be. <laughs> yep, yep. Strong has already got scheduled pizza deliveries going out to all the captain's houses during our critical <laughs> matches and time. So we can get doorbells <laughs> rang for for all these these food orders. Strong side has everything on lockdown outside of the game. I got it inside the game. All right, if you guys want to fund the mischief, go over to Walshy Stream, drop off a donation, help pay for a few of the pizzas that are going out to the other captains. That's Walshy, that's his ringer strong side, and you are going to see them in action in the free for all in just a bit. Ninja, you're a competitor. So You've done some special moves in your career. You have never brought in a ringer for an online tournament, have you? No, 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 never have, never have, man. Um, however, I thought about it. You know what I mean? Like, it, not, not, it, this was like, you know, I don't even want to. I don't even want to get into it. I've never, I've never done it right. But like all the game battles, <laughs> online matches, sometimes your teammates get like DDoS or head offline or something like that, and like you need to like have someone recover his account so you don't forfeit a match, man. You know, what I mean? like I've thought about something like that. But uh, anyways, yes, we had thirty. I mean, you know what it is, hands. bro? It's a veteran. That's that's what you're seeing. Veteran moves out of Walsh right here, getting in somebody to make the calls to these pizza delivery places that's something that we never thought we needed before bro and it's like this is something you learn after playing the game for 20 years right right he's a, he's so a goat fantastic. for a reason guys 100%. we got to go to a quick commercial break when we come back we are kicking things off a little bit of a fun game of shoddy sniper free-for-all you don't want to miss it we're going back to 2004 it's halo 2 time
Welcome back. It's Twitch Rivals, Puckett, D-Mac, and Ninja on the mic. Take a screenshot, send it to your mom. Tell her the good old days are back, baby, because we are going at it in Halo 2. The first free-for-all is loading up, and D-Mac, this is a matchmaking favorite. You're loaded in with seven other scrubs, shotties, snipers. It's nothing but headshots and close-up pumps. Personality to win in free-for-all. Okay, it, it needs an individual that's worried about himself. Yeah. Okay, it, it needs an individual that's not looking to buy a house, rather looking to buy a business. You know what I mean? They're not trying to build a family. They're trying to build the empire. That's the free-for-all vibes. Right. Okay, so it's going to take a certain type of businessman to get this done right. today. Mark Cuban, pro FFA player. I see where we're going. <laughs> Ninja, as someone who's actually finished above 13th place in a free for all, what is the key to success for anyone who is watching Halo for the first time and is watching a video game uh, for the second time in their life? Yeah, yeah. Um, dude, free for alls is a, there's always a little bit of luck involved. I think everyone's talked about it, but, it, you know, to a certain extent, right? You have the people who are on top for, you know, in free for alls who are always consistently placing top eight. And that's because they know where to be and they know what to do, right? And the key is to honestly make sure that you find yourself in a pretty solid, like, spawn trap position where you're just in a very, like, I would say, like, snipe two. You like S2, mm -hmm. S3, you're going to be able to pick up people who are spawning BR3, elbow. Um, and just on certain parts of the map that are incredibly vulnerable when they're spawning there. Um, and if you're uh, as a sneaky snake, like uh, like strong side nated and, you know, freaking just the, some of the legends back in the day, you just know how to pick people off. Just the last second, you let someone else get them nice and weak for you. And then you just literally shoot one shot and clean it up. So uh, the people were, you know, that's that's the key, dude. Here's my man T squared off to a slow start. Uh, Big Daddy T took to Twitter and he was saying it looks like uh, the people forgot who Daddy this. was. D Mac T squared, he was like the original bad guy in the Halo scene. I mean, come on, bro. Dr. Pepper Bottle T squared. Uh, 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 no disrespect to OG, he is one of the faces for a reason. T2 always got hated on, but always showed up, always won the big events. Still looks the same. Right? He, he's also yeah, got that baby blood flowing through these veins. Here's Optic Maniac. He's joined to Optic Gaming and uh, has become a content creator, just pumping out so many humorous videos. But back in the day, I knew Maniac as that kid who would be screaming on about Station 6. He would be talking so much smack whenever he'd get a headshot. 
And, and honestly, honestly, I think this is a good time to point out Maniac's growth recently of just putting himself out there, getting the help he needs, and just like us seeing that growth as a community, I think it's been absolutely beautiful, and I'm very, very uh, excited to see where his journey goes. I can't tell you, the Observer's trying to show people alive. Oh man, it's a classic Caster's curse, man. <laughs> Caster's curse, dude. It's a thing, bro. You know? So, right there, that's a perfect example, by the way, of what we're talking about spawn trapping, man. He looked over to the left, you saw Best Man literally spawn right in front of his crosshairs. And if, T if Daddy T was feeling himself, he would have popped one right in the face and moved on for a double kill. But, you know, he's got to learn the spawns, man. Learn the spawns, dude. It's a beautiful thing. Just gotta warm these thumbs up, you know? 100%. You haven't been on lockout for a minute. I mean, there's been remakes, right. there's been attempts to recreate this glory. There's only one true lockout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, man. A lot of, uh, I mean, Halo 3 tried it with blackout. It was a, you know, a fun, interesting map, but, you know, nowhere near competitive uh, and as iconic as lockout, man. We got Maniac already hitting a nice little double kill. Look at bottom middle, get a triple. Go with a shot and go! Mm. You got a clap deck? All right, Maniac. That is hysteria, dude. That is hysteria. Down to a T. Oh, you're, I'm your triple kill? Yeah, no scoped in the body. Nope. Sorry, not going to happen. Sorry, bro. Hysteria was arguably one of the best yeah. snipers, if not the best sniper for a while there, 2006, 2007, even on into the Halo 3 years. Snakebite in recent years, though, has been a guy who is known for his prowess with the power weapons. Ninja, you played him in Halo yeah. 4. I saw him a bit in Halo 3. What do, what do the fans need to know about this guy going to the throwback title? Dude, Snakebite is probably one of the best Halo players, like, in the world i would i would argue um you know he, he was super young so he really didn't get too much face time early on in halo 2. uh he started to pop off a lot in halo 3 and then really just started to shine obviously in the later halo titles just because you know he had a larger you know amount of play time dude you're gonna be able to shine dude so he he was able to just pick up a, a bunch of legends uh these young guns that you were talking about earlier man and just honestly coach them to uh to fame really you know and make them just a, a top incredible team just a great captain dude and uh, as you can see i'm pretty sure he's in first place right now or second just right behind the legend maniac he's just a beast man you know i honestly i i have him i think in top two oh placing God, today in free for all in the big team battle and in force maniac is showing a little bit of prowess right there he has taken the angled shot on that back br tower <laughs> And uh, I love the fact that we got beam rifles in the game. I can't yeah, remember absolutely. the last time I have seen the Covenant Sniper. Dude, the beam rifle is I'm not going to lie. I'm not surprised to see Maniac on top. From what I remember, he was one of the best snipers in the game. You know, so this is like right up his alley. I mean, in general, Maniac had some of the best aim in, in, across all Halo titles, man. Um, he was super confident with his TMR in Halo Reach and Halo 3. He was obviously a freaking monster. Just in every single Halo title, dude, he would take as many 1v1s as possible and usually win them, which is Maniac some of the scariest. Yeah. This is the last kill, I believe. Are they playing 25 or 50? Okay, we're going double the numbers. I thought Nader was sure going to be the first 25, and he was. So there we're going to see uh, a nice little warm-up session here for arguably the most popular Halo, Halo streamer at the moment. Out of all the former pros, Nated seems to be grinding the most. Whenever I'm on Twitch, the man is live, and I gotta thank him for a number of hosts over the last few weeks. He's, he's always supporting the OGs, especially the ones playing Halo 2, Halo 3. Yeah, yeah, bro, and he was one of the most skilled gamers back in the day. He he would come in and out sometimes. He had some weird teams with NV. Some you know he has been through it. Nated has seen himself outside of the top four in the top sixteen afterwards. You know, and he's come back in into the top four. So here's a pro that's literally done it all. Yeah, he's, he's won. He's lost. There oh, was the old man. school Purple way trick. of building a team by, you know, just being buddy buddy to everyone and always being complimentary. And then you could go the nated route, which was, I just want to kill things. You better be on. I want to play right now. If you're not on, I'm going to find someone else who's on more often. He grinded, <laughs> he built squads up from the ground with players you had only heard of in the free for all top 32. And uh, that's what I loved was one of the early teams, Storm Ventures. Nated is going to be representing Storm Ventures Perfect Storm. That's where we first saw legit. That's where we really saw guys like Samurai, Rambi, Extremist back exactly. in the day. Before the, the top Halo 3 teams that you remember him from being on, he was grinding from the seven my pro level all the way to the top with those early homegrown squads uh, guys is captain anarchy uh has he disconnected or 
Because he's, uh, <laughs> he's sitting he's, at the bottom of the barrel with four I, eliminations. I think he's right playing now. from a trailer in the desert somewhere. There you go. That makes sense. You'll we'll blame it up to. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, have, it's technically technical satellite. Can internet. we just acknowledge? Can we acknowledge that hysteria looks like he has a loan for a home? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Oh, there well, he is. Here's totally look at, okay, yeah, yeah. He's fixing his settings, bro. Yeah. He uh, well, he's been doing his hair dead. by himself since COVID kicked yeah, off. Yeah, Mohawk's yeah, looking clean, like, bro. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, that Mohawk is sick. <laughs> so we, I think we got like, uh, Maniac and, and Naden exclusive top three right now, <laughs> battling for first place. Seven and a half minutes left. Snake bite trailing in third place, man. I mean, anything could happen, dude. You know. Half lane. It, it's time to come hey, what back. What was the but, first uh, memory you have of guys like Captain Anarchy? Because we would all talk so much smack online. Halo had that proximity chat, right? But then eventually you had to go meet these people in person. I mean, it, Los is one of the good friends in gaming for me, man. And, and it just, yeah, he would talk a lot of shit online. And once you met him, he was just such a cool kid from mm -hmm. Arizona. That was his vibe. And, that was one of the things that we really bonded at looking at all 15 of these uh, players. It's like I'm friends with all of these players in, in one way or another. It's, I wish I was in a fantasy insane. football league with all these guys. It's like that. It yeah, brings back for to the real. good old days. We should probably make that. It, it makes me sad that I haven't kept up with some of these guys more than I have. But it, there, the love is still there. The show? Yeah, 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 I, just, I just heard you got a, an invite. Okay, that's yeah. that's happening. We're we're gonna we're gonna commission on this. We'll hire somebody. We got people for that. Uh, T squared on your screen. He was at the top of the leaderboard early. Now sitting around twenty five kills, still getting warmed up. What I love about this guy is we used to call it the T two combo. When you didn't carry a primary weapon, you only carried the power weapons. That's normally, fair. that being the sniper and the rocket. Yeah, looking back at it, I don't really think you want that named after you. You know what I mean? You gotta share the love, right? I mean, if you're holding the rockets and the sniper rifle, you know, which are basically the two of the main power weapons in almost every single Halo, you know, you, you're only, you're, I mean, you're at a pretty big disadvantage if you, if you run out of rockets. You, got, so you gotta remember the time we came up, though, Ninja. You were playing with your local guys, right? Your your teammates, yeah, right. you couldn't really trust. Yeah, so if you really wanted to win, so you, were the you had to drop 25 kills. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I get that for sure. Oh, my God. I mean, I feel that on a very high level, man. Um, yeah, well, and you maybe, dude, maybe we'll be blessed with the T2 combo a little bit today. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't yeah. think his his greedy ways have changed. I hope he brings it back out. Tom, I'm always here it. for it. I, I always see it, Tom. The, the full power weapon whoring. Maniac is going for a late run here, trying to fend off Snake Bite. Both tied at 43. Nated just two kills away from taking Lobby B. Lobby A, I should say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot we're only watching one at a time, which is, which is awesome. You see more Halo, man. God, I love this game so much, bro. This game literally, like, birthed my online gaming career, right? I mean, it was, I'm pretty sure that Halo 2 arguably was, was more, like, everyone's first online experience with a, you know, at least with a, mm -hmm. with a shooter that wasn't, you know, Counter-Strike. This game is so iconic. I mean, it's just everything, for dude. For us, it was probably XB yeah, no, Connect, no, no, right, Puckett? Gonna be, right. Go on there. And then yeah, finally, this was the first one that had, like, Xbox Live came out. You know, you right, weren't you right. weren't going and setting up custom servers and joining up together through a system link setting. This was like, hey, I'm just gonna go into the ether and find out where I stand against the rest of the planet. Exactly. Totally. Yeah, it, this was a whole new world. That's crazy, man. Yeah. All right, you were right, Ninja. We are doing the full time limit. Man. Four more minutes still to go on this one. It needed up over the 50 mark. Maniac about to be there. I'm pretty excited for this. This is just the warm up reminder, everybody. We're going to go to a free for all with normal BR start. The top four will be choosing their draft order between T squared, Ghost Yami, El My Warrior. And uh, I'm excited to see who's going to get the first draft pick. Who would you guys go after outside of the captains? Who is the biggest name in this tournament for you, DMAC? Bro, the shot is so weak at a distance. And, and I don't know that I would look at the FFA results and make my decisions like that. Like, I don't know if Nated won the FFA. I would say, oh, I want Nated as my first pick, right? So yeah. I'm looking, I'm sticking to what happened in Halo 2. I want players who are good team players. I would love a Ghostly Army on my team. I would love a Maniac on my team because I know he could control Sniper. I would love a snipe down on my team, you know? So these are the type of players that I would be looking at. 
and and I, I would know who I wanted before I went into the FFA. Oh, okay, basically. you do your yeah. research. Yeah, absolutely, man. The FFA really isn't. You know, it's, dude, it's just strictly as a warm-up, and, and you cannot, you know, I think that, uh, and this is not a dig at Nated at all. The guy is seriously one of the most talented players in Halo. But, like, if you could take, you know, FFA experience, and if, if that directly correlated to, you know, fours, then Nated would be one of the most winning, you know, pros out there in 4v4s. Because the guy yeah, was a honest. freaking monster. At, FFA. I, at the end of Halo 2, there's a there's a quote from one of my top tens. I thought Nated was the most dangerous player in Halo 2. He just needed a better manager. If we right. do it again, Nated, if we go back in time, I'm going to become rich off of you, and we're going to put yeah. you on that championship team with an ogre. Then we're going to send Dan to Australia, and you will stay a superstar. Neighbor on your screen, though, was one of my favorites to watch, and the man had some humble beginnings. He used to team with my college mm. roommate, Shibby, and I just remember walking by during the open bracket. They were fighting for top 64. Neighbor had 18 kills. The next highest on his team was four, and that was from Spyler. He's come a long way since then. Yeah, he is, man. Look how freaking attractive this man is. Look at that jawline. Is, this, is he like a freaking model? Because uh, he should be. Yeah, I think he's Yeah, he still looks like a model. And golf oh, my God. Jesus, man. Can we just, like, take a picture of his face and just put it over all our faces for the rest of this freaking event? I think that I think the viewing experience will go up, like, tenfold. Up? Uh, personally, bro, I'm more, of a, I'm more into a snipe down look. Okay. Oh, dude, he's looking real wavy. <laughs> you know Bro, what I mean? Snipe down look like yeah, yeah, yeah. a cute model. Thank player. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a best man. Can we get back over to best man? You know, I'm oh, going for bro, a best man Pennsylvania style human being. <laughs> yes. Can we just acknowledge that best man looks like there he listens is. to Joe Rogan? Oh yeah, he that definitely beard. does. Oh, he's got a flannel shirt or two. You know, best man's been living his best life. That's a Joe Rogan fan. <laughs> I love best man. I love Nick so much, man. However, uh, uh, unfortunately, what I don't love is where he sits down on the leaderboard, which is currently at the almost at the bottom, thirty-nine. Way above Ghostyami. Five whole more kills. Uh, Captain Anarchy out for the moment. Okay, and the question is: Is Walshy playing or is Strong? Side? I know. Look we at the hands. Are they doing that? On <laughs> Are they doing that on purpose? <laughs> oh yes, you know. Yeah. Oh, come yeah, on, side. That's good. That's good. He handed it off to him last second. <laughs> this is amazing. Here, I'll give you the controller back. Lean back. Okay. Okay. Now give it back. Take it. <laughs> Honestly, all of the best memories from Halo early Halo days had two of these guys in the same room. Anytime Walshy and Strongside were there, you were laughing. If you were at the LAN Network, some of the greatest memories of all time, they started it in the Ogre's basement. And Strongside came into the scene as a, a competitor of ours. He grew up in Kentucky. He played with Elamite Warrior at local LAN events, and they were the team we always had to beat coming down from Ohio. After that, he kind of came up with the Carbon Boys before eventually joining Final Boss and going on to become a national champion. And here's a guy, Pucket, in my opinion, that's been through all of it, strong side. At one point, he was considered the most underrated player in the game. At some points, people would try to come at him for being overrated because he finally found his success. And so it, he just went through all of it, and he just became a legend in the process. Strong side has won too many tournaments for anybody to ever think that he wasn't one of the best players. He he originated the strong side. We still call the maneuver after him. That's when you tuck your head down to avoid a headshot while running away. He, he had the original sprint. His Master Chief just moved differently. This guy on your screen, though, was one who didn't just shoot to stardom. He was another grinder who had to work his way up from the semi-pro teams, was coaching some top players throughout his career as well. But Flamesword, one of the OG great personalities in the Halo universe. Love to see him in our tournament tonight i mean this is one of the boys look at that cut bro that barber is on point you see that the line right about that's incredible man also let's talk about the bun i mean dude just looks like he became one with gandhi you know and i'm not talking about <laughs> yeah bro who said flame sword has done yoga for like six years now yeah that's what it looks like man i think you got to looks like he's found a freaking you know eight different religions and, and he's eaten them all. peyote for and sure 100 yeah yeah that man 
that guy likes cactus. Uh, there is Snipe Down in first place at 68 kills. The Eomite Warrior has been warming up while Snipe Down's playing Apex competitively, and it still doesn't matter. Eomite and Neighbor finishing second and third. Snipe Down is going to take Lobby B, but that's just a little sample of what's coming our way. DMAC, are you ready for tonight? Dude, I am so pumped for this. This is such old vibes. See, all these faces. I love it, dude. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Chat, we want you guys to stay with us all day. Participate in this one. It's the chat guessing with Duncan and it is now live. We want you guys to party with us. Guys, all you got to do, if you want to win some Duncan gift cards, some goodies from Duncan, you got to predict the outcome to today's games. In our first game, we're going into free-for-all. Check out the polling widget. You can pick from all of the players here in the Twitch Rivals extension. Make your predictions and watch your name shoot to the top of the leaderboard, and be sure to keep your eyes on the extension for new predictions throughout the game. I'm not going to plug it every time, so keep your eyes on it. No purchase is necessary. This is open to all 50 states and D.C. If if you are 18 or older, see official rules below and enter exclamation Duncan for the full rule set. Fantastic day. We've got some great casters. It is DMAC. It is Ninja. We got to get your predictions here as we are loading up into the first lobby. Now, in this first lobby, just to remind you, we've got Ghost Yami, Hysteria, Captain Anarchy's Mohawk, Best Man's Beard, BTH Maniac, <laughs> Nated, the Captain, uh, Snakebite, and T squared. Give me your top three, D Mac. Looking at this list, let's work from three up to one. Where are you going? Okay, so I think with three, a safe bet here is Hysteria. And I'm going yeah, with two, I'm going to go with Maniac. And number one, bro, I am going to go with the FFA legend. Ninja was right. It. I think Nated will take this down. Nate, it's going to take the FFA. Ninja, do you agree with this first lobby? Let's actually go over to lobby B with your predictions. Mason Cobb, Eomite Warrior, Legit Walshy, Eomite's little brother, Ace, Snipe Down, Enable, and Flame Sword. Hmm. Uh, dude, me, I got to give a number three. I mean, this is in no particular order. I can't do, I can't do. Not three to one. Come on, come yeah. on. Get it right. Oh my I'll give you a dollar God. if you okay, get it right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll take the dollar. Uh, we're going to go neighbor, number three. Uh, okay. Second place is going to be Ace, first place, Snipe Down. Ace and second. All right. Well, the man, he's made a lot of money playing some free-for-alls, but it sure wasn't in Halo 2. Snipe Down, easy favorite in Group B for me. I like the Nated pick in Group A. Chat, let us know. Who do you think is coming out on top of the free-for-all? Remember, there's no host that really matters here in the MCC universe. We're about to be dropping in, and I can't wait to get this one started. DMAC, this is just the beginning, man. This free-for-all, we should remind people while we're, why we are playing it. This determines the draft order for the 4v4, which is where 80% of our cash is going out today. And, and that's where all the focus is going to be for the rest of the day. Of course, these players are going to come correct. There's money on the line here, but just getting the right team for the rest of the day, it's just going to go such a long way. So, yes, players are going to show up. They're not going to take it easy on that fit. Make sure you are getting your predictions in right now on that Duncan extension here on Twitch Rivals. We're going into the first free for all. We're on midship sort of top shoddy down middle, but really it's all about the BRs on the outside of this map. Pink is the power position in 4v4. Is there a power position in free for all ninja? Where would you be on this map? Oh, I think P2, P3 is where you want to be absolutely thriving on midship, man. Tom mid, too many, uh, way too many angles. You're going to get shot at from literally everyone and their grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I also think there's a carbine spawn where you can spawn car three and just, which is looking straight at top mid. So I think the person who's going to take this is going to be whoever can control P2, P3, uh, which is uh, the pink, pink two, pink three, for those of you guys who don't really know what we're talking about. Um, you'll know exactly what we're talking about uh, when you see it in the game. So. I can't wait to get into this one. I see Heinz in the chat. Shout out to Richie Heinz, another grinder who popped off in Halo 2 as well as Halo 3. Richie, let us know. Is your former teammate best man going to win this one? Do you think it's Maniac winning this? Let 
us no chat. I got so many different predictions, but it seems that <laughs> needed may be the fan favorite. That lobby just crashed. I'm gonna reboot it, guys. Let's just let's just reboot it. DMAC, you've been playing a little bit of MCC when you're hopping on the sticks when you're not working the mic on the comedy stage. What game are you playing and, and uh, who you've been playing with? Well, I'll I'll usually stick to my sports games because those are easy to play solo. I'm looking forward to Infinite so mad, man. I, I I want it. I want it to be so great. And, and like, yeah, still playing Halo One. I'll probably play Halo One till I can't play video games anymore. Ninja, did you know that DMAC is officially a top ten player in New Jersey State history when it comes to Halo earnings? Dude, that's insane. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I think he won like two hundred bucks back in two thousand eight. Right up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Oh wow, well. <laughs> dude. I mean, those locals, bro. That's where it all started, man. I remember I drove one time. I drove three hours. Okay, check this shit out, man. Sorry for the language. Um, I drove. It was a we had. It was a family dinner, like a family dinner day that was going on. I woke up at six a.m. and drove three and a half hours to Michigan to play in a Halo three two v two tournament with my boy Nate Koba. Okay, and that we had. Dude, we win this, bro. It was like for 400 bucks, right? So it cost me $100, $100 in gas to get there and back. And I made it home like at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock to get there for like the last second dinner. And like, it, dude, it was the, it was one of like my coolest memories, man. Did mom and dad know you were going? Because I would just sneak out at 16 and, and drive anywhere within four hours of home. Uh, they knew I was going for sure. I had to, uh, but it, it took, dude, it took a lot of convincing. Like, mom, I swear, I promise, I'm not going to miss dinner. I swear. <laughs> like, I swear, I just swear. I, I, swear <laughs> God, I would not miss the meatloaf. Gotta trust me, all right? I'll be there. <laughs> we got Mimic in the building. We got Eli the Ninja in the building. What's up, Eli? Another player with a position in the game named after him. We got the man bun on your screen, though. This is Flame Sword with the power position in pink, too. Currently just two kills to his name, but doing some damage. Yeah, it's just getting started, man. This is where, you know, the first minute is always... It's always so nerve-wracking, right? It takes a little bit to get to the group, to get the spawns down, right? To get everyone in the... In out of the, the the weird little starting positions, right? Yeah, this is a, mm -hmm. and uh, we're already minute in ace at the bottom. And it's not looking good for me, but it's getting started. <laughs> oh, I mean, bro, we're an ace, look at seventh and eight. If he didn't have an ability to stay focused, that would be such a lie. Who's Mr. Had? Just looks like a Zen that's, dude. That's enable, Mr. Hadbad, the alter ego of enable. Sometimes he's good. Sometimes Hadbad's really bad. Jeez. Yeah, man. I, God, I miss this so much, bro. We used to play play these massive, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the, the, the Walshie, mm -hmm. the tour to Walshies, man, right? No time limit. You just join. Lobby's open. Anyone can just join in, and you're just going to sit there and literally play FFA for five hours straight. Yeah, it's 3.14 a.m. The lobby has been going on for two hours. Walshie's sitting at 1,009 kills. Strong side right behind him at 1,002. They've been neck and neck. <laughs> I just remembered that duo. Regardless of what time you wanted to play Halo, they they were on your friends list and they were in game. I love that man. I think I was only able to get in one of their lobbies too, back in the day. Like it was so freaking iconic. Just to get in there, you know what I'm saying? To get into like, oh, I was so I was so nervous. No, I do. I remember those days, man. I remember one time I got matched up with the ogres in Halo Two. And I beat them. And so then they invited me to a private room and beat me for like eight hours straight. <laughs> so it sounds like about right, man. Take us a matchmaking, kid. We're no, 100%. Down 100%. 100%. Dude, I remember it was Halo 3. This guy, his name was Silky. And he paid Elamite 50 bucks. Okay, Elamite was doing 1v1s, right? $50. If you win, he adds you on his friends list. If you lose, he gets 50 bucks. Either way, either way, he gets 50 bucks. Kyle's charging I'm, people 50 bucks for friends on the spot. I love it. 100 percent, 100 percent, and I, uh, I think it was Halo 2. It was Halo 2 or Halo 3. I don't remember. I think it was Halo 3. It was 100 percent Halo 3 because I beat him on Guardian. Anyway, Silky messaged me. He's like, "Yo, bro, you want to like beat him for me?" I was like, "Say less. I got this." Get, logged in, took his account, one v one him, smacked him on his host, and uh, got the friend request for my boy. And that was still also just like a, such an iconic moment. You were a ringer for That's a guy so named cool. Silky. Oh, yeah. Yep. In Elmite yep. Warriors $50 ah. friends list spot hustle? Yep. 
Yep. <laughs> and, 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 and dude, talk about the genius behind that too, by the way. Just still, it's like, I'm sitting here like, like, oh my God, I got him on my friends list. Meanwhile, he's mm -hmm. like, bucks. <laughs> In the and that was tons of money back in the day. If you won yeah, five hundred dollars for yeah. first place, you were pumped about it. Absolutely. You might warrior starting to find a shot, but his little brother's stronger as he comes up the shoot. Over to neighbor, he's in the top two. As you can see, it is tight at the top. Sixteen for snipe down. Three players right behind him at fifteen. Yeah, and Walsh just tied for first as well. Hey, bro. Okay. Hey, real quick, real so, quick. You need a pause. Can we get a? Can we yep. get a? Uh, yeah, there it is. Controller hand check. check. Hand check. Let me see a hand check now. Okay, man. Yo, hey, dude. Side is getting fired up. If we can, would love to pump up just a little volume here. I gotta hear the double shot noise. You, you know, it's not always easy to see. And I went into Walsh's stream last night and kind of roasted him. I was like, I see the BXRs. You know, I see the instas. I have not seen the double double. You gotta work on that. Yeah, man, that is so hard, bro. Like that was that was also one of my favorite things about Halo 2. I think everyone's was the skill gap of this game with the button glitches that were unintentional, by the way. Um, it's just so difficult to do, right? Then you got the claws, right? The people that that literally manipulate the way their hands are. Oh my god! Just so they could do it more often. Like, dude, this this stuff's so deep, people don't even know, man. We got the former. Yeah, bro, if we didn't know what we were doing. Right. Like we did the claw and it's like, dude, <laughs> now everybody got carpal tunnel. We had no foresight. <laughs> no one iced their hands other than saying back then. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's so crazy to watch Tom like over to his last like two to three years of competing. Just have an ice around him at all times and just yeah, icing his bad. hand before and after every single series. Yeah, I heard that Walshy, in order to prepare for this event, did cryotherapy. I mean... <laughs> oh, Red, dude, Red, Bull, guys, Red Bull hooked him up. They trained him for this, dude. Have you guys ever done cryotherapy? I just did it for the first time two weeks ago, and I can say it is not the most pleasant experience if you're a sweaty guy like myself. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't done it. <laughs> Don't go in there wet, Mac. We'll just say that, all right? <laughs> the only thing I've ever done was uh, was just an ice bath back in high school for uh, for my shin splints when I was playing soccer, and that you know that took a that I mean that alone took mental fortitude. I don't know, is it is it even colder than that? Have you ever taken an ice bath? Is it cold? Is the yes. cryo therapy? Oh you, my you god! You can't so, breathe in. It's so cold. I was just taking the middle. <laughs> That's scary. I don't even want to get that. Yeah, they 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 let you leave. You, you be ice you your hands now after you stream and stuff. Nah, 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 man. I don't. Uh, I I when you switch to mouse and keyboard, um, a lot less depending on how you know you use your keyboard because there's some people that like, yeah, you no, know, no, there's some people that like flip it upside down and then, mm. and then again they they enter the weird movement with their hands right and their fingers for weird spots. Mm. Uh, I just play completely normal with mouse and keyboard and my hands. Uh, never, never have to worry about icing them or they're never sore. But whenever I play um, on a controller, man, even for an hour, bro, the way I grip the controller, I yeah. start to feel it instantly. Like instantly, I, my, my hands are sore. So, and, and I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to use a controller for Halo Infinite. Um, Ooh. Uh, are you going mouse and keyboard? I mean, dude, obviously I can do it, right? I think it's just that it's the, the long question, right? The, the oldest right. question known to man over the last, you know, not really that long, actually. The last, like, couple years is like, hey, aim assist controller or mouse and keyboard accuracy, yeah. like, it's like, what's going to be better for infinite? And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get a, a large sample pool and figure out which one I'm going to go with. Yo, Infinite is on the way. So pumped for that. If you're just joining Let's us here, go, this man. is our Twitch rivals, Halo 2 Dude. throwback. We've got 16 of your favorite players. Johnny Walshy Dino. in second place currently down to fourth place as it is a four-way tie. They're basically at 27, 28 points. Uh, we are going into a second lobby after this, and really, we're trying to find out who is getting the number one draft pick between T-Squared, Ghost Ami, Elamite Warrior, and Nated. We are going to decide the 4v4 teams. Two of those 4v4s will join up for a big team battle after this. And at the end of the day, we're paying out $50,000 to some old school legends who, honestly, I wish we had the same prize money back then that we had today. All of these guys would be living in four-story houses. Yeah, man. I, I wish, like, it's one of those things, you know, just too soon, right? 
you're just it, but like not, you no know, not too soon but too soon in the sense that like right. i would i would not have wanted to miss competing in halo 2 and being a part of the mlg experience because it is it, it, dude even thinking about it man like i just get butterflies it's like magical right but to be able to do this now right with the prize pools i mean if you look at the crowdfunding and of like the skins and stuff like that from from a uh, from dota prize pools getting up to you know world championships getting up to 10 mil and more like dude mm. these, these guys deserve it man they put in the work they they laid down the brickwork you know what i mean we'll host, but, we'll still do it. but you know what it is it's like the ufc fighters in 2005 or seven right whatever it's like look man we are the reason that it got this big and there's a pride that you take in that right. and there's a certain status that also comes with that and so money isn't everything and sometimes reputation very much is so it's like i'm always looking at all of these dudes like they do have four-story homes straight right. up no absolutely i mean me personally when i when i think of any of these guys dude it's nothing but respect and admiration like, the, like these guys are legends. Every single person in this lobby, man, is an absolute legend to me. Uh, is that yeah. Mactron in the in the chat right now? Is that the OG Mac from Maryland? I sure hope No it way! Is. Mac, a welcome to the party. He says, true that, Pucket. Back in the day, we got 250 bucks for fifth place. I'm sorry, bro. They paid me 200 <laughs> for the whole event, and I was the one organizing everything. Yeah, that's insane, man. It's it, it really is, man. Dude, at, the, at that point, you're basically paying straight up for the like experience. You know what I mean? Oh, of course. Like, yeah, you, yeah. You none know? of us had money. None of us were really expecting money. We were just there to live out our passion, and I think Ooh. that's yeah, probably why love. we all still hang out today. Like, we all just came from the same place of there is nothing other than our passion motivating us to be a part of it, dude. I'm just thinking, man, we got to get like a straight up like next summer, a year from now, we got to get the boys back together. And what I mean by that is I'm talking like we ran out like three, five story on the beach homes for like a week where we just have a bunch of OG boxes set up, man. Halo 2, Halo 1, the land, the whole nine yards. And we just get, you know, we just party game. Yep. Have amazing food delivered to us. Go out, chill by the beats for just a week straight. We stream the whole pizza thing. Hut. Oh, this sounds Duncan, amazing. Red Bull, hit us up. We're ready. Uh, I threw the bucket land in, uh, or the Winter Wonderland out in Utah, where we went skiing all day and then played Halo all night. That's coming back as soon as we get this vaccine situation sorted out with all the players. We're getting the OGs back together as Infinite's coming out. DMAC, we're getting to the end of this one, though. Three minutes left, and right now, Ace has gone from the bottom of the leaderboard to the top. Elamite Warrior, his brother, right behind him at 45. And, and that's suspicious, bro. Two family members right at the top. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say anything out of turn, but I just would look into this. And, and so I'm not going to say anything else about that. You just put, hey, you just put it out there and seeing if, you know, I get it. It does, it's a little suspicious, right? Can we make sure that yeah. these guys aren't in the same Discord call? Which, by the way, a lot of them were when they were warming up. You know, you just heard them talking back and forth to one another, which I just absolutely. Look at that. Legit. Legit. Yeah, it just he, feels, he, feels he, like he's there's a little bit of communication. Dude. Maybe, you know, maybe Bombs is just like letting them know where they're at i feel like she's also yep. familiar with the game it's probably a family so affair <laughs> so hey, do, do you guys see the leaderboard by the way uh-uh what should what shook up i mean we got we got snake bite who was going to be the guy who i had winning okay uh, in that lobby he's already in first and in the other lobby it was ace and elamite what and then right behind what? it i think was uh look at that side, look at that side down there ace the only person who's not there is someone else i don't know Oh man, I love it. Listen to that. Listen to that coach, man. It's just doable. Well, yo, that was great. We got this strong side. Coach him up. Get Dave back into the power three. Ace is getting slowed down. We just saw Snipe down cleaned up. Mm, yeah, legit just rushing off the dust. Rushing off the dust. Into the bottom. No big deal, man. The guy was more before before player anyways. Oh, I'll be honest. Briz legit was that first name. He and Nated were on the same squad under Perfect Storm. 
And I was like, who are these freaks? They were 16 years old. Legit didn't have any muscles at the time. He had long brown hair coming out of his green beanie. And he wore like a punk rock T-shirt with holes in his jeans. I was like, this is a totally different skater kid than the legit you guys are thinking of. But they were monsters in the game. They scared the ogres. They were pressuring, uh, I think, a member off a straight rip. And Fonzier Fallacy got knocked out real early by him. And after that game, he was on my radar. Ever since, he has gotten better and better. And I really wish he kind of hung around for the Halo four days because after halo 3 he kind of just dipped out of the scene yeah i mean so me and brizzy actually had one of the uh you know we had our first that he was on my team and we won the tournament we won our uh my halo for my first my halo 4 mlg championship man it was me legit uh goofy and ryan <clears throat> and that's then after right, that that's right it kind of faded a little bit man but uh Dude, Brian was one of those guys, and it was like a lot of the Halo pros, man. They they started to prioritize just, you know, their IRL stuff took, took precedent a little bit. You know, they'd rather... I remember Real the friends. amount of times, 100%, the amount of times I had to text the boy, Briz, man. I was like, hey, dude, uh, are you getting out for scrims tonight? And he was just like, nah. <laughs> like, that was, his text would just be, nah. nah. I'm like, all right, sounds good. I'm not even going to try to, like, guilt him into getting on because, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I started to get a little bit older, too, and I was just like, he was, like, grilling with the girl, like, Okay. There you go. We got the brother's camera. Ace, the little brother in the top left. Elamite in the bottom right. 61 kills for Elamite. Ace, 62. Or, sorry, Elamite now up to 63. It's Ace now is 61. As Elamite and Warrior has become the lobby I leader. I just noticed something, Bucket. They were shooting in the same area. I'm just saying. <laughs> just I'm saying. not saying nothing. Elamite, take it down, bro. Look at that. I love that. Let's go. What a beast, man. Kyle! Oh Oh, all right. Let's look at the numbers here. 63 and 51. Kyle going for most least the bookends as he is going to take our first lobby back over to Ghost Ayami's lobby. You can see having a little trouble there against Hysteria. Ghost has been playing a little bit too much Apex. Come on. The legend from Team Carbon needs to get it going. Over to a guy who hasn't lost his step, though. Best man is in the running for top two currently in first place at 65 kills. Got it. He's got a snake bites already down. Time. Wow. Wow. Guy, the best man was like bottom three in the in the shoddy sniper. Truly a warm up. Clearly, because look at this man. I love at Nick, the very man. end. Snakebite getting that 63rd kill is going to put him one above Hysteria at 62. Best man, Snakebite, Hysteria, Nated. Moving on into our finals. The bottom four are going to drop out. Uh, DMAC, not a bad start here to our free-for-alls. Who stood out to you? I mean, bro, we didn't get to watch Best Man, but that was very impressive. But I just think this family affair that's going on, this, uh, I don't know what to call it, God, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see throughout the day. And, and yeah, Elamite and Ace, yeah, obviously they're cheating. So, yeah, yeah, oh, dude. yeah. I, I mean, like that. oh my god, bro, this is makes me so excited for that. This is just oh, the free for all. We're just getting started, <laughs> dude. We have highlights. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, that was dirty. we used to have to pay so much money to get a little video like this, and it would take us six weeks to compile it as I'm coming through DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Evolve, boys. We have evolved. Dude, I Shout used to be in the, the MLG office. Crew. I would be in the MLG office overnight, like clipping, <laughs> watching the games and then clipping them. And then the editor would have to come up the next day. This is amazing. It's so good. Best man finishing with 65 kills. The bearded one getting the job done representing. Love to see best man in the mix. Hysteria looking like he hasn't lost a step. And at the end of that other game to see Snakebite still in the mix. Doesn't matter what Halo you put him in there, Ninja. Snakebite is going to be going for that top prize money. Remember, first place in free for all wins 400 bucks. Not a bad start to your day. It's not, man. You just got to think about what you like, what you can actually spend and buy with, with, with $400, $700, right? It's a lot. Like the amount of, the amount of coffee and, and, and Taco Bell. And fast food that you can consume, it's like a month worth, man. It's a lot right. of money. I, no, I, Sorry, I usually think about money that way. I always think about money in terms of how many lattes I can buy. There you go. So that, that's 100 lattes, player. So it's like <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all, man.
<laughs> okay, we are loading up with our next matchup. Remember, this is going to be the top four from each lobby moving on. Now, I saw Elon Might Warrior was at the top of the list. Ace was right behind him. I didn't even look at third and fourth place. So if we can, admins, I want to know who officially is playing in our final free for all as it's going to be the top four from each lobby. We're getting into that in just a moment. While we can file the official numbers, we're going to head to a quick commercial break. When we come back, it's more Halo 2. Which one of your favorite players do you want to watch first? Put it in the chat. I'll be right back. Study like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young. Andy Miller knocking money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket. Engine get to rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the night. Hold up. Let me know when you ready to get. Dollars out of love, we wildin' out. If you ain't ready, steady go. Fight the good fight because this is war. 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 Born for greatness, man. Hold up. Welcome back. It's Twitch Rivals, the Halo 2 throwback with DMAC. Ninja's here too, which is kind of cool. But DMAC, uh, we're going into some more free flow action here today, bro. <laughs> bro, Ninja has a shoe, bro. How'd you just disrespect just a man Look, with the, a the shoe? Title of the show is Halo 2 throwback with Ninja. I was, I was just trying to make it, man. Feel Listen, like special here, you know? Dude, it's okay, man. I get it, man. I'll take the. <laughs> I'll take the All hit, right, man, no. for D-Mac to feel special. I want D-Mac to feel special, too. Bro. <laughs> nah, man, we got to go see Ninja's new movie that also has Ryan Reynolds in it. But it's yeah. Ninja's new movie, and it's like, bro, the dude is always killing it. He's really, Ninja, it's amazing right, that you're here with us today, bro. It really just, like, makes the event very special. And, like, you are always a Halo legend in our eyes, bro. Thank you, bro. Okay, and for elevating the way you have, it's fantastic. So, big cosign from the OGs. Thank you, man. Sorry, Thank you. Dude, listen, D Mac is, 
He's going to come over to your house, give you a massage after this, just rub the shoulders, make sure you're feeling great. Ninja, I'm so pumped for this free-for-all, bro, because uh, we are about to see the top four from game one and the top four from game two duking it out, and this is going to help us decide the draft order for the 44 in just a little bit. We got a big team battle coming up here as well. So when you're picking your teammates, you know there's some money on the line for BTB. Is there anything different you're looking for? Are you just going for your best buds that you can trust to gun it today? I'm going for Nated, bro. Like, that guy right. lives in BTV. The guy streams all day, and he's all about the BTV playlist. So I think you're looking for the people who just rack up the multi-kills, man. Right? So you just the, the, the flash of the playlist. I mean, give me Neighbor. Give me Nated. Uh, give me Snakebite. Because, again, dude, Snakebite's just a freak at every single playlist and everything he touches. So. That's a great call right there. We are just a few moments away from this free-for-all. Shout out to everyone. Reminder, keep your predictions coming. We got our Duncan uh, extension working here on Twitch Rivals. And this is just our first opportunity to get some wins out here. A lot of our players still warming up. Captain Anarchy, I have good news, has reconnected his internet. And this is a look at our lobby. Here in the opening lobby, these are your champions. Best Man, Snakebite, Hysteria, Nated, Eel Might Warrior, Ace, Flame Sword, and Snipe Down are moving on to the finals. And of course, in our second lobby, this is gonna be the battle to find out who is gonna finish from ninth to 12th place and pick up $200 for their free for all, the runners up from the previous games. Yeah, and I, dude, I'm looking forward to this FFA fi finale. You know, this is a, this is going to be pretty stacked already. And it's like, Snipe Down, yeah, he was a favorite. But now that we have this family situation going on, uh, it's probably <laughs> going to be one of the two family members. Mama Elam is in the building and she is it. making some strong calls. You gotta let that go, man. He's still on the family, the family uh, collabing. I'm gonna have to go with Stipe down, uh, taking the first uh, main FFA tourney, man. I, I think that he got, I think he got his warm up in. Dude's hot. He, he's gonna, he's gonna pop off, man. And then as for the consolation, I'm gonna toss my my T squared hat into the ring, my boy. Ooh. I want, Tom, I want, dude, dude, I want, I want Tom Taylor, Tom Taylor to take this one. Now, that, that first lobby is where the money's at, right? But that second yeah, lobby yeah. is going to help us determine three of the captain's mm -hmm. positions in the draft order. So keep your eyes on Ghost Yami, Walshi, and, of course, T-Squared, who Ninja just called to pop off. We're moments away here from our second drop onto midship. We talked a little bit about the keys to success. It looked like same old, same old. If you get to the pink tower, that is the place to be. Legit showed it off a little bit. We saw Flame Sword crushing from up there. DMAC, what else are you looking forward to here in our final round of free fall before we get into big team battle? Well, bro, obviously we need people to be focused in this situation because they're going up against two players. Okay. Because there is collusion happening. I don't want to keep talking about this, but I just think that it's fair to talk about, it, bro, when it's happening right in front of our faces and we're just not acknowledging the situation. And so it's fine, bro. It's okay, but let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. I also need a hand check on Team Walshy over there. I say Team Walshy because we know he brought it in. He flew in strong side all the way out from Kentucky to Los Angeles to watch him play live. Maybe play for him. We'll see what's <laughs> happening in that second lobby. Right now, though, we start with one of your top two players from Lobby A. This was Ace and his brother Elam still going at it here in our final. Dude, I love that, man. You see, he decided to just sit underneath blue one, right? I believe that's blue side, darker side of the map. You wanted to wait, or is that red? God, I always do. Honestly, I always got the bases mm. confused, man. Okay, Seriously, if is to your right, you are inside red base. Exactly. So yeah, he just chilled red one, waited, and then took Nate by surprise. Came up, giving us a four shot at the lift, bro. So he's already playing super sneaky. I think Elamite is 100% is in his comfort zone. Um, and there's just Check yeah, Jack, can you confirm this for me? I don't even know what the bases are anymore. I'm pretty sure we're at blue base right here. Red base right, across the map. I remember yeah. the car call out, the toilet call outs. Yeah, bubble yeah. even. Bubble, right, right, right. Look at that. Look at that Gandhi hop faded. Oh my God, dude. Woo! Himself. Elamite on the bottom. He took first place in the last qualifier to get here, and now he's nice feet. Carrying the nice nade steel, man. Goodness, and there's Ace, dude, top of the list. You know what? Maybe we just need to keep an eye on one of these brothers at all times. I think D-Mac might be right here. Yeah. 
Mom's only telling yeah, one of the bro, brothers look at, right now. There's though. a dog in the background. <laughs> He's probably that's yeah, that's probably the the guy. Yeah, that's very smart. Bring in the family emotional support mammal. Dude, I absolutely love this, man. I, you know what? Honestly, man, I want I want Nick to win this just because of that beard. This decision, just, he's never look at him. Oh, what do you think oh. his wings order is with the four hundred dollar check he's about to get? Uh, dude, at least, <laughs> I mean, what do you? Hey, first off, what do you, what do you think he is? Bone in, boneless. Now, uh, he's a Steeler fan. I I think they're bone in. They're pretty primal. Mm, that's understandable, man. If Nick wins, it's like, bro, he is proving that lumberjacks could also be good at Halo. Right. It's phenomenal. Right. There's there's a lot more behind it. Delicate. Yeah. Exactly. There's a lot more to this. You know, a movement might start if you win this. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> I, I saw him defy in the chat a little bit earlier. What's up, DV? Longtime teammate of Best my Man. Really it's great to have so air many air legends air. here in the building. HS What's Light King, I see oh you god. as well. What is up, Furion? One of our editors is here. Man, this is bringing back all the best vibes. Man, can the chat hear? The the comms that we're hearing as well, because we can hear these guys talking. Like I just heard Hey dude, these the uh, give Snake Bite the business, man. Twelve minutes left, man. It's actually pretty close. I think this is still anyone's game. Oh my god, he's so good. Here's the with a nice triple kill, man. Get the overkill. Oh, oh my. Overkill. Look in. No the challenge. Kill -tacular. Comes no, back up. It. Flame, don't give it to him. It's kill tacular. Oh, oh he's getting some flank, hey, man. System oh. Is so bad in MCC, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Sometimes not wrong. the melees connect. Huh. Sometimes they just say, now I'll make the noise for you. <laughs> Yeah, that's always the, the worst, dude. No, when you got into that. I mean, can we talk about uh, when the melees weren't Seriously, like what, what like seventy-five percent damage issue. buff? This game, Remember that? When the people would get yeah. the BXB, the BXB battles yeah, for like an hour and a half. So <laughs> just meleeing each other. My just fingers hurt. Oh, <laughs> hurt. Yeah. I, well, now your you, back's gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm buying that old Bro, school Magic classic turbo hated. controller. Yeah, man. Sorry. <laughs> are we are know. we listening to Nated here? Yeah, yeah, we are. You might have been. Uh, We're on the young right? Elam yeah. Ace. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought Snake Bite was the was the Snake Emblem. Is Ace also the Snake Emblem? Yeah, we got a lot of snakes in the building here today. Remember, Strong Side used to be all blue with the yellow snake. Yeah. It was There's, quite yeah, popular. Oh yeah. Thanks. Get over yourself. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. the snake gang. Right? Like, no one just went with some really creative Would you say Strong Side had, like, the most dis distinguished icon? Who had the most distinguished icon? Ooh. I mean, Nated. Maybe Neighbor? He had, like, a big pink heart, I remember. Yeah, Nated and Neighbor, oh, yeah, Strong Side. Definitely all three up there. I mean, T2, right? Just a yeah. two. Yep, yep. Just the two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T2, just a two. Dude, do you guys remember yeah, playing they're... matchmaking and you would go up against somebody who tried to get their name to look just like? Oh, yes. The it, bird, they would you know copy what I mean? the emblem. They yeah, would do copy it the emblem to a T. Dude, I, oh my God, is that the real one? <laughs> Dude, there's an, there's an MLG pucket with one T. There's an MLG pucket with two Ts. And then I eventually had someone give me the pucket handle. <laughs> After like five years, they're like, hey, I, I got this originally. I didn't want you to have it, but you can have it now. <laughs> Shout out to Dalton Rose. Much love. Amazing. <laughs> You just flattered, bro. The people just try to, to want to be you. They just, they just wanted cool. to support. You know, they just wanted to support. I remember yelling at people for putting MLG in their name if they didn't work at the company. Because back then, like, there was no real source of information. There was no Twitter you would go to to find out what's going on. So people would make, MLG like, forums. MLG tags. Yeah. We're down bad here. That's all you have with the MLG forums, man. And, dude, those were... I only got it. Yeah, yeah, they have MLG tags. Feet. Yeah, I feel bad now, D-Mac. It's like, I shouldn't have bullied those MLG people. They were just supporters. No, bro, they because they could the be saying some wild shit, and then you think that represents the company, you know? That's true, that's true, that's true. We were yeah, really I mean, but, back then. Please, let's be the exact opposite. What are you talking about? There was no way that you could offend anybody back in the day. The Halo 2 lobbies were the same lobbies as Modern Warfare, man. I, I mean, know. Wild, wild, wild west. Yeah, up here in the northeast we had some pretty mean trash talk right dmac we'll keep that off camera uh oh going my back god into the scoreboard here nated in control 27 right behind him is snake bite though just two kills away and you got elamite warrior snipe down rounding out your top four for the first time this game ace is in fifth place he is outside of the top four and that's where our cutoff is top four gets 400 bucks 
bit through eight, it's going to walk away with 300 bucks. <laughs> Nate, it is so upset. Yeah. I love, dude, I love this game so much, bro. These players, man. Oh, my God. You can almost, like, I can literally predict the reaction of every single player when they die. Like, <laughs> like that is classic Nate. Yeah, right? we've he known so these mad. people now. 100%. Everybody here we've known for 20. It was so hilarious. Nate was up by five kills and just complaining. It's like, yeah, that's Nate. That's Nate. You know? Oh, absolutely. Dude, the guy would be up by 20 and then just something would happen to him in game that would just set him off. And it, it's like, dude, you're up by 20 kills. You just got to kill Dacular, man. Take it easy, bro. And he's just like, dude, like, I should have had a kill with Charles. Yep. He got that <laughs> serial killer look in his eyes and you're like, am I safe? I think I'm yeah. safe. I I'm, I'm outside the game. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nate is, oh, Ace is going off. Oh, shout shit. out to the man. That? Did you guys just witness that? Flamestorm in last place, but did you see Excuse the moment that when Flame, he, Flame he took, My he melee, took three uh, shots? That's fucking horse shit. Dude, Snake! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just I love this game so much, dude. Oh my god. And look at that, Not by the way. I made it, bro. Type down. Right? Look at him. Two kills by first place. I said it. I said he's gonna pop off, man. And unfortunately, if he that's the definition uh, of me not living in fucking Dallas and Snake by living in Dallas. Uh, yep, Snipe Down's not having a good time right now. He, he's yeah. throwing back references to Dallas for all my <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Wasn't that when that was like a huge thing? Didn't like someone put their controller down in a free for all? I don't like remember. They were in last ninety percent of those events. We were running on like three hours of sleep, and all the days just blurred together. Yeah, that's true, man. I remember my first. I remember when I finally started the place in the top 16. Man, those early days, like I mean, I mean, getting into the top 16, top 32 when you're placing through open bracket, man. Like yep. that, that first night, dude, you're up until like two in the morning, and if you fall for Sunday, well, you'll be up at like eight a.m. I'm winning that shit. It's yeah, sorry, shit. you're in the losers bracket. We're gonna need you to get here at oh, eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna play eight thirty bracket. You're forfeit. Yeah. Yep, you're forfeited. You gotta play eight. You gotta play a four freaking series oh, to make it to the top sixteen. Really, if you make the top sixteen, now you're playing a team that's fresh and just woke up and they're ready to go. Like we're gonna do an extended best of eleven here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just to truly test your might. It really is. I'm up. He jumps into first place here as we check in on the scoreboard. Over to Elamite Warrior. Where's Kyle at? Right behind him. So 36 to 35. 15. I got one of my mods in chat games. Mitch, 256 passes, bro. I remember how fast those would sell out, dude. Yes. Oh, instantly, man. I remember that, dude. Like, I remember buying my first pass, the dude, like, dude, yesterday. It was so nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. Okay, wow, look at that. Like, I was, like, I was nervous to buy a pass because I might not get it. Because how fast it would sell out, bro. Uh, 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 I, I'd say the closest the feeling is now is, like, trying to get a sneaker hot drop. Like you're waiting in line. You're yeah. like, am I gonna get exactly. in? Am I gonna get in? Oh, disappointment again. Yeah. Mac, what is your highest placing in Halo 2? Because I remember you as that Jersey kid from Halo 1 that would always mess me up in the local free-for-alls. But then I remember commentating you in Halo 2 before convincing you to join me on the mic. Yeah, we got top 16 twice. There you go. Um, we we should we should have got top eight, but I fucked it up. So I'm sorry. But <laughs> yeah, D Mac so, was an aggressive, you know. confident player. <laughs> Yo, did you hear the click? Did you hear the BXB clicks right there, man? Yes. Oh man, this just turned around real bad, dude. It's area in the Oh yeah. And uh. It's getting heated now. Yes, man. Now look at this. Dude. That is tight. Look at that. Four There's players two over four. Deficit. The two kill deficit right now between six players. This is happy. This is going out of the wire, man. There's time down taking the lead. Although you guys want to do a little mini bet right here, hundred dollar bet. A uh, hundred dollar? Yo, D Mac and I are in a different league. Yeah, yeah. First round, first round, first round. First round. There we go. <laughs> nah, no, uh, I'm good for this bet. Can I get hysteria? Can I go, Jacob? I'm calling it first. I got time down. You got Jacob. Okay. D Mac, yep. what you got? This is for round drink. Sound so. we're together. Right. All right, then I'm going Elam. Uh, I'm going Ace. I'm going Ace. Okay, all right. It is decided. Where was Ace had on the leaderboard? Was he even in the top five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in there. He's hey, okay, he jumped up. He's tied third. Okay. Yeah, there are literally six players right now within like two, three games. Yo, shout Wait, out to Mimic. He just went over Ooh. to Snakebite stream and he powered him up for that double kill with the subscription. Remember, Ooh. all of our streamers are live. You can go to their individual channels as well as joining us here on Twitch Rivals. 
Uh, interesting choice, man. Jump. Like, oh. Help your brother. Help your he's, brother. He's panicking. Now he's I know why he like went with eight to fifty. It's still working. The Elam brothers, the duo, <laughs> talking together. Look at that, dude. Opposite sides of the map, not shooting each other. I'm starting to feel it, D Mac. <laughs> yeah, bro. I saw the situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got the dog barking orders to Eelmite. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm down with the crispy Alpha oh, R, bro. That is enough to take the <laughs> ass out of Eelmite. When you're in first place, when you are in first place and you are only getting 1v1s and you lose a 1v1, like that is the worst feeling in a free throw. Right? All you want to be doing is picking off players who are one shot, right? Already in the middle of a battle and then just cleaning up a double. Shooting people across the map, stealing kills. So when you're getting yep. into those constant one v ones and you're losing them, or they're getting stolen from you, that's how you can just find yourself in a terrible, terrible pattern of of defeat, despair, and sorrow. Like there's nothing more infuriating than playing a Halo 2 free for all and like just your shots on fire, but every one of your kills is getting stolen. It is so yeah, aggravating. Just, his theory has dropped. He was in second place when I picked him. He is now in seventh place. Tied for six, it looks like for now. He's dropping. Eomite is going to the top of the leaderboard and Snipe Down has moved up into second place. The series is trading kills every time, it looks like. No one able to put together a spree, but it's still within four kills in first place. I mean, again, that's one kill tacular, right? You know what I mean? Which, by the way, Halo 2 was killed tacular before, right? Eventually, they added overkill as the four in Halo 3, I, right? I know Kill Tack was Halo 2 or Halo 1. I don't even know beyond that. I just remember it's the metals got Kill weird Tack. and fancy. Is it yeah. overkill, guys, for four in Halo 2, or is it still Kill Tack? It's still Kill Tack, I think, for Halo 2. All right. And then Halo All 3 right, came over. Yeah, they messed it up. Somebody Kill didn't Tack. get the memo. Come on now. Uh, oh, I yeah, just want to point out who's in first right now. Mm hmm. It, it is the brother. The brother. And I would say the more talent brother. Yeah, I mean, Ace definitely played longer, Taking I think. That. Oh, oh. Ooh, there's a little strong side in there. Oh my god, Snake Bite coming in clutch too right now, man. He's super close by. Look at that steel, Look at long bro. Long range. Long range oh, nice. VR cleansing. What talking about? There's a double kill double in the except for the triple. Here it comes. Side down. Get him. Show made. us the fourth metal. There's the riot. Are you kidding me? I told you, bro. That is not the metal wow. I was expecting. That is not the metal I was expecting, Snake. But he goes from fourth place into first after that 10 kill spree. That was dirty. I, that was very dirty. I told you, dude, that's exactly what you see. He's in this, man. 40 seconds left. This is literally anyone's game, man. I'm going to owe you guys more drinks. This sucks. Yeah, yeah. I like there there we go, yields. baby. Let's go. Yeah. Depending on where we are, man. Depending on where we are, I'll, maybe I'll just settle for a beer. I'll keep it nice. I'm gonna get you on the Mexican meal. I'm gonna I'm show you a little Casamigos to go oh, with that. Yeah, yeah, that's just the tequila, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm-hmm, yep. It's actually fantastic. Oh, I've had one of those before. They're phenomenal. Here's a, a nice little push out from the top blue. It's gonna be Ace winning the fight, and now he can go up to oh pink. Oh my Snake god. says no. He heads up to the 60, power position, 60, holding on to his Five first seconds. Plate. Trying to get an 8th kill on Flame Sword. He's gonna get it. He picks up his stereo. In first place, he's got it. Yo! I mean, I didn't say it for a second. Wow! I was gonna get it, but I told you to look out for Snake Bite. Mm. Who did you call, DMAC? Did you call it Yomite or Ace? I called Ace. Because Snake Bite gets first place. Ace gets second. That means DMAC is the winner of our predictions. We jump over to our second lobby. Congratulations once again. Snake by Ace, Nated, and Snipe Down are taking home the top prize of $400 in the free for all. And it looks like we're going to see Nated with the number one pick in the draft. He gets to choose does he want to pick first, second, third, or fourth in the snake draft? Oh, man, I said so it's a snake draft. That's. I was thinking about this. So I don't want to be first pick, right? Because I don't want to be with the last player. Because nobody wants to be. That's with exactly the last what player. I was. <laughs> so, so do you go with the second pick and you get second to last, or do I go with the third? I don't think I want to have to go back to back and risk uh you know, missing out at the top of a tier. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these players, man. If you really good call. About it. You know what I mean? I've been, like you, I've been thinking like, too much about fantasy football. You're right. This is a stack tourney. This is a stack tourney. I think every single player here has the ability to just absolutely pop off and and hold hold their weight and carry a match. 
I will say, however, I am maybe, and I'm not trying to be that guy, but but Los, oh. Los is the one who might be looking like the weak link at the moment. He was yeah, having technical we, difficulties earlier, and now he's at the was. bottom of the board again. Yeah, we called Direct TV. I think he's getting a new satellite installed on top of his roof, so Willis yeah, is yeah, going to yeah. get taken care of. Don't worry about him. Ghost Ayami, another guy who's getting beaten on your screen right now. Ghost is not back in the championship form we have seen. He's going to take another game or two to warm up, but I'm keeping eyes on Ghost Ayami because when it came to any objective game, he was the guy you would give the oddball, the flag, the hill, and you would just trust him not only to finish with most objective time, but also positive 10. Three minutes left in this one and the guy on your screen maniac is feeling pretty good he's around 40 kills 50 in first place is legit across the map or is it t squared oh, man. Ooh! what a stick bro it's so squared that, that is, by the way that was dirty. i told you man daddy t coming in clutch right now by the way i who was the one who oh, who was like the king of uh what was it like nade bouncing was it called insta spawning right it's what was walsh yeah, so Walsh was really the one who found it. Like, he was the one who would prioritize plasma grenades on the map while everyone else was going for the skippers, the frag grenades. Dave uh, and Simpson, if you watch his stream, he just goes for the insta clips. Oh, man, dude. I, dude, with that, that season, of, he's down bad, bro. Like, you can't, you cannot be commentating the over the shit luck that you're getting like you can't do it because that's when you're right. you're and he's like you heard him he's like and i got double team from car three and i'm spawn killed and like that's how you just get in this mental just toxic despair bro you're just gonna mm -hmm. the downward spiral bro you gotta snap out of it Captain Anarchy at the bottom of the list right now, but Walshy was in seventh place. He's one of our captains here, guys, and Dave has been warming up. This is a really rough free-for-all for him. He's got a minute and 40 seconds to climb back up this leaderboard, but for right now, he's finishing with just 100 bucks and the last pick in the draft. What do you think, DMAC? Take me into the world of DMAC right now. Man, this is what I'm thinking. I think this is more competitive than I thought it was going to be. Okay. It's like, you know, it just kind of takes you back to, hey, this maybe this isn't like basketball, where it's like if you're 20 years later, it's going to look a lot different. To me, all these players look fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I, I'm expecting to see higher level of Halo than I anticipated which is kind of exciting if you think about it and it's straight up bringing me back to like i'm walking down memory lane while seeing some of these faces too i just can't help it you know thinking of certain nights while we're at mlgs i remember when t2 climbed something that he shouldn't have been climbing and we were all there in orlando him on. when we were young kids <laughs> yeah so <laughs> It's just like it's bringing it's bringing me back there. It's making me very happy, nostalgic, and on top of that, it's like damn, Whatever. gaming is still Whatever just as exciting as we had. We're getting down uh, to the one, final 20 three, seconds four, here in this free for all. I, T squared as in control got, uh, from start to finish at 61 base. kills. Walshy trying to break the 40 mark at the end as he finds down legit so. down low, charging up pink. Final opportunity. And I think Walsh is going to finish him about sixth place. T squared next closest is 58. He's going to win in a big margin. Four kill difference between T squared and neighbor as our top four here with enable and ghost. Yami also banking $200. Not a bad start to the free for all, but now the real fun is going to get going here and we got our draft coming up. So Ninja let's talk a little bit about the old heads yeah. who are impressing you. Oh, yeah. Who's on Ninja's hot. List, who would you be looking at here in the opening rounds? Hmm. I mean, you got like, I already, first off, shout out to my boy Tom, Tom Taylor, Tom Taylor, also known as T squared, T squared, taking the first place. I called it out, man. Said he was gonna pop off. Um, I think can't go wrong with Tom, and I think your top picks, dude. I don't know if if I had to pick a god squad, if I could form the team, it would be Snake Bite, Snipe Down, uh, throwing Wall Street for nostalgia. With strong side as the coach, and with a little bit of flair, at the end, give it Ace, Ace or Elamite, dude. That's Ooh. like a god. It's an absolute monster of a team. 
I love that squad right there. And I love what we just saw in the free fall. Congrats to our winners. Remember, they're coming up here in the big team battle. And before we can get to that, we got to do the draft. Chat guessing with Duncan is now finished for today. For those that participated, make sure to check out the Duncan leaderboard to see where you're placing is right now the top 25 scores will win. So a friendly Twitch staff uh, member will reach out to confirm your participation and prizes. Be sure to come back for the next Twitch Rivals for your chance to play and win. And remember to download the Duncan app and become a, a DD Perks member to start earning rewards. If you think these prizes are great, wait till you see what you can earn in the app. Order your favorites to enjoy the stream. As we're going to a break. I'm done with the read. When we come back, more Halo 2. Don't go anywhere. This is Twitch Rivals. Twitch Rivals Halo 2 Throwback with Ninja. I'm your host, Puckett, and we are gearing up for our big draft. We just finished the free-for-all. The draft just moments away, and we'll introduce you to all of your captains in just a minute. But first, I gotta tell you about our Verizon giveaway. Chat, Verizon is giving you a chance to get closer than ever to your favorite streamers during the Verizon Checkpoint. Be sure to enter using hashtag Verizon Checkpoint in the chat if you want to win Twitch gift cards, courtesy of Verizon.
Verizon. Reminder, you got to be 18 years or older and a resident of the United States. Look out for a DM from your friendly Twitch staff if you win. Awesome stuff from Verizon hooking up the people. Once again, the hashtag, the spam in the chat, Verizon Checkpoint. Get it flowing. It's time to bring back in my casters for the show, though. It's not just me rocking the mic. I got the old head from the Old Spice Report. We got D-Mac in the building. And, of course, Ninja, one of the legends from the Halo franchise, blessing us with his presence on the show. Ninja, you called it. You, did, you had the big names. T-squared, he didn't win the free-for-all, but he was looking good in that runners-up match. He won it by four kills. Yeah, man. Tom is always just – you just got to let, let him warm up a little bit. You know I mean, the dude's always been great able to do so. I'm just hoping to, to see him continue to perform in the big team battle. But most importantly, I want to see him shine in the forest, dude. Uh, Tom was a good friend of mine when we were uh, playing back in the day, so – Another player you called out was Snake. Yes, sir. And this yes, sir. is a guy who has been a pro for a look at that. 14 years. Half of his Damn. life, he has been a professional gamer, first attending his MLG event at the age of Damn. 11, where he participated in the free for all with his mother, of course, signing off on the activity. We got parental permission back then, often teamed with Royal 2 throughout his uh, career, and together, they've only placed outside the top three once. If you're looking at stats, that is GOAT caliber numbers, and so far in this tournament, he is looking good. A 2.12 KD with the top of the leaderboard and good enough to bank him $400 alongside Ace, Nated, and Snipe Down will round out our top tier. DMAC, what do you think of this leaderboard so far? A lot of old heads showing up and some of the newer guys showing they can still play the old games. Yeah, I mean, look, if I'm looking at this leaderboard, if I'm going to be honest, it's not surprising. It's still the best players, in my opinion, on top uh, in terms of free-for-all. Uh, Maniac, I expected him to do a little bit better, and, and that's okay. It, he'll make it up. His his still kill assist to death ratio was amazing, which is what you would expect out of him. But yeah, man, it's look. It's been a while since been we got minute. this. You know, it, it's been a while, and now we're here, and it looks like it hasn't been a while, and that's been the thing that's most surprising to me. 100%. It's like damn. Dr. Pepper and some flips right now, bro. We would be right back on the MLG Pro Circuit. We got to talk about some of our captains coming into the draft now as we are just a few moments away. T Squared, Walshi, Elamite Warrior, and Ghost Ayami, some of your favorite faces, all went on to become on camera talent after I encouraged them to pursue their talents beyond the controller. Uh, but looking at this list, I mean, these guys are legends in this scene. Let's start with you, Ninja. You came up in the halo scene you saw these pros ahead of you who did you look up to the most on this sheet um i think i mean in, in not knocking elamite and, and and ghost down i love them to death but um just the names were, were t squared and walshi bro uh tom being the legend that he is walshi being the the final boss god the red bull athlete like everything about these guys man they were so iconic to me so Dude, I'm just, I mean, I'm so jacked I'm right now, man. You have no idea. This is so awesome, bro. Like, that FFA was just a, just a taste, just a glimpse of what we're going to see later. The BTB is going to be a nice, nice little, even a, a further appetizer. What's a, what's an appetizer after an appetizer? Because it's not the main course. You know what I'm saying? I wish it could have been, like, the dessert. Yeah, but the four before is going to be the main course. I don't care. This is going to be. I'm just so pumped, man. I was going to say this ain't no salad. This this is uh, some breadstick quality appetizer. We just got in your free for all. Yes. Now we're about to yes. bring you some big team battle. But first, we got our drafted. We showed you the captains. We showed you a little bit of their facts. And now it's time to get into the draft. It looks like Elamite Warrior from the agency is gearing up. We'll put a minute on the clock. Is Elamite having to go first here production? Is that what we're seeing? Okay, Kyle plays top, so he is getting the first Dude, draft. Kyle, Kyle, we've got What's your up, mic baby? turned up. Kyle, you're petting your dog for good luck. Why do you need it, and who are you going with? This is because uh, this is Bailey, and he's the he's my streaming desk dog, and uh, happy to have first pick because I already know who I'm going with, and with that number one spot, give me some Ace TV in the house. Oh wow! Oh, was right. What a surprise! He, he picked his brothers. Rose. 
going right, with the brother. The uh, Kyle, you, you could have chose anyone else and you went with your little brother. Why is Ace the best choice for you? I know if I didn't pick him now, Walsh, he was going to take him because I just know Walsh has got some, some cards up his sleeve. He's already got the strong side coach in the background. I don't know what this guy's up to, but I just know if I didn't pick him right now, I wasn't going to get him. So I got to go with one of the best Halo 2 players we got here. Somebody that's been practicing as well, and uh, that's going to be Ace here. Kyle, I'm supposed to let you, you go, don't but know I'm not what going Walsh to real quick. Is up to. Your brother's sitting next to you. Y'all are cheating. <laughs> what are you trying to accuse Walshie of? <laughs> Chew, you Thank already you know. Nice. Everybody knows what Walshie's up to. He's always up to something. All right, that's that was Elmite right, Warrior. That's Ace with the first pick. We got to keep the camera moving over to Big Daddy T, the first male who introduced me to yoga and made me feel good about being flexible. T squared, where are we going with the first round draft pick? <laughs> oh, all right, well, you know, we're obviously on Sherp, and so who do you think you have to go with? Have to go with one of the Sherp and members, and he threw in the free for all just so people wouldn't pick him first. It has to be neighbor. I'm going with neighbor. As the number one pick, we gotta throw it back, right? He's he's he he's, he left the final boss. It's time to bring him back. Bring him back, Tom. I love it. Wow. Reuniting the straight ripping squad here, Ninja. <clears throat> That's a solid pick, man. Solid pick. Congrats, Tom, by the way, on the uh, on the tourney win, the FBA win. I had you picked to win that right. one. So good job, Tom. Before Thank you go, you, uh, if it. there's needlers on the map, are you gonna use one against Walshy? I am. I need revenge. People don't know the original Needler happened back at Philly 05 on Saiyan for the killing spree in Gemini when Zylus was swinging the sword at the portal furiously. And uh, that, was, <laughs> that was the real Needlers that happened. Dave never even killed me with the Needlers. So let's just get that out of the way. Really look at the kill feed. He just shot my dead body yeah. afterwards. Thank you, Tom. It took us 17 years, but we got to the bottom of it. <laughs> out of your mind. Off of Tom, onto our third pick. Let's move it on to our other captains here. God, this is bringing up so many great memories. And this guy, he's been what a lot expose. of mind here in New York City. Goes to escape from high school, ride the train into the city and party with us. MLG boys. He moved on to become a, a man behind the scenes working on Halo, still in the industry and showing us that he's lost a few steps. Ghost, you've lost a few steps, but hopefully your first round draft pick has not. Where are we going? I, you know, it's, it's tough. Uh, you know, obviously have a lot of history with a bunch of these guys, but um, right now I feel like I feel like I got to pick up snipe down. I feel like I need I need a good sniper on my team. I'm gonna go with snipe down. It's wow, I mean, dude, good sniper, good player. Dude, snipe down's an absolute freaking monster, bro. Eric, it's top tier pick right there, man. How much money for you to take your hat off right now? I mean, there's there's not enough money in the world. <laughs> 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 He's been rocking Damn. a ponytail underneath it this whole time, guys. Go see I freaking it's love a, you, it's Master a rat tail. Human. Thank you very much. It's a rat tail. Thank you. It looks good on you. Eric's coming back with pick number six here in just a moment. But we got Walshy coming in at pick four and pick five. He's got uh, side the coach, aka the GM of this squad, ready to make some decisions. Strong side, Walshy. Where are we leaning with your first draft pick? First draft pick, this is tough. I think like the top contenders I'm thinking of right now are like there's Hysteria, Nated, Snakebite. So I think I want to get like yeah. one of those three. Um, yep. Come on, bro. Man, I think. You, I think I, 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 I'm, I'm, yeah. You know who it is. You know who it is. Pick him. I'll, I'm surprised one side. of these people is still. Do you know, should there. I tell you who to pick? I will, I will take my old carbon teammate. We had quite a run back in the day. People underestimated us. I'm going to go with Nated for my first pick. Whoa. I, I like, like that. Wow. That old carbon lineup. So you got Nated coming in at pick number one. I'm going to put another minute on the clock here for you, Dave, because in the fourth position, you get to go back to back. So let's back see back. who is player number three joining Walshy and Nated. Are we getting the full carbon lineup? Is best man coming in? <laughs> I would I would like to get him, but I think I'm going to throw this one out of left field. This one's going to be tough. I'm not sure how the chemistry is going to be. We've, we've butted heads back in the day, but I think he is the best available player right now. I've heard he's just been pretty godlike in Halo 2, and out of left field, I'm going to go with Hysteria. 
Wow. Wow. Never saw that duo teaming up. Strong side and Hysteria will be playing in the 4v4 together. I mean, Walshy, Walshy and Hysteria <laughs> will be playing together. Real talk, though, Strong side, did Dave let you play for any of those kills in the FFA? He played for all of them. I thought Strong side was going to do a lot better. He said he's been practicing up. He said he was, like, ready for this. And, like, he was rusty. His shot was winning. I was like, dude, you're making yeah. me look terrible right now. What is going on? That's what we thought. We thought strong side needed some warm up time. Good to see you're back on the sticks, Dave. That was Dave at pick one and two. We got to go back over to Ghost Ayami to get his second round pick. Ghost Ayami, chat thought I was serious when I was roasting you. You are one of the legends and the greatest objective player in the history of Halo 2. Now that that's out of the way, let's find out where you're going with your second pick after adding Snipe down to this lineup. I talked I talked it over with Snipe down, and uh, we want to pick up Snake Bite. That's, that's, a, that's it, dude. There it is. That's the pick, yeah. man, dude. I was waiting for it's this pick. pick. That's I'm easy pick. Surprised. 100%. Yeah, he didn't go first or I mean, second. I got this out is wild right. that you rolled every it. Every fucking time. Excuse me. Yeah. Every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we don't have to apologize go here. You're in a safe space. Okay. You felt the force, bro. We know that. Uh, hey, was it the fact you know? that Snakebite has been a pro player for 14 years, or was it his beautiful smile that won your heart, Ghost Yami? Uh, it's a combination. It's a combination of both. But, you know, he's a good teammate. And uh, <laughs> the I thought so. I miss you. Let's get stakes later. We'll come back for your fourth pick in a little bit. Right now, we got to keep it moving to our captains. T squared. He's never been needled. He's got Mason Cobb. And I see Briz legit is still available. Is straight ripping coming back, Tommy? <laughs> we're close because I, I have a feeling that we're going there in a second, but I'm going to go and take best man off the table because I think that he's been grinding a lot recently. And uh, I'm hoping that Kyle is going to leave Brian on the table so I can snatch him. The bearded wizard. I love this decision. Best man looking really dude. clean in that opening. I like free this throw. pick. That's a good pick. Dude, this is, these are this. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie. The way that these picks are coming out, you guys are all picking winnable teams. I love this. This is going to be such a good 44, man. Woo! Yeah, that took T squared a full six seconds to make his decision for best man. Tom will come back to you in a bit. Let's go to our last captain here. This is going to be back to back picks from the guy who had the number one choice. Elamite warrior. Where are we going with the third teammate? I got captain anarchy, flame sword, maniac, legit and enable still on the board. That's tough. So for my first pick, I, I know what I want to do here. Ace and I also talked about it and it's something we, we knew coming into this. Give me out because I believe I believe in the hype and I'm give me Maniac. Give me Maniac. Whoa. This, Whoa. My first pick. <laughs> OK, OK. All right. So we got Eli, Ace, Maniac. That's a sick team. This Who gets the out. sniper on this squad, Kyle? That's that's the real question. Like, there's only one on Sanctuary. Who's going to take it? There's, that's a lie. There's two because we're taking the enemy team well, sniper also. And we're getting their base. I like so. that. OK. Yep. Exactly. There we go. OK. We're, we're, Kyle, we'll, we'll be you, prepared. You, you got your third there with Maniac. I need your fourth. Where are we going fourth with pick. the fourth and final pick for Team Elamite Warrior? The first half of the winning big team battle team. This is this is a tough call, but I think I'm gonna go with the one T squared thinks is gonna be left, but he won't be left Ooh. because give me legit gaming TV as my last and final pick here. It is. Oh, in this, in this oh, draft. Mm, right. snake. The better oh. half of straight ripping. You heard it here. Let's go. <laughs> The better Ooh. half of straight ripping. We go back to T squared to see his answer to Elamite Warriors trash. Tom Taylor, what do you think of Elamite stealing your legit? We're getting them. My bad. Yeah. Elamite, I love you. You're a beautiful man. I'm checking out your stream later. Here's Tom. He's back. Got the Astros fresh. Tom, they just stole your legit. How do you feel about Elamite saying he's the better half of straight ripping? I just did a snipe down uh, chair throw right there, actually. So uh, no, no one really saw that one. No, that never happened. Um, so I'm a, all right. We I have an idea who I want because you know I got to go with someone with a beard. He may not have a bandana, but he's got the communication. He has the teamwork. We're going with Flame Sword. Oh, the top knot. I love it. Wow. Excellent choice there. The yoga wow. duo there with T squared and flame sword. They are going to be all kinds of Zen after the chair was slightly abused. Let's go over from T squared as he completes his team to find out where ghost Ayami is going next. 
we're gonna go hi ghost with, with the cod king right mr enable that's who we're enable that's a good pick the, the multi-title wonder you're you're going with this the is hat a, this is a great team i thought ghost would go with anarchy because they uh Oh, man. Yeah, I thought so too, Eric. That's interesting. Los is your boy for life. He's been a long time yeah. with me. You didn't go with him. Yeah, you know, but I mean, right now both of us were we were Dude, we were sandbagging teams, those uh... free for alls. So you know, I gotta I gotta do what I gotta do. Unfortunately, I gotta try and <laughs> gotta make pick up the guy that's decisions. been out shooting me all day, which is enable. There you so, go. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Hadbad still got it. Walshy, you get Captain Anarchy. The youngster is joining your squad. And I say youngster because you're our oldest competitor at 37. Captain Anarchy is only 33, right? Uh, Dave, we're getting in here with <laughs> What do we feel about this? We got Walshy, Hysteria, Needed, and Captain Anarchy. If you guys were in MLG Pro Circuit, I'm already moving you into my semifinals. Yeah, we got we got like an obscure roster right here. So we're going to see like we're going to either gel perfectly or we're going to have to work some things out during this first series. But like, I don't know, I think I think people are going to be sleeping on us. We're we got a sick roster as far as like talent goes and like people that can do every role that we need to. Well, yeah, you're because, also wearing I mean, the final boss like jersey. That, you guys are the reigning captains or <laughs> champions in the oh Halo God. world right here, Walshy. So who's who's <laughs> the biggest threat in this tournament? Are you worried about Key Squared, Ghost Yami, or Elamite's team? Ooh. Ooh, that, like, honestly, that was kind oh, of the no. question we would ask oh, every year in 2006, yeah. 2007. Be like, all right, who are we going to play in the finals, in the winner's bracket finals, and then who are we going to play in the grand finals? And, like, Honestly, it's sometimes really tough to predict because those little guys, they just go at it, you know, against each other. They, you know, sometimes do like really crazy strats and they, they try their hardest. And um, like I said, it's uh, it's always really difficult to predict which one of us will play against final boss in the finals. Which one of them? It's really cute. Us. Well, we know this foursome is joining up with another foursome after this. We're basically creating a Megazord as we go to big team battle 8v8 when we return. Our captains have selected their teams. For now, DMAC and I are saying goodbye to Ninja. Ninja, thank you for joining us. We can't wait to have you back on the show a little bit later, bro. Yep. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I'm going to be watching this the whole time. We'll be ready, and I'll see you guys in the fours. Quick commercial break. We come Hell back. Yeah. More Halo 2. Don't go anywhere. This is Twitch Rivals. Thank you. 
positions. Reinforcements are on the spoke. The entire fleet is engaged, Cortana. With respect, what the hell sort of reinforcement have you got? live on twitch rivals it is Puckett. it is d mac it's your halo 2 throwback featuring ninja and we just said goodbye to ninja after the free-for-all because d mac and i we need to grab these mics and get ready for btb we're going into a, a fan favorite a matchmaking favorite here that a few of our players would use when they need to come down for some competitive game nights big team battle is a special way to play halo d mac and this is where we can see some really fun multi kills and Pucket, big team battle, it requires a different type of personality. You know, like, if you are not able to make a family dinner, you might not be a good big team battle player. You know what I mean? You got to be somebody who holds the whole crew down. And so that is big team battle vibes. And so it's going to be very interesting to see who's family oriented. <laughs> so free for all, you want to be that selfish solo person out there big team battle it's all about the family and here's how it's gonna break down we are mashing up the families team agency that's elmite warrior playing with ace maniac and legit they will be joining up with team final boss that's walshy nated hysteria and captain anarchy on the other side some familiar faces t squared bringing in mason best man we got ghost ayami with snipe down snake bite enable boy this is gonna be a fun kick off here this is something that you would just run into in matchmaking and all of a sudden everybody puts on their game face i haven't played big team battle for at least 14 years i honestly have no idea what to even expect <laughs> coming into this dmac is uh, what what are the maps like are we playing zanzibar is that what's going on coagulation if i remember correctly coagulation. that was the oh, name man. of the huge map That's right yeah, I mean, you need four syllables in a big team battle map, you know, so obviously this makes sense. And I don't know what the strategy is. I think the strategy is to just have fun. And that's probably going to be your best bet in order to make it happen. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I wonder if we're using, I assume it's all the default weapons, so there's going to be a few power weapons on the map, and if you remember in Big Team Battle, you would always spawn with something that wasn't super strong at long range. So a lot of spawn killing could come into play here. We're expecting a lot of vehicle work, and honestly, I'm looking forward to some of the comps. I want to hear from the players what they plan to do as they're moving in. I assume we're going to be playing CTF. It could be bomb. It could be a number of things, because whenever you dropped into BTP, yeah. You didn't know what they were going to be throwing your way. DMAC, did you have a crew? And was it all folks from New Jersey in the Halo 2 days? Or who did you roll into big team battle with? Because Ohio, we would team up with Michigan. We would have like a, a Midwest little combo coming in. Oh, so yeah, y'all had to group with another state. No, you know what I did? I took my practice noobs and I would just bring them into big team battle. Because it was like, that's that's a normal route. We can all have fun. And it's more family vibes. I'm not going to be up your ass if you go super negative. You right. know what I mean? So You're a good guy, that's usually what I did. Yeah, I, I only had one mode, and that was go. Twitch, let us know. What do you guys think yeah. about this map? <laughs> Which team do you think is going to be stronger as we are waiting on our players to load in? A quick reminder of how the draft went down. Walshy. He went with Nated for his first pick, grabbed Hysteria, which was a real surprise for me as his second pick. They never teamed together, I believe. Shout out to the man, Tiberius Oddly. He went through all of our players and was telling me 
who's played together, who has oh. not. There are just a few who have not teamed with the number. And in fact, there's one guy who's actually coached Elamite and T squared. T squared brought him onto the team. Flame Sword has arguably the coolest history of any of our competitors. DMAC, he has been all over the competitive field. Uh, that's crazy. And, and you know what's crazy is while she put that out there, that energy of all things between us weren't the best in the past. So there's some past that they're trying to deal with, and, and it's going to be interesting. Hey, man, maybe past transgressions lead to future opportunity. All right, guys, I was just told one of our players kicked the power plug, which means I'm going to throw us to a quick commercial break. I will call Snakebite for you. Make sure he's doing well, and we are ready to go. Don't you worry, though. We've got 16 of your favorite Halo legends all in the same lobby. Big team battle. We come back. good feels it's bucket and dmac back twitch rivals halo 2 we're going back to a game that dropped in november of 2004 it was on the mlg pro circuit as the official title 2005 2006 2007 basically all of the history all of the vods that you have of competitive halo i feel like at least a third of it came from this game dmac yeah it, it is so interesting when you see like how big gaming has gotten today and then where all the gamers came from. And it's like a lot of the North American personalities, not only from MLG, but specifically Halo. 
And so it's like, that's why Halo continues to grow in esports and it will always have a special place in esports. And so it's, it's phenomenal, man. What else could I say? We're going back to the original CTF map. If you played Halo 1, Whoa. you played here on Blood Gulch. It got renamed Coagulation going into Halo 2, the new addition. Well, it wasn't just a ghost you could hop in. There's a Banshee, but that's the key right there on top of the base. It's going to be the sniper rifle, and only one player gets Wait, to use it each How team. We're going to go with a quick restart as some noob has the wrong settings, D-Max, so they keep getting kicked out of the game. But I can't wait to get this one going. I remember saying or reading coagulation. I was like, that's the map. But in my head, I was imagining Valhalla. I was not imagining just the the newer version of Blood Gulch that you and I used to love and spend so many hours on. Yeah, bro. I did not know that this was Blood Gulch. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been 14 years. I forgot the names. Okay. Um, obviously, get in that Warhog. Cover that teleporter. That's what we trying to do right away, okay? And then the Banshee comes second. This right. is Halo 1 strategy is probably going to work here. It's, it's not Ascension, but the Banshee is still super important. I want to give a shout out to a lot of people in the chat right now. We've got so many old names that I love seeing back in the building. Green Skull is coming on to watch. A lot of people wondering where are the Ogres at? Well, if you haven't kept up with the Ogre Twins, arguably the best players in Halo history, Dan, he left in the middle of his career, moved out to Australia. He is a happy dad these days. Uh, his brother Tom is currently working with the Florida Mayhem as their general General manager in the Call of Duty League. He's at COD Champs, unable to play, but his teammate Walshy is, and so is their former teammate Strongside, who's along for the ride. He's not playing, but Strongside is cheering on Dave, and anytime this duo is together, you know you're going to have some fun. Yeah, and, and Punkett, there's a lot of classic personalities in the Halo community. One that I always think of is uh, a man named Tupac, who yes. was one of the best players and then did a stint in jail and then came out and was still amazing. So we've had quite the personalities in Halo. It's amazing. And, and the Ogre Twins are definitely missed today. Uh, D-Mac, the only commentator I've worked with who brings up jail time on a regular. Uh, <laughs> Nated, <laughs> Nated here from Final Boss was given the sniper rifle, and he is going to drop two. That's Ghost Kayami and Mr. Hadbad, AK Enable, getting dropped there from 100 Thieves. Walsh was inside a ghost. Mason is going to take him out of it. And Neighbor, well, he's showing you why he was brought onto this squad. First pick by T-Squared with a triple kill. Labor is going off, just like he used T-squared going back to the, the captain role here. I in the sky just, I mean, honestly, the Banshee, it just drops shields, right? But if you're playing with a battle rifle, no shield, a single shot is going to pick up the kill. And T-squared, he's just, just going to try and keep this Banshee alive as long as he can. The snipers are the real players to watch, but I don't like the position from Nated. How are you going to do any damage if you just stay in your base all day, D-Mac? Yeah, yeah, obviously, Nated is not doing the job that Neighbor just did because Mason is trying to make a move on the flag, obviously. I just saw the chat that caught up to us, DMAC, with the best quote being, you can't be on T-Squared's team if you ain't willing to go to jail. Straight ripping. They gave off that vibe, didn't they? I'm getting sniped. They have a sniper top of it. There's a guy coming up to you. I'm here, Kyle. 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 Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those things. I was. Okay, I one shot. shot. Yeah, two in left cage. Yeah. Neighbor still talking about this. Might be my portal. One shot. Just two in their cage. Yeah. If you remember back in the day, there was a a little bit of a time where straight ripping got into some fighting, and it was T squared and neighbor who would go at it. Clearly, they have squashed the beef as Neighbor was the first pick for T-Squared. But when Neighbor went over to join Final Boss and the Ogre Twins, that's when Snipe Down came into straight ripping. That's when they started popping off. I believe it was San Diego that tournament in Halo 3. And after that moment, I was like, yo, Snipe Down can play with anybody, and so can T-Squared. Any young sniper is just going to flourish underneath his leadership. 
I'm just stuck in yeah, I mean, it, you know, look, you always looked at the T squared snipe down relationship as mentor, mentee, you know, both good looking young guys playing Halo that were just absolutely fantastic. So there was there was something going on there, and I, I was surprised. I was I got this mansion here. Well, a little marketable. I was surprised to see Legit not end up there. They went with Best Man instead. Legit will be on Team Elamite, the agency for this one. Legit, Maniac, Ace, and Elamite will be the foursome. In this, they are teamed up with Final Boss. That's going to be Walshie, Aiden, Hysteria, and Captain Anarchy. It's so hilarious. How, I mean, it's just so funny. This is probably the most intense big team battle game. I'm going to their base. I'm going to their uh, base. You might like, like everything is on the line right now. And oh that's what I'm saying. God, fucking, dude, for this, I'm it's so not about the money. Base, right. This is last Halo 2 tournament, lucky. maybe ever. And so it's like, hey, I want to let people know where I was at. When I have not seen out. a green gun in over a decade, DMAC. Wow. The combo oh, from Halo 2 was like so devastating. The green burst, it was a homing missile. It would drop your shield, single BR shot afterwards, instantly drop the opponent. Elamite is playing CTF, and it's him and T squared, the former teammate going toe to toe. Better half a straight rip and holding true, at least for now, says Elam. Where Re remember the green gun? Snipers weak at their ammo. That was weak at their sniper ammo. <laughs> Too strong. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. I remember they had still in their sniper ammo. With a still in their sniper ammo. They're calling out neighbors. So, you might have dealt with T squared. He's been behind enemy lines, but you can just see nobody is worried about him because there's no support. Neighbor is making sure that is not going to be an issue. A triple kill again. His second of the game. Second time on camera at least he's probably at least at three or four the man at range cannot be touched here on this map and he is just shooting for free with so many distractions out in front of him i, I mean it, it's validating these words pick I, i'll be honest neighbor has been fantastic this game anytime we've clicked on his screen he's been going off in my youth, I spent an embarrassing amount of time here, says Ryzon. Haven't we all, my friend? Finally, Flame Sword is going <laughs> to fall from the Banshee. Team Straight Rip it is going to be down without the aerial utility. Meanwhile, we got the Ghost pushing in here from Best Man. And he's got Elamite Warrior out of his base, back on spawn, looking to spawn camp. But there's too many BRs. He's getting tagged up from everywhere. And now they're going to have a ghost chase him. It was Elamite getting revenge. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting. I don't... Pucky, in your opinion, who's established a better position so far? Elamite Warrior has touched the flag. He is winning the game right now. No one else has made any attempt on the objective. I feel like everyone's just stat padding. Right. Right in the, right in the is it stat padding or are they trying to establish position? I, I really don't know the strategy. You're establishing of position without dying, you know? <laughs> We've all played yeah, that yeah, way yeah. in a matchmaking <laughs> game, right? <laughs> we got snipe down. He's on the red team, but that's a blue flag. And he's got a blue sniper to deal with. The plasma rifle will help him pick up the beat down. And now he's got some snipes to play with. Just as the first shot gets pulled, Elamite's brother Ace is going to take him down. So that's going to be sniper back control of Ace. Best man with the rockets showing you what you couldn't do in Halo 1. That's a lock-on shot, and it's going to take down Maniac. Oh, the lock-on. I forgot about the lock do you remember the lock-on sword glitch before the patches? You could lock on, yes. switch to the sword, fly across the map. I freaking loved it. Walsh, you can't sneak up on the best man. He knows where you at, son. And you know, some gamers yeah, now complain me. about how you, did, you have to patch games and you, you didn't have to in the back. We're lucky to have the Halo 2. The iteration of it is not nearly as good. Yeah, yeah, I think we should all welcome patches into the world. Just don't take away my quick camera from Halo 1. Here's a look at the Ghost getting destroyed as Elamite is going to lose his front fender. Ghost Ayami comes hunting. And he is just such great bait for his brother over the shoulder. The double headshots, the Elamite clearing their way into the flag. Yeah, obviously, some communication happening. Oh, and he's on a riot now. 
fuck. There's two Listen, ROV. Yeah, Carlos has And Ace is out of ammo yeah, but when Mason fire finally fire. finds yeah, a yeah. maniac coming to Ace's defense in the Banshee, yeah, and it's going to be neighbor falling in this fight. Right, so a little resurgence yeah, coming yeah, out yeah, of yeah, Team yeah, Agency. Yeah, that's yeah, Agency yeah, working yeah, alongside yeah, final yeah, boss yeah. here, Elam and Walshi. Yeah, yeah. Just one hit over by their portal. Okay. You have Ace's final boss versus. Uh, straight ripping and might be the last. The last team name, uh, we've got Carbon for Ghostyami. Carb oh, that's gonna be Carbon. Ghostyami, he picks Snipe Down, Snake Bite, and Enable. Oh shit, yeah, that guy too. Yep. And they are teamed up right now with Team Straight Ripping, T Squared, Mason, Best Man, and their fourth Flame Sword. So interesting because Stray Ripping and Carbon, right, massive turning. history there. You yeah. Know? It was like, for a long time, it was who's the real it was, opponent it was against like Final Boss. boss Stray Ripping, front, right? And then who was second best or who was uh, eventually going to become the best? Oh, no. In that sorry, 2000, sorry, sorry, sorry. what was it, 2006 season? I feel like that was one of the greatest years in Halo history because all 2005, for sure. it was Walshy, it was Final Boss. Win, 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 win. 2006, finally T Squared and Straight Ripping were challenging. Carbon was able to win a tournament. It was going back and forth, and for the first time ever, Final Boss didn't take home the national title. We just got killed, I think, yeah, for a second. And it was like all of the ogres almost. Uh, the legends finally yeah. fell. And, you know, that that, exa that established the competitive uh, nature in, in Halo the years the after that because Halo 1 was not very competitive. We saw Walsh at the top of that leaderboard. Guys, does that mean he has most kills like it does in Halo 1? Remind me, I'm not a, a big team battle star. Meanwhile, T Squared trying to finish off this we're, we're ghost. The flag is the on the move, though. Nated has grabbed the gold. Flag is in the front right, and they're going to get it all the way back to the base. Great driving as they're going to pull this one up. Hysteria and Captain Anarchy in the mix as Hysteria is your flag carrier and the first and most likely the only one on the scoreboard with the objective. Wow. That kind of came out of nowhere. Three people rolling up in a warthog and stealing your flag. That's embarrassing. All right, shout out to Eli the Ninja, former pro player, still Halo 2 expert. You can check him streaming on the regular, guys. I highly suggest you hitting the follow while you you got the plug right now. But Eli is reminding me, uh, the scoreboard is random. It never showed you who is in first place, who is in last place based on kills to uh, prevent people from camping. Yeah, because I, I did... I... I was thinking that right now. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that the scoreboard is in it, fan Because remember those people that would always just camp in Halo know, 1 yep. and they would There's just no like try to stay on top of the scoreboard? And it's like, dude, you lost 3 nothing. It's like, right. yeah, I went positive. You did no objective, 30. bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. We need to go for the OBJ. And in this one, there's only been one successful attempt with the Warthog run that we just saw, DMAC. And outside of that, we saw what? Snipe down in the base, move a flag two inches. Eel might got it about five feet. You're going for the perfect storm in an 8v8 when you're going after the objective. Yeah, there's not enough objective-minded uh, situations going on. Uh, what is this Banshee movement happening right here? What is the... I'm going to get back in the base. <laughs> I was like, that Banshee is swooping, moving swiftly. Yeah. The boost is going to miss the square. A second charge is going to fail. And you might get the business from Big Daddy T. Oh, my God. That was like a bull. That was the bull run right there. Is that OP or what, bro? Jesus, guys. Help on Asteria. Guys, prepare. Elam, this one ace version getting pinched between the purple warriors. This is Mason. It's going to be hard pressed. It's going to be hard brothers. That's how I'm feeling. Dude, they've been practicing so much, and I'm here for it, right? If you haven't caught up with what Elamite's been doing, he's working over at Space Gaming. Uh, meanwhile, when he's in the middle of his workday, they let him take a lunch break to stream. And so I've become such a, a, a Space Station gaming fan, watching Kyle stream, checking him out during the workday. He's always live around lunchtime if you're out here on the East Coast. That's amazing. I mean, I remember we used to hey, get lunch breaks the gunner, and, uh, until we did it. Remember, we used to play Halo on our lunch breaks, and then shit got way too intense. It, it got a little too serious in the office. Feelings were hurt. 
trash talk got a little too real on my end. I, I apologize for my coworkers. <laughs> yeah, bro, because it's very hard when you're in a series and then you're telling someone they're a piece of shit and then you got to answer their emails for a work call right, right after. It's like, you're still my boss, but you suck. <laughs> Oh, man. I miss this, GMAC. I miss you, man. What have you been up to over the last 15, 17 years since the game was out? Bro, the, the last nine, my life has been dominated by just doing stand-up, you know? Yeah. And, and yeah, which I have really loved. And, and Pucky, you've come out to a Jimmy, Ghosty, Ami, and I got to see you out in L.A. That was so yeah, epic. I got defense when I yeah, man. man. And so it's sniper. like, I have no ammo. that's been my life. And now it's... You know, getting more serious. Like, there's a comedy club in New York called the Comedy Cellar. It's like the Harvard Somebody of. Somebody want to jump in Gunner you know, again? Comedy club. And I yep. just recently started there like two months ago. Oh, no. Which is a one big move for me. So, little Kyle progress the along the way. Actually, major progress, if I'm being Our honest. Yeah. Boys. Yeah. Oh my we God. looking to do it big. Oh, and I think it's take it, take, take, take this. transitioning right. into a different this career. I've felt a lot of support from gamers Dude. because it's like. If I do it, it means that they do it, right? It's, we're all still together. The community all still supports each other. We love yeah. you, Pete Mac, and I'm glad to have you on the mic here for the next hour, uh, maybe four hours, depending on how long these games go. Looks like these players aren't going for any more flags, and I assume we're just playing the 15 minutes of normal time. Normally after 15 minutes, that would be OT if the score was tied. Currently, your blue team in control. It is red. Even you know, like a move? Are, are they even making a move? Are they making a move? The flag? Oh, uh, uh, I, I think they're a little bit <laughs> nervous too, bro. There's a big difference too. Six thousand dollars going out to big team battlers, and, and I think it's six hundred dollar difference. We'll see in the end. As the paychecks are made for the winning team, your blue team is going to be able to take this. This is Walsh. She needed hysteria. And Captain Anarchy playing alongside Elamite, Ace, Maniac, and Legit. Why is the Warhawk so oh, what a fun game. I, I don't know the last time these guys took place at an 8v8 in a competitive format. And, and I think we felt the vibes there. It was, that was a lot of fun. Can we see the stats? One of the players has to have the stats up. That's what they were playing for this whole time. I know the chat is wondering the same thing I am. How many kills did Neighbor finish with? How many deaths did he have? And uh, are you surprised to see his team not winning in objective game mode? For me, no surprise. <laughs> I see Walshy squad coming out on top because they prioritized that hog. It was Walshy. It was Captain Anarchy. It was Hysteria. All members of Final Boss running that OBJD. Uh, sometimes things never change. Okay, we expect things to change. We expect people to get older and be like, you know what? I'm going to be more on a team vibe. And it's like, no, Naded is still on some. I'm killing everything. That's my vibe. And no surprise here. Shout out to Twitch Rivals for giving our players this opportunity. Shout out to everyone in the chat. We're nearing 10,000 viewers, and we are watching the old heads of the Halo scene, the agency's Captain Elamite, and the captain from Final Boss Walshy teaming up here in the big team battle. They will walk away with $1,800. And more importantly, DMAC, one of the rules here was... If you win the big team battle, we will make sure you don't have to play your teammates in the opening round of the 4v4. So oh. Team Elamite and Team Walshy, they'll be on opposite sides of the bracket now. Oh, that's actually very interesting. And so probably some motivation. If you're, if you're on a team that you don't want to play against, you're probably like, bro, we got to get this W. I want to see. And also, it's like everybody here got paid. This was a, f a fun situation. You know, it's great. I, I want to find out what that bracket looks like. We're going to the 4v4 next. Elamite said he's got the better half of straight rip. And will they match up against T squared and neighbor in that opening round? That's what I'm hoping for. We are going to see the official bracket on the other side of the break. Don't go anywhere. It's Twitch Rivals.
switch the label, cut the check like the blazeman. Something sparking where his brain is. The beat of summer where they prayer sing. Jerron and Mota, where I make the bass jump when the parachute is tasteless. They likely to run their mouth, but when they see you face to face, they quick with the shape shift. Up through the night, work the grave shift. Battle from the cradle to the grave. Big mad how they face tense. Look both ways when you catch fade. I'm a nice guy on the inside. Still, I'm not somebody to be played with. Keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. My head on the swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. My head on the swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. Can't stop. Won't stop till I told the world when the glow trap. Bet I keep it out at the stove top. Type of thing I hide in a tube sock. I done skipped town on a new block, but I'm still around if you just not. Bet I hold it down with a group drop where I kick down for the crowd of a loop pop. Bet they come around for my moolah. Bet I run them out of town for their hoopla. Queen, she a hun like Mulan. Everything the hoes what they were, but they just not. They be right up in your face with a fake stop. They be thinking it's a game, but it's just not. They be thinking we the same, but they sub part. Leave from drug through the mud when the flush stop pull up. Hey, I feel amazing. Pyramid scheme, how I play the angle. I send it to your girl, but I make a facelift. This is your brain, little bitch. Hey, I be hella wild, but you can't tame me. Got the keys to the cradle with no cable. Smell it like basil. Yeah, I got the flavor. I ain't got no patience. Kept it with a savor. I be on the nerve, but I feel painful. Make a sound when I serve, had a dish taste. It. Triple conversation. Give them waves till they make sure the flotation. It's outrageous. Right just with the sound, but a finger raising to the whole nation. Yelling out 12 till they throw me in the cell, but I make bail for the young and rebellious generation. Keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. My head on the swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way a thousand. I don't know how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. My head on the swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. Ninja here for your <laughs> Halo 2 tournament. Ninja rejoining us after some epic skill showcase in big team battle. After 15 minutes, one whole flag was scored, but everyone got a chance to showcase they can still pop off on coagulation. Yeah, at a certain I point mean, you that tell, you didn't have yeah. some like SQ pants oh. like fucking Mr. Oh, Pride. Oh, for what you, you no, hey, even did you everybody? Make can you guys hear us? I can hear T squared talking about yeah, some yoga pants. Uh Ninja, we've got all of our captains here live right now, and I wanted to to bring everyone in because I was told, you know, it's a fifty thousand dollar Halo tournament. We've got all of the old names, the biggest names in the game, back together. But you you have a special announcement for the people. Today yeah. is a very special day for all of us. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, dude. Every time you can get the boys back together, dude, for you know one last ride, if you will. Um, we got to make it a little <laughs> bit more, a little bit more interesting than fifty thousand. So we're gonna add an extra hundred thousand dollars of my own money into the prize pool across the board for you guys to compete in. So just uh, really, yeah. you know, if, you if you weren't sweating before, yo. Yeah. Right what? Did you hear that right, you might? A hundred thousand yeah. bonus dollars is coming in. How do you feel about what? playing for one fifty? I feel like I need to clean my ears out too because I couldn't believe what was already <laughs> happening. What in the world? The <laughs> legend himself coming in with the big plays. My God, dude, it's huge. And this Get is why we love Ninja. Ninja Bro, is the man. If Elamite. If Elamite and his brother weren't cheating before this, they definitely will be now. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, we got to go over to wild. Team Captain T Squared here. Uh, Tom, you are always known for the money you make. In fact, uh, many people found out that you make more than our our pops, bro. Um, but can you, can you tell us a little bit about the pressure you may feel? Because I got a peek at the bracket, and there's a chance that tonight we will truly find out who is the better half of straight ripping. Are you ready to take on the big team battle champion and Elamite warrior. 
I'm definitely ready. Yeah, I'm excited for sure. It's it's about having fun and getting the band back together, right? And it's it's really exciting to do all this and kind of to I can't even remember the last time we had this many freaking legends, Halo legends together. And uh, it's time to throw down. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, okay. Ghost Hell Army, yeah. $150,000 on yeah. the line. Final thoughts real quick. You got sniped down. You got Snakebite, who Chad is saying the best Halo player of all time now. And you've got Enable. What are the chances Team Ghost Army is walking away with the bag? You know, I feel like when the championship money is on the line that uh, we do pretty well. You know, Team Carbon does pretty well. So, you know, we're going up against Final <laughs> Boss first. <laughs> And uh, they don't even have like the good players from Final Boss playing today, so we should be, we should be pretty pretty set. I'm I'm feeling confident. Dave, uh, I'll let you chime in before we go. Any words for your friend with the uh, the fantastic Yankee hat there? All I gotta say is that Final Boss has never not been in the finals in Halo Two. There were a few flukes here and there where some teams walked away with the win, got a couple games. We started slacking, playing other games, trying to compete in like melee and shadow run and other things just to get a challenge. Um, you know, I, I just, we're, we're final boss. We're the, the final team for a reason The the name, we didn't get to choose our name. It all said that in this video game known as MLG Halo two, you're the final boss. So they just assigned it to us. Back to business it is what it is. Let's go. The the legend has spoken. Final boss wow. ready to go. We got Team Carbon. Oh, wow. We got straight ripping the agency. 4v4 is kicking off any moment. And Ninja, just let the boys know we are giving away $150,000 wow. in this tournament, tripling the prize pool. And that's what our numbers look like now, Ninja. Let's go, baby. Yummy, yummy. Listen, you know, it always, oh, you got to up the stakes a little bit, man. This is Halo 2. This is what the prize pools always should have been. I want people walking away with bags. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Dude, dude you're the man. We just went from, I'm guaranteed $1,200 for losing big team battle to now $3,600 for getting embarrassed in a banshee. Even if you lose this <laughs> tournament, you are going home a winner tonight. And most importantly, our 4v4, while well, the stakes just jacked up, no longer is it $4,000. It is $12,000 per person person and a year supply of Doritos. We are hooking up the players. If you lock in the number one spot and are crowned our Halo 2 throwback champions. Ninja, I'm all fired up now, but I'm so happy you brought us in for this. Dude, let's go, bro. 12,000 per person. Wow. That's, that's, wow. Let's go. There's bro, that is so sick. DMAC, agency straight ripping. We get to see the battle of straight and then final boss versus carbon. Are you getting these OG vibes? I'm getting such OG vibes, bro. The extra 100K, you know, we were talking about getting a four-story home. Ninja made that shit happen. This is so phenomenal, bro. Wow. This, if we weren't hype already before this, how how much more hype are you going to get for nostalgia? Yo, the chat's is just blowing with happy tears right now. I see. Thank you, Ninja. Thank you, Ninja. Ninja is the GOAT. These players deserve the cash. I'm crying on the inside and outside here, Ninja. Straight You're up, making bro. me a very happy old man. These guys able to put down a, a little deposit on maybe a house, a mortgage payment. We'll see what comes in. But the big money is on the line. $12,000 if you get first place. To put that into perspective, it's basically like winning the 2006 playoffs. That's kind of where we're at, DMAC. If you yeah. finish top four, you are not seeing money anywhere close to that 12K you could win tonight. Yeah, and, and that was one of the most exciting moments of everybody's life, being in one of those events. So to bring it back right there, where it's like the stakes are just as high as 2006 when the testosterone was also your highest. This is <laughs> wild, okay? So we're about to have some fun. All right, so Ninja, let's talk a little bit about the 4v4. You've been in these events where all of a sudden they tell you, well, the money's just been jacked up. Does this give you extra pressure? You're playing best of fives. What are the vibes like here? Because this is a pickup team, basically. Every squad has a former teammate that they're comfortable with, but then almost every group is playing with someone they've never been in a competition with. Yeah, I mean, I think that everyone here was already going in, you know, going into this tournament, like they're gonna try, they're gonna have a good time though, right? It's gonna be fun. You know, win some cash and, and, and play some Halo 2. But now I think what you're going to start seeing, and I, we, I think I truly do think that this is going to make every single team try their absolute hardest. We are going to be getting some insane games. I'm talking like people are probably going to be going over strats now, right before the match has started. Yep. 
what they're going to be wanting to do, what they're going to want to accomplish on objective matches. Like, I don't think that uh, that the people who like to snipe are not going to be able to snipe. I think that, the, the, you know what I mean? They're going to be having conversations like, listen, you know, it's, like we all know that you want to snipe, Dave, but we're probably going to give it to, you know, Hysteria or we're going to give it to Snakebite. Like, so, like, you know, this just got real serious real fast, man. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see the try-hard pants on all of our players. Reminder, we have 16 Halo 2 Legends. All are live on their own streams. We have broken them up into teams of four. If you're just joining us, here's how the rosters are going to break down. For the agency, you saw the agency has gone up against Team Straight Rippin. Eel Mike Warrior, he gets the highest score in the free throw with the number one pick. He got his brother, Ace. Then goes after Maniac. He was able to grab legit with his final pick, the former straight Rippin member joining up with the teammate on the other side of that matchup they're going up against team t squared and t squared grabbed another straight Rippin member mason cobb aka neighbor right off the break before adding best man and flame sword so looking at this opening battle dmac legendary names there in the middle who do you think has the edge is it team agency or team straight Rippin? Uh, uh, look i think straight Rippin is a great squad but uh, uh, after watching the first, and I said I wasn't going to do this, make decisions based on the free-for-all, but just watching Elamite <laughs> and Ace, they seem to be on one right now. Not surprised. I'm going to go with the agency here. Okay, going agency here. He's going with the brothers. Let's go to the other matchup here, Ninja. I've got one prediction from DMAC. In our second match, we see Walshy, Nated, Hysteria, Captain Anarchy representing Final Boss. They take on Ghost Ayami, the Carbon lineup that finally ended Final Boss's run. Ghost Ayami, Snipe Down, Snake Bite, and Enable on this lineup. Who do you give the edge to? Uh, Snake Bite. Snake Bite team, Ghost Ayami, Snake Bite, Enable, Snipe Down. That is. Yeah. That is a terrifying team. That is a yeah. terrifying team. I don't think there's a Very single good. weak link on that team at all. Uh, I mean, but, but you know, again, dude, the top three. That's scary. Scary. I was right. I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, go see Ami and Walsh. You're going to play the same role. They're both going to be the objective kids. And yep. then you have to fight, though, of who you give the snipe, the sniper to. Does snipe down yeah. or snake bite take it? And then is it nated or hysteria taking it for Team Walshy? This is dude, I this is going to come yeah. down to the power weapon control for me. 100%. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be which one of the uh, the slayers just goes off on the other team, right? I mean, and in my opinion, the snake bite, uh, snake bite, snipe down have a very high chance to pop off. Like, I, just... if you're playing against them, you don't want to deal with any either of them. They're one of them is already a hassle to deal with. So we're just moments yeah. away here, DMAC. We should talk a little bit about the maps that we're getting into. This is going to be fun for me because it's been a minute since I've read off CTF Classic Midship Team Slayer on Warlock. Team Amazing. Ball Lockout Sanctuary CTF with the double snipers coming into play. And of oh. course, we'll close things out with a sword on the map Midship. What do you think of our opening five maps here, D? Uh, I mean, if it gets to game four, that that's the map for me. Sanctuary CTF was just such a classic, high-level played map. All of these, in, in their own right, are, are just, they're going to be classic games. Team Ball on Lockout, I don't think that there was ever a better oddball map. Um, CTF Classic Midship. Midship, you said it earlier, and you didn't say it on air, but... I, yeah, you're right, Puckett. Midship is probably the best Halo map of all time. So it's like, yeah, absolutely. Great, great games. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. These are game types we've seen forever. All right. I'm we so are going to go to a quick break. When we come back, guys, we are going to be kicking off the 4v4. Call your Ooh. friends. Tell them to quit their jobs or at least leave <laughs> yeah. early and turn on Twitch Rivals. We are going oh, with the, the back 33-year-olds up to a 37-year-old playing for $150,000. When we come back, let's go.
more greatness, man. Hold up. In the words of the great Farouk, it is time to lock it up. We got Mr. D Mac, we got fucking Aaron Farouk. I just butchered lock it up somehow. It's three words. I didn't know it was possible. <laughs> we got Ninja in here. Everything is right in the world again. Uh, Ninja, we were just talking about it during the break. You said when you threw down this extra hundred thousand dollars, you knew it was gonna make people smile, but we had no idea how much these numbers would inflate. Looking at all the graphics. There's $12,000 on the line here in the 4v4, and you've already bonused their previous efforts in the big team battle and the free-for-all, man. Yeah, I'm jacked, man. I'm not going to lie. I was already <laughs> super excited and looking forward to today. And, like, just even joining the little Discord uh, chat with you before everything for, like, you know, three minutes just shooting shit, man. I was, like, I got even more excited. And now I, dude, I legitimately am getting, like, MLG Sunday vibes right now. Like, it's about to go down. And, yes. and seeing that that list of five maps, bro, Oddball, Lockout, Slayer, Warlock, or freaking midship. Come on, man. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're so basically awesome. on Championship Sunday. This is your winner's bracket semifinal match, right? We're in the winner's bracket. Four teams are there. After this, we are going to see our loser's bracket matchup, the elimination, and, of course, our loser's final. Before we crown the grand finalist and our champions, we'll be walking away with $12,000 and a year supply of Doritos. Gamers are getting hooked up. Shout out to State Farm, Doritos, Dunkin' Pizza Hut, Samsung Verizon, and my man, ninja for putting all of this together the throwbacks dmac i didn't see it coming i knew infinite was coming i knew the hype was coming i didn't expect it to be here already i, I mean we, we gotta put ninja's name right next to pizza hut because he an official <laughs> sponsor of this bitch now and, and that's what's <laughs> up bro is you putting that money where your mouth is showing that excitement and like really giving back to the Halo community, and it's like, bro, it's a beautiful thing to see. It's why many people have cheered from you from day one. Anybody who knows you is like, this is so well deserved. And this does not surprise me at all, bro. So and it's, it's earned you a spot in our fantasy football club. We'll get you in after the matchup. We got to get into these games. But first, a lot of people are asking, who's playing? Well, welcome to the stream. I'm glad the word has reached you. You are now watching on your phone, your tablet, your home TV. Hopefully, I saw somebody is watching this with their son. Yeah, that comment made me feel really old. Here's a look, though. <laughs> uh, our 16 players broke down. We got our Captain Walshy from Final Boss, Captain Elamite from the agency. T squared made the picks for straight ripping and ghost Yami made the selections for team carbon. We highlighted a lot of these rosters. We highlighted some of the key players. If you could pick one player screen that you would love to watch from each team D Mac, let's go down the line. Cause back in the day, that's how it worked. They gave us one through eight and we had a go. little tiny keyboard and we could pick and choose which player we wanted to watch at any time. Well, I, I want to see the legend Walsh straight up just because that's the legend. Right. Yep. Ace, because I think he's just so gifted uh, as a player. Uh, I would love to see Snipe down too. again, one of the most gifted players of all time. And then my last one, you know, even though they're on the same team, actually different team T squared, bro. I want to see Dr. Pe Dr. Pepper Bottle King straight up all day. Tom killed it up. He killed it. He slayed it in that last free for all, man. I told you he's he feeling himself. So uh, I'd like to see Tom. Also, I really want to stress that wall sheet pick because I mean, it's basically like we're watching strong side, you know? Yeah. And, and, and it's not just Team Slayer. That's what I love about this tournament. We are playing the 2007 National Championship MLG Pro Circuit settings here. Hyper competitive, uber balanced, thanks to the old school legends, John Nelson, Casey Kramer, and all of the folks who helped us test the game types, reset the weapon timers, and all of the work that went back into it back in the day. These guys have put in tens of thousands of hours on this map, and we are kicking off the first round of the winner's bracket right now. This Elamite Warrior verse from Team Agency taking on the former teammates, T-Squared, and Neighbor from Straight Ripping. We've got Neighbors in front of this. Oh my god, man. Did he can already hear the comms, bro? Super intense, man. I was gonna say that too. You already hear the intensity. 
In our bubble. Our front base, our front base. And they're gonna use two shots. Dude, dude, it just got real, boys. Go last blue under base. Three dead. Pull it, pig. Go car, go car, go car. You can see there's just one blue player up. Red team is pushing in. It's gonna be T squared making the calls over to neighbor. He's gonna move the flag. Eel might survive, but neighbor's already up to pink, too. Great cover for the objective so far, and this could be the first score. No! Hero play as you're gonna see Maniac causing problems. It's gonna be neighbor on the ground, and this flag should be returned. Best man neighbor. Best man and neighbor. And I think Blake is going to be one of the underrated players on the team. He so makes a team go. He's been a great captain for a long time. Led a lot of young players. There window, there window, neighbor. Just don't die yet. Just don't die. Probably one, shot player one shot their window. Got him. Yeah. Me. I mean, you could. Uh, uh, that's actually a really good call, man. Uh, Play sword no has never be really been known for his base, insane, insane yeah. solo yeah. dominating yeah. performance, yeah. right? He's yeah. usually yeah. always incredibly yeah. consistent, a good leader. And that's what he was known for. So I think I kind of definitely underestimated, I think, in the fact that he'll probably shine a lot more in the force. It was so fun to watch him as well, putting together the status quo lineups. That's where we first saw a name. Able, the ginger wearing gold. Ace and Elamite trying to move this flag though, and you can see Flame Sword is underneath the base, causing problems. The opposing team trying to run a flag, and now Ace is gonna say, Do we go for the return? I'm just gonna drop this out front and keep slaying from top pink. Sword down! Great comms, nice double kill coming out of Ace, man. Absolutely monster. Also keeping Tom at bay, bottom mid. Flag is trying to be moved, but that best man it is. And going out there. Oh, I'm sorry, no, best man's actually on the other team. Oh. It's so hard to see, man. You're right? Yeah, yeah. We're playing on, on 30 FPS. That's the problem here. A shout out to Pansy, one of the greatest casters alive. She's joining us in the chat, as is Gaskins. If you are from the UK, you're very familiar with two of the biggest faces of competitive calls over there. Thank you for joining us. This is Halo 2's throwback. Your North American great. Honestly, if you look back at the MLG Pro Circuit, there's only about three teams from Europe that came over. The Buck Twins, probably the Buck most Twins. notable duo that I can remember back in the day. Yeah, the Buck Twins are absolutely, I mean, they were, it's always so interesting. It was my first ever introduction to to EU gameplay or just any other region gameplay. And like the way that they played, I remember they knocked us out in, uh, to make it into top 32. Uh, and I think like it was like Anaheim or something. And it was just such a different style of gameplay, right? Like, I think, like, they, on, on Pit, like, they controlled uh, Sword. Like, they never ran it through Green. They never ran it through Long Haul. Like, they controlled, like, Sword, and, like, they ran the flag bottom bridge. And we're, like, sitting here just so confused trying to hold spawns that they aren't even focusing on. Mm -hmm. And we were just getting dominated. So I was... It was so, it's just so interesting. Bottom man. Bottom I really I wish I got that in, into that earlier. Man. Get him, P1 That's side, interesting, P1 but did you ever see like differences Neighbors like that regionally? regionally? Three, three, like you ever see Ohio three, three, players three, play different three, than like three, three, Washington three, players? Three, three, players? Nah, not, nece not necessarily. I think I think there was only just like an online, there was always like a ping yeah. issue, right? That's all it really was. There was never any, anyone playing different. It was just people being forced to play, you know, on, what was it like yellow bar, right? Is what they call it, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Low green, you never want to be beyond that. You want to have a nice, delicious, full green bar connection back in the H2 days, man. Yeah, those quality dial-ups. I remember trying to sign in. Here's a look here. Best man, he was crushing in the free-for-all, and he crushed his former teammate, Maniac. Does he get the flag touch? No, this flag should go back in about 10 seconds if no one gets a grab. There is the grab as T-squared gets the double. This one should be going home to bring the score 2-1. They, oh, they need, the reset. need the return. Nice. Well done. And, and this one should have been scored earlier. Flame Sword kind of botched it in Carbine. That was that was interesting, but they still got it. Uh, I wasn't gonna I, I've call seen... Good job, D-Mac. Hey, fumble Yame, dude. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, and, and the agency to me has kind of dominated the, the early openings here. It's kind of interesting to see. I mean, I'm just happy that we got a nice close game, man. Oh, yeah. No one likes a blowout, man, especially with the... With added hype to the matches now, man. I want to see. I want to see good close games, man. I want to see 49, 49 Slayers, dude. 240, 240 oddball scores. Maniacs weak slide. Tom's doing a great Chad, job staying alive, man. These guys are not playing H2A. This is the old school Halo. Is BXR and double shots still in it? Because I've seen a few attempts at the BXRs, but still no double shots on camera. Okay. Yeah, double double shots are difficult, man. I mean, they've always they was always difficult, and now it's always all these, difficult. All these old hands, you know what I mean? <laughs> who, who do you think had the best double shot in Halo? Uh, Walshy for a little bit, and Eli the Ninja. Anytime you went to Eli in a free for all, he was going double, 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 double. It was disgusting. Wow. 
I have a story, man. I'll oh explain God, it to you guys God. someday. But I can't. No time to do it now. Not it takes camera. Long, but like, no, no, no. It was about double shotting. It was a. It was a story of me and my brother playing team doubles, and we played against these guys. Their names were Quad Shot, and like, it's all they did. Anyway, long story short, we beat them, and it ended with like just me, just quad shotting them for the victory on a, on a pit slayer and team doubles, and it was the greatest feeling. It's, it's like if you hit that double shot, it was the equivalent of hitting a collateral snipe. That's the joy you felt every time it connected, especially online because your BR it wasn't always true. It should have gone straight, but one of those bullets would always stray off the wrong way. Yeah, that was good. Oh, someone yeah. said I saw a best friend. Double shot. Shot. Karma like was bad. Wasn't Karma nasty? Still bubble one. With, with the double shot? Wasn't he like, I remember, yeah, I think I remember playing against him. I got into one of the F phase. You guys might not remember this, dude. There, do you guys remember the Halo 2 playlist? It was called like the Halo 2 Championship or something? They added a free for all or an FFA ranked playlist in Halo 2. And it, there were so many, like I got up all the way up to like a rank 39. I was in lobbies with strong. This is the first time playing with pros ever. Yeah, I got in lobbies I remember with strong. This. Do you remember that? I got in lobbies with strong side, Walshy, Nated, like every game I was in their, in their matches because we were so high ranked. And like, it would, that was just nutty. And I remember going up against Karma one time, or not Karma, uh, Jesus, it was Karma. And he just throttled me. It, I got absolutely manhandled, man. And I never yeah. enjoyed it more in my life than that moment. It was yeah, great. and that's not the Damon Barlow karma, guys, from Call of Duty, you may know, the three-time world champ. We're talking the original karma, Ben Jackson. He was the greatest free-for-all player of all time. And looking back, I always wondered, was it because he won that first event, had the top seed, and meant he would always have host in the 1v1s? Did we set him up for a full year of success? Ben, I'm not trying to take anything away, but you might owe John Nelson and I a little fraction of that prize pool. <laughs> Dude, three two right now, man. Only two flag caps left for the blue team, and are they running in right now, or are all both flags back at base? And by the way, is this touch return, boys? I got him. This is touch return, yeah. No, it's ten second. Ten second. You got to be near it. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awful. Uh, I thought it was touch earlier. Oh, we'll see. I, uh, we'll yeah, find let out. Let us know. We're boomers, bro. I haven't, I haven't touched midship flags in like a decade. Yeah, this I one's going in, though, for a second, or a fourth score, oh, rather, for a blue team. A two flag go. lead the now. The base, the base As you can see, G squared and crew, yeah, they are up against it. Just six, seven minutes to play with here as you're running out of time. You need to take control of this map, and they have not had the power weapon, that being the sword, the only one on the map. Four dead for blue team right now, man. They need to take control of P2 right now. Neighbor trying to do his best to hold this, man. Legit just getting absolutely destroyed. Spawn killed, free. Stay alive, man. You know it's stressful when you got a vape mid game. A hundred percent. You can Ooh, see my man, the host neighbor finally cut down. He gets the killing spree, but Eel might playing so ratty. You can tell he's been putting time into the game, just knows the angles, how to bob and shot. As you break out from four down, that was one of the hardest things to ever do in CTF midship. Blue team, they make it look easy. Yeah, did you see? I mean, we literally heard the comms from Eel might. The second the game started, he was freaking out. He's calling out literally that he had shots on everyone. He was just putting down so much cover fire right off the start from his, from his window. Bro, Elamite is thinking about Cabo and nothing else. Car one's he wants this punt. Car one weak. Car one. Best man. I think they got this in the bag, man. It's over at 15 minutes, yeah. Car one somewhere. Yeah, over at 15. Unless there's a tie, then we kept it going until both flags were at home. That's the old school rules I put in the book. I don't think they've changed since then. Nope, definitely not. Shotty's out. Ace is in the street. Not gonna be do there. Ace Kyle goes down, and that's going to be two dead for each team. T squared with a big fight here, top pick, and he's going to get help from his teammate, Mason, right behind him. Maniac dead. Maniac dead. Pink too. Their window. Maniac's dead in pink. Ends his killing spree. Bubble. Five minutes, man. Still plenty of time. They just have to, unfortunately, right now, they just have to play some strong D until they get, you know, some control of both either pink and car spawn trap in their base and you know, hopefully they can even get a back-to-back -back, man it was always so rare to see like back-to-back -back flag caps and quick question for our producer are both series going live at the same time or are we going to do one then the other 
This is going to be a fun day of Halo either way, but I'm looking forward to each and every one of these matchups. Remember, this is just your first showdown in the winner's bracket. We also have Team Ghost Ayami taking on Team Walshie. That is Final Boss versus Carbon in our second series. If I had the guest bucket, I think that both of them would be running at the same time. I'm not sure. Right, right, right. I mean, I honestly, street? man, I'm, I'm down to just literally Ilmai? be here for the next two guys, two guys are eight hours. Yeah, if you want to just make sure we get each and every we, match, I'm not going to be upset that's about that's it. However, I understand. Go pick one again. I got one have a timeline. Dude, there's street. There's street. I don't see street. I don't see street. No, he's dead. He's dead. Under the base. Under the base. Good comms, man. All we alive right now. Space, space, all pretty sure every single member of Tom team should have been pushed up past that point. It's exactly what you want to do. Think they got him trapped in their base. Should we from our base? Just gotta take their time. Make sure they trade this out. Oh my god, man! Legit, just being an absolute rat, staying alive, putting down fire cross map. And we did get clarification. Both games are happening at once. We'll keep you updated with what's going on in that second match as this one comes to a close. Three minutes and thirty seconds still to go. And a carbine is out. We haven't seen the green machine in a minute. There's a nice double lined up here from Flame Sword. Wow. That was and he stays alive, man. So massive, dude. Yeah, they're sure, yeah, they're dude, where's his help? You know what I mean? He just got a nasty double kill there. He's controlling P2 by himself. Yeah, yeah, where's his teammate? I got one shot on P2. Ace and Elamite have not been afraid to go up into Pink 2 and challenge. Ace finally cut down. Maniac is going to fall as well. That's three dead for the blue team. Opportunity for T squared and straight rip. And T squared with the Pink 2 control. You got to wonder where's the rest of the squad. And as you can see, he checks his back. They were all still in the base. T squared in trouble. I'm running this. Uh, hey, uh, great uh, job going pick three here. Team Mac. Ha has has anyone ever seen Ace and Elamite win a tournament together? Has that ever happened? No, I don't think no, they, they've never. They, have, they, they played in Kentucky Shut locals, window, please, but as soon as they got to the pro scene, Kyle was kind of always a, a tier in front of Aaron until he's, he's caught under. up in about Halo Our and the Halo three, shots, early Halo shots. four. Yep. Yep. So that would be no, we got to kill again. We got to kill again. I think we're getting a glimpse. We would go to any LAN, and if Ace had to stand in for a pro player, no one, one complained. No one and, knew a difference, bubble. really. One he was, was at that level. And under. Yeah, I mean, in top my top opinion, top at top the top end top of top Halo top. 3, he was one of the best Halo players in the world. Car. From the base, Gandhi. Nick, running car. And it's Carl Wilder, Carl Wilder, Spawn, weak flame. Oh, look at that. Let's Even doing the smack of the flag, flame sort of trap bottom middle, man. You never want to be there. That's a desperation play. You're not in a good spot when you're bottom mid. Dude, I'm just... Yeah, unless this is oddball, get out of bottom yep. center. <laughs> and you can see there that is. flag is being oh, rallied in. Flag number five, That's legit so scores back. four of them. Maniac with the fifth. And let's take a look here at the numbers. I got to see who finished on top of the kills. My guess, my guess is neighbor here. I want to see what is going on on those numbers. If we can production, let's get a peek on that. DMAC, this is the first of five games, and, and we're feeling pretty good here for the blue team. What did you see out of the Elos? I, I just saw control and, and a lot of calmness. They had control the whole game. I, I never felt, even when it was 2-1, that they felt threatened at all. So uh, this is coming with some energy. And even look at the scores. Like, yeah, they're dominating the Slayer <laughs> portion. And so I, I think this is Elamite and Ace's tournament to lose. I'm going to be honest. Okay, I think the good news for everyone at home is legit is clearly making his return to the game. He's got 12 assists, 15 kills, but a negative KD. The usual legit we would see was always in the top two on the leaderboard. I'm waiting to see if he finds old form, because if so, that is already a dangerous team with three players nearing 30 kills. Let's go over to Walshy squad, though. This is against Team Carbon opener. Game number one, we're only four minutes in here, but the score already 2-1. Walsh's One team down a flag, and it looks like it might be two as Ghost Yami gets away pink two. Oh, first off, man, if I have to trade legit being a, the top fragger on the team to him grabbing four flag caps and taking the objective role, they, if it's gonna if it's gonna give me twelve grand, man, sacrifices have to be made. Uh huh. All right. With that being said, uh, this yeah, I mean, only four minutes in, and we have four total flag caps. This is kind of insane, man. And Ghost Yami just is now on a killing spree. Yeah, bro. I thought. I think we're not acknowledging enough that. Two pink side doors. Like, 
Right. Yeah, I, I took Carbon from a team that was a top four contender to becoming champions. He was the missing link. For anyone that remembers, he was playing with guys like Mimic in the EX squad with Pistol Pete and crew. Then he gets scooped up by Carbon. As soon as he's added to this lineup, he and Shockwave became kind of the OBJ masterminds. And this was the team that showed everyone you can beat Final Boss and you can do it in their best game modes, including Oddball. And, and bro, he's had some humbler beginnings than that. I remember for the first time he tried to come to my house to land, I said, you got to bring two TVs and three bags of potato chips. <laughs> you charged him food and equipment? <laughs> yeah, bro, and he brought all three bags. Man, he I did it. And that's the thing. I got the touch oh at least. I got the touch. Three dead, three yeah, dead. man, they're just absolutely that. dominating, bro. I've been saying Snipe Down's team, Snipe Down Snake Bite in the same roster is an absolute just, dis it's disgusting. It's disgusting. They were both probably the best players, respectively, on their teams in Halo 4 and in Halo 5. Nated just went so clutch here, guys. That was flag number five. It was on the flag stand. Nated gets the kill. He gets the sword. A second kill, the return, and keeps our team in this one. Walsh is trying to get sneaky underneath, and you can see his teammates taking fire in the base. Shotgun's got to be clean here, and he's got to get this flag out bottom mid. Oh, wow. You know what? I was wondering why he had the shotgun out because I heard every single player specifically complain about that gun when they were warming up in the sniper FF or shoddy FFA. A yep. cyber shot you, but he he had it out because Snakebite had the sword, which is by the way the only gun that can only counter a sword is is to one pump with the shotgun while he's mid lunge and. Hey man, he's still got it. He's got the biggest brain, right? It doesn't really have to come down to just the raw reaction time. And it, we got another uh, legendary objective play coming in here. Ghostyami is going to move that across the carbine. Meanwhile, it looks like Snakebite has to play base defense. There's the double. Flag return is just a few moments away. There is a player bottom pink. Last challenger here. It's nated once again. This time, can't play the hero. The flag remaining alive, bottom middle. No return quite yet. But D-Mac, you gotta feel this game is just moments yeah, yeah, away from ending. Yeah, this is over, and, and they're treating Walski and Nated like they're 40, running over this team, and so it's oh, like, oh, that. this was quite like, dominant win here. Snipe yeah, down, able to score chills. two of those. Ghost Yami officially with two flag caps, and the third coming in from Snakebite. You mentioned it. They could be a team to watch. Carbon looking really clean there on midship. That was a fast game, Ninja. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, snipe, snipe down, snake bite, uh, goes the army. I mean, literally, Eric was doing such an incredible job. Two Eric's, by the way, because both. Yeah. Anyways, Ghost Army was doing such a great job. We literally tuned in, and he's already on a killing spree in his own base from his window, just clearly supplying an insane amount of of cover fire and obviously objective play. And what you were saying, DMAC too, like the way that he had so much awareness, Car Three, when his teammate was running flag bottom mid, right? Like he threw it out. He got he instantly four shot Nated, right? While Nated probably should have tried to hold Car Two spawn and maybe even push into the enemy's base. Instead, he tried. He caught him making a mistake, and then does he overextend and push in their base? No, he stayed Car Three, backed up. Got shots on Walshy, who spawned card two because he knew this was going to be like, he's so smart, bro. This is so smart. Oh. Looking at the final numbers here, yeah. Naden finishes on top for Team Walshy. He and Walshy finished with 13 kills each. But on the other side, I mean, look at these numbers. I got 24 kills out of Snake Bite. It looks like 24 kills out of Ghost Ayami as well. I was saying he was looking a little off in the free fall. Well, the boy is back in control. 24 with 10 assists and two flag caps. The 2006 wow. champ is back in the building we're going to warlock and we're going back to our first series this again is the battle to see who is the better half of straight ripping we got elamite and legit going up against t squared in neighbor on game two off we go man now i this is one ma map in game mode that i competitively what is the strat I have no clue. Lost. Yeah. Portal control is it bought it like what what is, like what are you going for? What would you guys say? Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alive. you gotta down. have the numbers and you can never Great have three Great down. Great That's the number Great one rule. Get out through the portals, make Great sure you go up a lift and be able to shoot across the map. If you're if you're ace right now, he's just trying to get his teammates out, right? They're, they're trapped within the spawn. He was the first one up and he's just protecting the portal with the shotty perfectly. That's his third kill on the spree. Blue needles. Green needles. T squared. And I think it, 
it's fair where it's like, you know, there's no power-ups up top like there are in Halo 1, so holding that black spawn is not as effective. Uh, health portal, red health portal. There's a lot of portaling, a lot of like angles that you can just work together. But I just remember like shotguns rolling the or ruling the portals people like shockwave just jumping up constantly looking for ninjas warlock as small a map as it is can actually stall out and that's what Red we're kind of seeing face. early on just 13 to 11 it's a two-point game shot, neither team with total control if we can though i'd love to get our camera on neighbor he's already up to seven of their 14 kills he's half of the red team and this is just a question. Can Blue can the stream Blue also hear the, the, the comms? Blue Nades weak. Blue Nades weak. Or is that just us? Yes, our stream should be able to get the comms. We've kept them low throughout the day because our third year old used the F bomb, but uh, I believe the stream should be able to hear these players calling it out. Elamite is that guy in the background on Maniac Stream with the very urgent call outs. Yes, yes, yes. Green needles. Green needles. So, yeah, Maniac definitely looks like he's in full force right now, man. Super, super zoned in and super focused and a friend someone by the way that you don't want super focused man maniac always had the ability to just absolutely pop off we talked about his communication he's not a guy who gives you worthless comps he chimes in with only the most important stuff he gets urgent when he needs to but he is one of the calm heads in the game that's what i always loved about his career back when they were going for the title with triggers down and bth matching up maniac i credit as the guy who kept the team calm and in that series he rallied the whole bth squad as they took home their first title back in halo 3 looking over at neighbor 13 of the team's 27 he is keeping the pace somehow dmac this guy is on one uh, he's yeah you could see why he was picked before snake bite before snipe down i was a little surprised by it but that's neighbor man it's low-key just the most destructive and that's been basically his mo since he started playing Everyone always talked about his sniper rifle and what he would do with the power weapons. You forget that he was just as solid as the rest of the pros when it came to the BR Nades. Yeah, it's not like this guy is some type of chump. I, I think that we played him out a little bit early on in this broadcast. We didn't give him enough of his respect. And now he's like, yo, put some respect on my name. This is like very simple. Mason playing alongside T squared in this one. T2, if you look at his overall placings, well, really the man had a third place finish on average throughout his Halo 2 career. His most common teammates, Fonzie, Fallacy. It wasn't until later in Halo 2 that you saw him with legit Elamite neighbor and snipe down in Halo 3. Biggest rivals back in the day, though, were definitely straight ripping versus Carbon. I want to see Ghost Ayami versus T squared later in this tournament, and we can see it in the second round. Another double kill being scored by Elamite, and that is good enough to tie up the score. We're now even at 37. Ninja, 13 to go. This one's coming down to the wire. You asked for close games. We could see a 50-49. This is it, man. This is it. This is no, such no, a no massive two two game no for, for Stray Ripping to win, right? They lost, what, 5-2 to two in the capture two flag? Two like, that's not that close of a game. I'm so blue flag. I'm like, yeah, they're going to be struggling in their objectives. They need this Dude, I died. I died. Stay alive. to make Series 1-1. One, one. Yeah, but they're down by two blue right now, and it's not going to be enough, man. They have to start pulling away now. Six kills to go here for Team Agency. Best man's going to get cut down for the killing spree here from Ace. Four more. And, and I think you're right, Tyler. If they drop this game where they drop Red flat, red flat. Blue, blue, blue. Your red flag. Yep. You guys still got blue flag. That's blue that's, flag. that's blue that's blue blue. Blue. Again. Oh. 100%. Which out of me, guys? Red team up on the flag. Shotty. No! They need one more. We just got a player tagged up. Eomite, he's going to come in and swoop in for the 15th and final kill. 15 for Eomite Warrior, 14 for Ace. Maniac right behind him at 13. An overall team effort. As they came back, they tied it up, and then they ran away with it at the end for the blue team here. That's awful. Man. I mean, again, dude, D-Mac nailed it. Aver dropping an 18 bomb, right, and losing in, in a Slayer. It's going to be really hard for him to come back, especially, like, I think this is, like, the problem. Not the problem. This is, like, what made Halo 2 so interesting, like, the oddball, the king of the hill, those game modes in, like, in the in competitive. It's, it's like, it's not easy to win 
an oddball game. Like that is a lot. I feel like out of every single game, an oddball in a King of the Hill is the most stressful, right? Because yeah. it's time, right? They're ticking, they're ticking. You can't break the setup, right? They're just getting like, four, now you're down 40 seconds, 50 seconds. It's like, it's so daunting and it can be really overwhelming and they're already down 2-0. So it could be, it, it, this could be a 3-0 sweep arena, man. I just clipped that last scoreboard. I wanted to see a little bit more details of how Elamite and Ace got the victory. Well, three of their top three players all had around 10 assists. The team shot was on on Warlock. And right now, I love this positioning you are seeing out of Hysteria. Guys like Walshy, they're going to be the front line. They're going to get in the face. Hysteria in the power position was able to pick up a killing spree. He is now sitting at 12 before eventually falling on the other side. You mentioned we got to watch Snakebite and Snipe Down, both of them on top of the leaderboard for their squad it's going to be final boss trailing as team carbon's in control for the moment yeah, it looks like they're just mine, one shot red health back just just me, are the assists hard to get in halo 2 or they're easier no they were much more difficult halo 3 halo 3 was the one where you could get like yeah more assists than kills right like you can assist yeah. 10 assists in a 50 kill game. that's that's insane that's a lot. Yeah. I think you're getting a one shot. I think you're ripping off their entire shield in Halo 2. I, uh, I, I owe the chat an apology. This is final boss in control. You are right. Carbon is trailing. Team Walshy needing just seven more kills. This is snake bite trying to get some last minute damage done. Only 31. The trade's not there in time. They're coming back, but with only seven to go, you got to think this is final boss's game to tie up the series. Absolutely, man. Dude, I love Jacob so much. He's so good, man. He's so good. 18 kills, leading it. And let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Anarchy. Oh, Captain Anarchy. Starting to wake up a little. He's not. He's, I mean, there's three of them all around. Eight, nine kills, right? So he's finally. Maybe, maybe that's. Maybe he's ready, boys. Maybe he's awakened. It was an internet issue. It's never a shot issue with Captain Anarchy. Another like, coaster. always have internet issues? Like, Always, yeah, yeah he does. <laughs> He's always had internet issues, man. We always roasted him, and eventually he actually came and lived with Ghost Ayami out at Penn State. Shout out to Ghost for giving Captain Anarchy the opportunity back in the day. Love seeing the duos going up against each other as Ghost's team will fall. It's Carbon now tied up with Final Boss. Looking at the numbers, plus ten out of Hysteria. Walshy behind him at plus six, and you can see the assist. Just yeah. like with Elamite and Ace, you had Nada dropping 10, 11 assists out of Anarchy. This was a team effort. A lot of team shot being shown. Yeah, I'm 8, 11, and 12 is actually a pretty good stat line in Halo 2. Absolutely, dude. I'm in heaven, man. I'm in heaven. This is, this is heaven. I'm a happy man. Do we need to go to any breaks or do we just keep going? Because I'm down to just watch more and more Halo 2. Let's as just keep it going. Continue. No breaks. Let's no breaks, roll, breaks. bro. No breaks, chat. I'm not doing a break right now, but I do want to remind you to grab your Doritos and you can be like one of our pro players today. Our winning team is walking home with a year supply as we get geared up for game number three. You mentioned it. Is Lockout Ball the best game type? Is it the best map for this game mode? I think it's midship, but when it comes to the fan vote, DMAC, you might be right. Lockout Ball was always on everyone's top five list. Oh, this is one of the best interpretations of Oddball. I think it's the best interpretation of Oddball in any Halo. So we're talking about full control. It's hard to break setups like Ninja was saying earlier. This is going to really be won by the best team in each match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost impossible, dude. To, well, uh, think about think about Abba, man. You, you just have the ratty teams, D-Mac. I agree with what you're saying because obviously like, it, it's so – like one mistake can literally lose the entire game, and, and the yeah. enemy team, if they're super good, can capitalize off of it. Play the However, ball clutch. Ryan Oob, Sorry. Like think of like – like when you think of someone like Ryan Oob, I've never in my life seen a team – of four players that shouldn't beat another team win because they have someone like Ryan Oob who was so good objectively right. that he knew how to maneuver the ball around and play ball it. And, and just literally they'd be getting out slayed by 40 eliminations, but they're winning by like a hundred seconds. Right. So like, mm. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be, no, I mean, that's, are that's they going to do the green room strat? Like, you know, because yeah. when the ball was in green room, I was in hell. I hated that setup. Yeah, that was This the was the problem with having a superstar lineup, I remember. Because if you go back in Halo's history, there was Final Boss on top and everyone chasing them. So then you saw teams 
12 all the way up to two, constantly swapping out a player as they were looking to bring enough firepower to take out the Ogres and Walshy. Well, we saw a number of squads featuring lots of snipers, like trying to put Mason and Snipe down on the same squad wouldn't be a great idea. Some of our captains have done that here. With Nated and Hysteria on Team Walshy, I'm wondering who gets the power weapon on this map. On the other side for Ghost Yami squad, you got Snipe down, Snakebite fighting, and here with Eomo, my Warrior squad and, and T-Square squad, I think we have the clear favorites, right? You're probably going to give it to Ace and Neighbor. We'll see how this one plays out. Still to the right side. I like that that point that you just made, though. They, they did a hysteria on the same team. Might be too many cooks in the kitchen. Got that guy. Oh, man, squared gets the sword break, and, and this is a, a great setup hey, here for I'm Oddball. If you have I'm the sword in green, what can they do, right? Yeah, I mean, you get the head glitch Bring spot, which, by the way, I like because they're playing on MCC, All right. right? So, like, I'm not quite sure how head glitches work, obviously, or, or if anything might be, you know, like, I mean, because it's just frames, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a little mic, like a micro stutter, micro frame of like what is actually going to protect or not. So, I mean, looks like, we're not even going to find out because they have the ball in B at uh, at VR Tower, man. And this is the sword Library. control. So this was, yep. this was the ideal. You would go position it right above sword. You could always drop down if needed. You could play ball through the window and keep the R tower. This was the ideal setup. Originally, we saw people going here. Eventually, the green room strat started to come out. At the end of the day, DMAC, I think we got it right off the break. This is the safest place on the map to hide with the oddball. Yeah, this is the safest place, bro. You feel very safe with a window. You're able to see shit. You know what I mean? So it's just very comfortable. I environment. I got it. I got it. I got it. Bro, everyone needs a window. I love windows, D-Mac. I'm with you. Single life. I'll get ball in a second. I'll get ball. I will keep playing. Keep playing. And dude, we're already seeing play ball. Two elbow. Got one. Let's go. Dude, these guys are sweating so hard, and I love it. He's spawn camping. Elamite Warrior is spawn camping from bottom middle. Looking at the elbow spawn. He wasn't able to punish neighbor, but he will close in on Flame Sword. There's the double up top. Sniper Rifle, remember, has what? A minute 16 second spawn time, but only after that sniper has been dropped. And I think it got knocked off the map early on. So Elamite could be camping this, looking for the T2 combo of Sword Sniper. Wasn't that Halo 3 with dropping the sword? Uh, dropping the, the rockets and the sniper rifle? I thought that in Halo 2, it was just up on a, like a minute 30 every time. You might be right, Ninja. Let's be honest. I don't know. Dude, I, I, listen, I played a lot. I, I just I always remember grabbing the ammunition in Halo 2. It's a certain uh, amount of time. Two sniper ramp, three sniper, three sniper. That was Halo 3. And then like, if you, and you can burn, remember Halo 3 that introduced burning the weapons? I'm going here. Right, where if like oh, it, yes. it, it pick it up before the sniper or the rockets even hit the floor. It's and on then... drop. Ninja, you're wrong. It's on drop. Confirmation okay. from yeah. Jay Frecka in the chat. Thanks, Jay. I mean, you could have convinced me, bro. That was four presidents ago. <laughs> I was with it. I was with it. Four presidents ago. What? Hey, you gotta bring that into into reality for us, man. <laughs> and some of them were two timers, you know? All right, here we go. Best man on the flank. Nice play ball here from Ace. And Elamite was waiting for that sniper rifle. Blame train as neighbors drop. There's a second. What shot and the ball is going to be scooped up. Flame sword scooping up the big sniper there after the BXR. And you nailed it, Ninja. That was a huge play here from the man with a man bun. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I love it, bro. This game's so much. Oh, my God, dude. So many memories on lockout, dude. The amount of times I 1v1 kids after getting, you know, destroyed in a team hardcore match, and I was like, 1v1, dude. 1v1, me lockout. Oh my god, that was CDN's favorite quote 1v1 lockout for a dollar. Yep. And we would. And we would. At any time during the tournament, you would have to stop down and watch the CDN 1v1. <laughs> Oh, dude, we got the green room set up, man. Let's get it. He's dead, he's dead. For those who don't know, green room, of course, is where the shotgun was. So automatically, you're built in with a close range weapon. You could watch everything with cover from a player on top snipe tower. And then you would want two more here in blue. The only way to push you was from bottom middle, dropping down off of top middle or pinching in from the portal. And you can see Maniac able to stay alive for just way too long. But it's going to be the red team scooping up the oddball, trailing by a minute. Straight ripping has the work cut out for him. 
to stop mid. Looks like, yeah, they're deciding to break the setup here. And that's what that's what uh, my team, I and mean, whenever I was playing, I wanted this out of here every time. Like, yes. Fi finally break the setup. I wanted out. I was never comfortable running it. Uh, I was also 12, uh, and I didn't understand spawns. <laughs> so. <laughs> Guys, get it out of green room. I don't want to be here. <laughs> it's short range and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know how to be XR yet. I'm getting sniped. I'm getting sniped. Library spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, there is going to take the over the sniper <laughs> tower. And you can I've, see I've that's BTH Maniac with the gray and white logo. It was going to be the sniper rifle. Last bullet was used. Maniac, not a ton to work with here as he saves his teammate. And Elmite Warrior is going to keep control of the tower. Two pushing down low. And Maniac has finally gone down. But that oddball is out. And they continue to score. Two minutes now for our blue team. 41 seconds for the red team. And honestly, they just look to be getting outplayed here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a... Uh... Man, I think oh, there's a loser's bracket. Am I right? Because I don't want I don't want this to be the end of straight ripping, man. And I honestly think that this is probably one of the best teams. Uh, the agency uh, is is definitely one of the best teams top two in this. Channel like Kyle. Oh my! The jump melee. And, and again, it's interesting. Is like we saw straight ripping uh, get control right away. And I think the better team, in my opinion, broke that control pretty quickly in the agency. Yep. Sword finally going over though to straight. It might be enough, man. Honestly, sword control on this map, you really have so much power and control with the sword in this game. Like, yes, it's the most broken. This was before Halo 3, obviously, so it's infinite. Massive no charges, and no charges, right? Never runs out. And like, dude, you can't be XR someone with a sword. It's almost impossible. Felt like uh, the the speed you could get it up was just way too fast. Oh, like, it's instant. It was two BR shots at me. I whipped that out and I cut your head off before a third. Right, instantly, instantly. And that's the thing, bro. Like, I, you, you know, you saw that that eleven year old YouTube clip of me talking about Halo and about how it being an individual skill. Halo Two was so. It was just so fast, so unforgiving, right? Like, I have never in my life gotten, I'm just gonna say, I've never in my life gotten shit on more playing a video game with cold hands than in Halo 2. If you had cold hands in Halo 2, you were getting face rolled, bro. You were losing every fight, not being able to BXR, not YYing, not never double shotting. Like, you were just getting steamed. Like, it was, I remember coming home from soccer practice, bro. It's like 30 degrees out, right? It's like the it's like the beginning or the end of the soccer season, and like we shouldn't even be playing. Mom, I'm so cold. <laughs> Snows on the ground, right? Midwest shit. And I would come home from practice and I couldn't feel my arms, and I would literally like I would take the hottest shower ever and just run my hands through like boiling hot water so that I could just feel my hands again because I tried to play a Halo game and I dropped like three eliminations. I'm like, Jesus, I'm off. Yo, Ninja, where did you grow up? Uh, I was in Illinois. So. All right, I'm never moving there, just for the record. Uh, it's colder, man. Uh, no, I know that pain in the Midwest. The ogres would always complain about it. Fortunately, I was a fat kid who worked at a pizza place. I was always hot and sweaty. <laughs> Nice shots from shot Elamite. Blue. He drops the oddball player, and that's another situation where you're like, okay, great him. opportunity for Red Team to score, but shot. they can't get the objective down into the green room to start that. This has been the agency from start to beginning, and it may be due to the amount of time Elamite has been putting in this month getting ready for this 2v or this 4v4 tournament. Did you see him do a little spin? <laughs> when he jumped off, he got a four shot, put three shots into someone else, and then does a, does a 360 reload, top mid, grabs the ball. This man is literally his, the best version of himself right now. Yeah, and the, these guys, they heard that 100K, and they brought it back to 2007. You can feel it, man. I, I, I'm not, I, I, I really wasn't expecting the instant switch of intensity, but I'm so happy that- hit him once more. That this, this is happening. I'm so happy to made that decision, man. Because I love these guys, man. You have no idea. This is like literally my dream, right? Because I never was able yeah. to compete in any MLG Halo 2 tournaments, right? Because I didn't even yeah. know that you could go to them until Halo 3. So like, I'm I'm in heaven right now, bro. This is this is incredible. Yeah, Ninja, who bro, did you it, play it, with? It's very cool for you to participate in this because it's like you were never able to take part. Nope. But but this was happening. I was like 11. Become, uh, yep. A giant Halo personality. It's just a personality in gaming and in life. 
And it's like... I need the swords on there. He's gonna go for it. Babe, is that sword? Is that back, sword? Sword's me and Puck used sword? to do this. Yeah. Our job. I is, know, is, man. We, we would do this once a month, which was incredible. We'd have the tournament, right? Then we would go back to the MLG office, where my job was to watch DVDs of what happened a month ago and make top five videos, or top ten videos. I had the greatest job ever for a 19-year-old. Yeah. Try to bring us a sniper if we can. Let's go, dude. Oh, going for the no-scopes. Halo 2 is so hard to no-scope, man. Yeah, it is. The movement was too fast. Oh, nah, he's just tossing it off, man. Yeah, there's literally no chance. That's straight. Five back. minutes to go. It is first to five minutes in oddball. And with 10 minutes off the clock, you can see pretty low scoring game. Frustrating situation for Flamesword. Do I go for the OBJ as soon as I do? There's no support, and I'm down. They have ball control, bottom blue guys, and power ups. Yeah, you needed to just be disciplined there, man. Uh, it's the, one of those things where, like, you need time, right? You're desperate for time because there's only five minutes left. But. You have a power weapon, and should you go for it? Should you wait for your teammates who aren't even in position to come and grab the ball? He's like, no, I'll do it myself. And he, uh, they look defeated. Yeah. Yep. Even their communication has gone down. They got me. They got me. Now look, me. you. Yeah, you felt the domination in Halo, bro. Like when you were when you were losing, man. It was. Getting when you're losing by this much, it's not yeah. close. <laughs> yeah, it I gotta ask, do we have a Briz legit perspective? He's been off of all of our radar for like five years, so I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't even know how to stream. No, I don't think he does. But if he does, I want to like go to his channel and drop a hundred gifted. I am so happy to see legit back here in the Halo scene. I hope he stays with us for infinite. Yeah, me too, man. Both S3, S3 one hit. You think Insta is going to make a run for the whole team? Hold it, hold it, hold it. I mean, dude, it's all about every every single Halo player has come back for every Halo. Maybe not for a long time, but they try it out, man. And like, it's just, it's never been able to keep, it's never been able to keep the interest of any of the old Halo pros. It's never been able to keep the interest of any Halo pros. I'll be honest, the recent Halos have sucked. I had to say it. Yeah. They were not good. After Halo yeah. 3, Mr. Puckett yeah. was unhappy. I'm making my yeah. return for Infinite, and I hope you guys join me. Here is the best man who is popping off in the free-for-all. He has had a very low-scoring yeah. game objectively, yeah. and his team straight ripping is getting bodied by the agency. It was a close game one and two, but we are just three minutes away from the agency moving into our winner's bracket finals. Okay, all right, just get some time here. Don't get and I mean, we're entering in 10 seconds where it's basically impossible for a comeback to happen. So, yep. Yep. This game is over. Is this, this is, who's PV is this? Is this PV? Can someone tell him to switch the medals back? <laughs> Come on, he's on the H2A, he's on the H2A medals. Get this out of here. Can't allow this. Neighbor up top with the sniper rifle, three teammates across the map. Legit just trying to figure out what can I do here to make an impact. Getting that sniper out of his hands would have been the key play, but Neighbor says no. The double coming in after hitting the Andy body shot, the melee to finish. Sniper off the map. You nailed it, Ninja. Mason Cobb, he's not even smiling. Doesn't even acknowledge his greatness. Nope. Oh. And there it is, man. That's game. Oh, unfortunate, dude. That's okay. That's okay, man. Honestly, again, I, like I said, we want all these matches to be close. I really hope straight comes back and have, they have a, a very uh, long discussion. Uh, look at that, by the way. Legit nine kills. Uh, wow. What is this? Elamite with a 38 Elamite. Yeah. You got 14 Holy. assists coming out of Maniac. He's going to go even with that number. But 38 is the kill number to beat on the day. I feel like Elamite's just playing Social Slayer right now. The guy's popping. Look at him. <laughs> He's just like staring at the camera, bro. Just like shaking it off. Dude, my man is on fire. He is on it. The agency with a hot 3-0 over straight ripping are moving forward. But in this series, we're all knotted up. It's Walshy, captain of final boss versus Ghost Ayami's Carbon. And you can see right now, it's Hysteria working alongside Faded, Captain Anarchy, and Walshy on FB. They've got about a minute lead over on the Snipe Tower, but they just lost ball control. And it looks like Walshy's over there in Sword. So they have to cross over top middle, and they're going to take all kinds of fire if they try and do so.
Dude, I, this is... We knew it, man. This is so close. Right? Yeah, I'm so... Dude. Yes, dude. This is the the, the match to watch. The 100%. 100%. He's, 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 he's one. 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 All one hit. All one hit. Chad, I see you guys still talking about it. And I do want to clarify. I, too, thought Halo 5 was fun to watch. I didn't play it a ton. I gotta oh, be dude. very honest with you. My anger was directed at Halo Reach's jetpack. Let's keep going though with Halo 2 as we've got Oddball coming to a close and our red team is getting closer and closer. We talked about the green room. Well, this was one of the best dad hit. Ghost Ayami, Shockwave. I just remember this duo being so devastating and so annoying to play against. They would hook this head glitch and they just die. It has to take every grenade in your arsenal to get them down. Anarchy Green Room. Yeah, and, and again, I do think that they don't have the same firepower as Carbon as maybe Final Boss does, but it's like, or wait, wait, wait. See, I'm getting confused with who's You're on what good, team bro. right we, now. Still. We got the pros from different squads teaming up with other yeah, captains. It's, it's, with you, it's Max. difficult, yeah. for sure. Oh, this game's so close, dude. Let's go. Oh, hey, we got the T-squared combo, but it's snipe down, man. Rocking the sword. Can we just stay on this man, please? Yes. And not just because I... Can you make bigger than my current monitor? Can you just would zoom in on his face? I don't even want to watch the gameplay. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, I want to watch the gameplay. Yeah, I mean, never mind. I lied. Yeah, gameplay, please. <laughs> Uh, Eric Rona, we talked about all these pros in their careers and what they've gone on to do and how they've made their fortune since. Well, Rona is still making his money game. The guy has become a pro player in any title he touches. I remember he had the hottest start of any Halo career coming in, playing with squads like Ambush through the semis uh, or the the semi-pro brackets then just transcends starts going for runs in every single tournament top four after top four the hottest for agent in the game and when neighbor left straight ripping there was a no-brainer to scoop snipe down up put him in that blue jersey his first tournament with the team they walk away with a trophy yeah, yeah it might be this guy will go down as one of the best gamers i'd put him up there for sure i mean he's literally like by far yeah he's absolutely dominating in uh uh, in Apex right now too, averaging over 2,000 viewers. By the way, like, which is no, uh, dude. Like, to see people branch out from Halo, like their comfort zone, and to make it in other titles, it's uh, it's amazing. It's amazing to see that. I just want this. I want people to be able to do that. I'm sorry. In Halo, in Halo, in Halo. That's all. That's all I want. Man. I want to see thousands of viewers. I want to see new gamers up and coming and being inspired to stream Halo, knowing that they could become potentially one of the biggest gamers on the planet playing Halo. I love that call, oh, guys. We're down to the final 36 seconds. It was a 10-point game for a moment there. A hero play from Blue Team to get it out and get it played. So Red game. is no longer scoring, and that will be the difference maker. Snakebite, he tried to keep him in it, but at the end, it's going to be your Blue Team. Walsh, he needed his steering Captain Anarchy from Final Boss, taking the lead in the best of five. I can't I'm, believe I'm that. This surprised. Is, come on. DMAP, right? <laughs> yeah, this is surprising. 2 1. Walshy putting. Wow. Captain Walsh leading the not squad. A, not a, top, most kills, right? Not a second with ball time? Oh, okay. Not bad, Dave. Hey, and you can see Dave's got 160 Insta Splodes. Those are his subscribers. If you guys haven't already, go over to www.walshy.com. That's his gamer tag. Love to still see it. And of course, check out his stream, twitch.tv slash Walshy. Go drop a sub of your own. Let's get him to 200 before this day's over, right? Dave deserves 200 subs. I'm dropping five in his channel after this. Can we go to a quick commercial break? When we come back, I'm going to get all of the stats from that game number three and get you geared up because the agency is already moving on. The question is, will it be Final Boss or Carbon joining them in the winner's bracket final? Break time.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the greatest day of 2021. This is Twitch Rivals for the throwback of Halo 2 with Ninja. Ninja came into this $50,000 tournament and said, that's not enough. We're going to turn it up. He dropped 100000 more, and now our players are playing for the first place in $12,000. I got DMAC. I got Ninja with me. And Ninja, I just noticed you just casually spent $500 in Wall Street stream, making it rain with 100 gifts. Bro, we got to show the old dog some support. Oh, absolutely, bro. I'm dropping. Uh, I'm dropping 100 gifted in every single uh, mean, person who's who's. I'm ninja right is now, muted. So. Oh, am I muted? It's all right. Oh wait, we might have wait, just wait, missed wait. him in the Discord. Ninja, you oh, muted no, 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 no. Discord. But yeah, we I'm muted in Discord. Straight. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Just dropping a 100 gifted to everyone participating, man. You know, I feel bad when people. Uh, you know, they're not they're not winning right now. I want to lift up their spirits, man, and, and I want to I want to see them sweat, man. Let's go. Did you say everyone participate? Ninja's making it rain all over the place. 100,000, 100 gifted. The kid is just popping off. Halo scene. Are you happy to have him back? I sure am. And I am happy to tell you all we are going into game four in just a few moments. The agency, they're already waiting in our winner's bracket finals. The question is, is it going to be Ghost Ayami's Team Carbon or is it going to be Walshie's Team Final Boss that will be joining Elamite Warrior Squad? Elamite's team, the best, not necessarily on paper if you're looking at old school stats, but currently on the day, DMAG, they are dropping the biggest numbers. They've had some blowout wins with all kinds of assists, and Elamite, he's living up to that captain title. Yeah, bro, obviously they're on some family connection right now, okay? There's something going on that's a little deeper than Halo. And then on the other side, you saw equally talented people in Snakebite and Snipe Down, and right now they're currently down in a series. And it's like, bro, y'all should have had, like, maybe Snipe Down's sister could have married Snakebite, and this would have been much closer series or something like that. Family seems to be the thing today. Family. Yeah, it should have been family. Uh, DMAC, as much as I love talking about family, you can protect yours with State Farm Insurance, baby. That's right. It's nice. time for State Farm Spotlight. State Farm, where we shine a bright light on something special from today's action. And here in the State Farm analysis segment, I want to take a look back at something that went down in big team battle. We saw snipers galore, and it wasn't just neighbor for the red team on the opposite side. This is how that first flag was scored for Team Elamite Warrior. Remember, Walshy was going for the flag, right? This is Ace setting up with the sniper on the right rocks right outside of the portal. Here's how he paved the way. Ninja, as a former sniper, I think you might appreciate this gameplay we're about to witness. Rampage? Jesus. Yeah, headshot, T-squared, down. Next shot, easy, double. That's snipe down, that's T-squared out of the way. Banshee's calling out locations. What is this, 1.3 seconds later? Another blainer. Give me the kill tag. You call it an overkill if you're in Halo 3. And there it is for me. On a rampage, picks up the kill tacular, and they just paved the way. T-Mac, this is shot number five. This is for, what, 14 on the spree? A frenzy, baby disgusting and it's like again bro ace is one of the most underappreciated halo players of all time he hits the 10x he hit that final shot you missed two but the berserker is in 20 kills in a row that's how you set up the first flag and i was wondering we're playing coagulation with 16 pro players how the hell do you score an objective it takes a 20k spree like that guys that is our state farm analysis segment before we get back to the gameplay let me shout out the good neighbors of state farm our official sponsor of twitch rivals and yes the sponsor of state farm spotlight of course you know jake and his infant Infamous khakis, but State Farm is more than that. They've got you and over 19,000 agents to help you out and navigate your insurance needs and strengthen communities across the country. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. My grandpa was one his entire career, so thank you, State Farm, for allowing me to become a video game commentator. Let's go, baby. DMAC Ninja, the plugs are done. The games uh -huh. are almost ready. We allowed the players to take one bathroom break on the day. I think they just used it so now we're moments away of seeing Walshy take on ghost Ayami once again who's the prediction who goes on to play the agency d mac who are you leaning towards after three games 
I mean, you never want to choose the team that's down 2-1 and disrespect. But I'm choosing the team that's down 2-1, okay? I, I just feel like they're the more talented squad. Snake bite, snipe down. They're going to put it together. Ninja, what do you think of this? You agree with the comeback story, or are you going with Walshie to close the door here? Mm, I love Dave a lot, man, but I have to, I have to say... It, it's at least going to a game five. I, I, I'm not going to say who's going to win the series, but it's 100% okay. going to a game five. Going to a game five. That means that Team Ghost Yami needs to win this game number four, and I definitely think it's going to be a map that will be, well, one they're happy to see. We're going to Sanctuary. Why are they happy to see Sanctuary? Because we talked about it. You got Snake Fight, you got Snipe Down, Enable, and Ghost Yami, all four players capable of sniping. And on this map, there's two of them. If you win the opening snipe battle, you want to rush that enemy base. Grab Grab that power weapon. If you get a sniper on the left side, sniper in the bottom, middle, or right side of the map, that's how you set up your flag caps. First games on midships were all about the BR. Now it's coming into the power weapons, and we're going to keep bouncing around to all of our players. We showcased a little bit of Walshy. Is there anyone you want to get eyes on here for game number four, Mr. Ninja, as we see Ghost Army Squad Carbon take on final boss? Uh, absolutely. I want to see Ghost Army, 100%. Uh, again, we saw how amazing he was leading his team um in the first match um warlock or um, uh midship flag so i want to see i want to see the objective god at work dude and, and chat just yelled at me sorry to interrupt you dropping off subs they said you've been very busy and everyone appreciates it ninja making it rain here for the halo 2 throwback and the nades well they're flowing like a river through the middle here of ascension let's take a look at the man sniped down with a rifle early go back to his screen if you can i like snake bite but he picked up a magnum you can't trust him he's a halo 5 kid this guy though he knows how to use the big stick i was gonna jump up i don't know where he went I'm almost done. There's only like two more people streaming. I'm just, I got two more hundred gifts and stuff to drop, and then I'm 100% I'm focused. You're good, man. D Mac, jump on in here. Tell me a little bit about Snipe Down in the past. Uh, the man just showcased it doesn't matter what range you are, he can hit the sniper shot. Yeah, I mean, bro, this, again, I, I can't say it enough. Snipe Down was my favorite player to watch for a long time. And, but also on the other side, Hysteria, bro. Probably looks the most different out of Ed Halo, bro. I did not, if I had to do this area in 20 years, this would not be the point. <laughs> That's something to be said for sure. True. It would be a different drawing. Yeah, I think that everyone can agree with that. Oh, jump shot from a snipe down in a good way. In a good way. Oh, sorry, Chad. Oh, I don't know. Way, bro. I, I lost it with the Ascension call, but I love this snipe down guy. You saw Hysteria from the window with the sniper. He was running low on ammo. Well, snipe down anyway. Challenges from the rocks. Hits the headshot. And now they know they've just got to protect no, for about nothing, 40 more ring seconds. Ring. Getting a second sniper rifle would be devastating. And Snipe Down, he is making sure no one can push up through the middle of the map. Okay. All right. Ooh. We did it? Yep, we're done. Making it rain across it. Love it. That was a lot. Shout out to all our streamers. 100%, man. I mean, listen, it's the reason we got all these, you know, all these uh, angles, flag. right? All these POVs. So, God, the dude, Eric's so talented and attractive. Oh my God, the spawn kill, man. Get me out. I forgot there was turrets on this map. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? You never know, forgot being on that thing and just remember it being so crappy. <laughs> I wanted this to be like the back of a Warhawk, but it's not. It's just not. Yeah. Rank three right now. Is Terry gonna kill me, rank three? Hysteria. Like, I thought Ring like, 3 and Halo 2 was not. I needed a custom lobby to do it. I couldn't do it in a real game. Yeah, it wasn't that. Being up there, man, it really is so dominant. Hysteria is moving around with ease. Has he been playing a lot, chat? Have you guys been watching Hysteria streams? Because. Jacob was a freak back in the day. It didn't matter who he was teaming with. Triggers down, most notably his top squad. But this guy, battle rifle, sniper rifle, he was considered the favorite. And I'd say at least 60% of the gunfights we saw amongst the top four teams. That's saying something. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was very skilled, and, and you saw people take it, uh, advantage of that. You saw SK was like, I need hysteria on my team. You know? and, and a lot of people moved hysteria skill all the way to success. I got him. It was like, Walshy spots strong side. He's like, you're mine now. You're sticking with me. Hill got the same thing with hysteria. All of the greats have done it. Here's a look at a, a youngster who first got on my radar at the age of 15, and he was on my radar because his mom came up to me and was complaining about uh, the ref's performance there, in the free-for-all. Uh, so I got to know a naval way before he was a pro player dealing with that situation. But to see his growth throughout his career, it's incredible. He went from Halo, he goes over to another FPS, continues to win championships, multiple titles there, and all kinds of money. Now a content creator for 100 Thieves and always streaming here on Twitch. The flag right. is out gonna, for the blue team, they're and they're it is up and in. Right. This would be the first shit. score as Captain play, play, Anarchy play, play, play. tosses it up. Hysteria puts it in, and we have 10 minutes wow. still to go here on Sanctuary. Let's go. Final boss. Final boss. Let's go. I can hear the chant right now, bro. Can you, can you guys see? Can you guys envision the bleachers right now? Like, right? The, 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 you know, remember the bleachers, boys? Or I'm talking like, it's like it's like an outdoor soccer game, bleachers, bro. Like, this is, everyone's sitting down cheering, bro. We got the final boss drawing. They're on fire right now, dude. And you can tell, Los already juggling the flag perfectly. Tosses it, tosses it up to his teammate to secure the cap, man. Los is feeling himself, dude. Okay, no more technical They were definitely some bleachers. Like, like a mom would have peeled oranges. A hundred percent, yes. Yeah, like, 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 who's in charge of snacks? This this MLG event, please. Yeah. yeah. Here's a dual look at our snipers. We got sniped down in the top left. Ghost Yami has a sniper in his back pocket. Going up against the former roommate. Anarchy is cut down. And now you can see both snipers eyeing this objective. Ghost Yami, he's normally that player to go for it, and you'd love to see a teammate here do it instead. And a bit of a missed opportunity in my eyes. They had a player outside of the rocks, but not enough shield to push in safely, and they're going to have to go at this one more time. Still a 1-0 deficit for Team Carbon, and they're on match point here because Final Boss takes that game three on lockout. They are within striking distance of closing this out. Oof, dude. Uh, that was a dirty snipe, but based off what they just did with two snipers, that was very disappointing. Two and that should have been three and They're all there. Yeah, yeah, that's such a like competing man in Halo for such a long time. When you have control, of, especially of the enemy's power weapons, and your own. It's very disappointing RBR? when you when you 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 you, you can rocket toss one, you can sword toss one, and this is just in general, right? Just yeah, naming a bunch of power weapons. It's not even what's on this map. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you sniper. realized it. Sorry to cut you off. I don't know if you realized it, but we have not been able to show Walshy's screen because your notifications are still popping up. Oh my god! They dropped in Walshy's chat. We called him out for only having 160 subs. Well, he is way over the 250 mark after checking in on the stream. Shout out to everyone coming in and showing him love. Yeah. I apologize for that, Dave. Okay. Hopefully, maybe you can turn off the alerts for half a second and uh, turn it back on. Streamlabs? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> have strong side do some work there, there for you. Yeah. Or, or you know, just have strong side play. Oh, there it is. There it is. 323 and growing. Love to see it, Dave. Listen, I'm okay with seeing the final boss logo forever and ever on my screen. So I don't think anyone here is going to complain. Nice snipe. Yeah, I got a Gucci tattoo. I, I considered the final boss one. I was like, oh, wait, I never played for them. Uh -huh. Honestly, was this the There's best a, logo we had, though? It was between this and straight ripping for me. I think this was the best one. It was the most iconic. Agreed. Weaker street. There's something about it, man. Sure, if it was a clean logo. logo. Was sick. It was. It was. And remember when Tom got those t-shirts? I'm getting hit from like a quarter of a hut. They were like the, the, the very ones? bloody. What was it? Uh, Ricky. Help me out, chat. It was very gaudy. It was on the that month, but it was before that. <laughs> that was the style at the time. It was like Ed Hardy style. That Ed was Hardy, five. yes. Dude, they, they were wearing $300 t-shirts back when we were all playing for $300. Here's a look at some nice positioning from Naded. He's letting the sniper fly. There's the double. Oh, yeah. And the blue team, you got to get in here on the OBJ. Nate is looking for the fresh spawn, calls it out. Two more seconds to go. They should pop, pop. Okay, both in the rocks. Let's take this over to Snipe Tower. Snake Fight's going to catch one to the dome. Nate cleaning out three members already. And Hysteria, 
He's going to try and force this one through the rocks after they get these picks. So they feel comfortable moving this flag. And Nate, he continues to go with no support, though, in the middle of the map. This one's going to stall out. Dude, it's all about that YY, bro. When you are, when you snipe someone in the face in Halo 2 for a double, and then you just instantly see the person YY and then and, and just reset the sniper, they're, they're ready to hit that triple. They're gonna hit that next shot, bro. And there's so huh? <laughs> It's so scary, dude. I'm right now. If someone can please go back into history, find someone's Facebook page, Elon Might Warrior might have some of those bejeweled t-shirts we were talking about. Chat seems very confused, Dmac. They didn't know the greatness of the straight ripper wardrobe. Yeah, I think this was a deep cut for some of you guys. Uh, you guys are not aware of the bejeweled t-shirts that were way ahead of their time. Golden glitter. I never thought a man could rock it as well as T-Square did. Here's a nice headshot, though, from Naden once again. Goes Diami, get out of my rock. Blue team might be playing for time. Walshy spotted in the sniper tower and snake bite. He's not going to take that one at range. They're just getting pushed from all directions. And Hysteria seems to be the one constantly moving into the base for the blue squad. Yeah, man, that's Jacob, dude. Like, there's someone who will do whatever they can to get inside your base and just stay alive. It Like, Jacob is very good at that. Just good comms, man. And the, dude, they're in such a strong position right now, man. It, it is no easy task to get a cap on on Sanctuary, and they're already up 1-0. Five minutes left before uh, regulation time is over, and it looks like they're actually trying to run down the second flag. Once you get it past that halfway mark, man, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna get that cap, unless the enemy team sniper is coming on. Anarchy was massive. That stops the flag running, and this is an overcommitment by needed on the objective. A lot of times you're banking on the 50-50 play from a teammate but if you lose this fight it's the counter cap going the opposite way and as snake bite clutches up anarchy will keep this flag in but will there be enough pressure to stop it goes the last chance while she's there to rally it up uh oh we are gonna see the flag on the flag because oh we got it flag podium goes in needed with the score last second Wow. Are they going to counter, though? Counter they yeah, need this, to. They need to counter. Yeah, but you're down a flag. So regardless, you, you got four minutes to keep the pressure up. This should be a guaranteed one, unless our red team is going to fumble hard. And Ghost Ayami, he is just going to get support in time from Enable. And honestly, that could have been a massive mistake by spitting for that flag as hard as yeah. they did. They didn't clutch it, dude. He clutched it by capping that. If he didn't get it there, they, I don't think they would have got it. And props to Walshy for keeping the touch as well after Nada died. Here's Gosiyama going to ring three, two players below him. Anarchy's going to take three bullets, soaks it up, gets that alive. Nice position. It's yeah. not the I team. Snipers are up, guys. This could be the final flag that would tie things before OT. He's the last yeah, and, and that's the thing. Nice. You're saying OT, oh, it's... Oh, I no. think Under, could, could come back. I think time will flag. just... Run out. They, they, you you need help. momentum and purpose to have enough right now <laughs> He's to get a double. Yeah, this is a mid-ship. You can't score in 10 seconds. Nope. You need to get at least three down. Normally, it's the sniper rifles that will give you the opportunity, but a sniper still in the hands of Jacob and Hysteria. Well, he's one of the hardest to take down. He is going to force you to play uncomfortable positions, get some help from a teammate, and punish you just like that. Nice work between Nated and Hysteria. Another duo that I kind of wish we saw back in the day. Never really saw those two playing together. That would have been a good one. like what it is. One was cool and the other one was on his nerves vibe. You know what I'm through. So Hysteria's played with Nated. They have played with Best Man together, in fact. They've, uh, Hysteria's played with Legit, Snipe Down, Neighbor, Ace, quite a few teammates on his way to that Triggers Down roster that everyone remembers alongside Hines and crew. Oh, Richie Hines, man. I love him, dude. Richie, you still in the chat? We got love for you, bro. Final two minutes and 17 seconds. Oh. Sanctuary always more fun to play than watch in most situations, especially in the social games. And here you can see the snipers go to work in the closing moments. Nated is going to push in as Anarchy pulls this flag. They're going to run it Needler's side, and they've got the spawns on lock. Just one player stuck between two. And Anarchy is going to toss this one out. I thought Hysteria was going to be able to finish that player in the rocks. Who is the hero? It's Snakebite. The legend stays alive. 
five and keeps it a one point game. Dude, this is counterable, man. Like, I, there's honestly, I would have just held him in spawn. Like, that's what I would have tried to do. I wouldn't even try to push the flat cap there, man. Just keep them trapped in the base for the next minute. Okay, okay. Me too, absolutely. Absolutely what I'm trying to do. I got him, I got him. I saw him, I saw him. There's no reason Snake Bite should even survive that fight. He makes a hero play, but you can see Ninja nailed it. Team just yeah, not set up to take advantage of it a little Star. bit too Star. much Star. panic. This Star. is where having a guy like Walsh, an old school leader, really comes into play. Been in the situation so many times, man. They know what to do. There's three. They know what they have to do, right? Look at him. He's not. He's mm -hmm. barely even pushing right now. He's just trying to. Oh, get slays. Oh. Get slays. Oh. They're hot. Ones are hot. I oh. stuck. It's calling to get slays as he's I'm going dead. sneaky, sneaky mode, man. If someone gets a multi kill. Ooh, yes. Don't, don't, don't. Play? This is perfect, bro. The they can end the game here, man. He gets, if he gets a kill, the there's no... Oh! Down. See, now uh, this, is a little, this is a little risky, uh, right? Because uh, his teammates all die. Okay, you can give a beaver here, David. I'm wasting 30 seconds for the enemy to go. Dave's just wasting snipe ammo. If you want to why he's shooting the ground, make sure snipe down can't seconds. use this against you. Just like the least favorite players doing what he's doing right now. Scumbags, I'm one of them. Mad props, Dave. <laughs> Back in Halo 1, if Our I saw the Rockets, I shot off all one four of them. No chance Hilarious. I'm to the enemy team. <laughs> Pocket Rockets, dude. No shot. <laughs> they still exist. I've been playing Valorant. I don't want to talk about my race play. Oh, all right. no. Ladies and gentlemen, we are 10 seconds away from having our winner's bracket finals all locked in. Agency with the clean 3-0 over straight ripping will advance. And now as the buzzer hits 15 minutes, both flags are at home. This one should end with team final boss in Walsey taking the 2-1 finish here in game number four, a 3-1 in the series. Wow. Wow. FBI, I, could, I did not see this. Did not see this. I straight up, uh, I'll be the first person to admit it. I thought that Los, and I'm just going to be completely open here. I thought Los was going to anchor this team hard. And I thought they were not going to, I thought they were going to be one of the first teams. Right. And I, dude, I, I instantly take back what I said. Yep. Let's freaking go. I'm a final boss fan. Let's get it. All right, I got my final boss shirt behind me, a hoodie down low, and I'm ready to go. When we come back, I'm going to do a wardrobe change and get my game face ready. Don't go anywhere. It's the 4v4 portion of your Halo 2 throwback featuring Ninja and that beautiful man in the middle. He goes by the name of DMAC. We'll be right back. Kid for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, and they pretend. It must have been, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. Kid for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, and they pretend. It must have been, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shot like a son of 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, ten toes, never fold. Bane roll, on the go. Ice hole, ice hole, ice hole. Can't for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, and they pretend. Came off the fence, I get it in. Baby, so I hit them on the FaceTime. I need it all for them, so no, I cannot waste time. Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline. We trust the process in my only know it takes time. You can get it. Got no worries, I'm gonna make mine. Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines. Paying taxes at a mortar, which you may not. Different bracket, eating off a different plate. Kids for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend. Came off the fence, I get it in.
love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's rhyming. Tasting with the fade, not the hair, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not. Twitch Rivals is back. It's the Halo 2 throwback. It's Puckett and D-Mac. Ninja will be joining us in just a bit. Currently enjoying a Dr. Pepper in the booth, but he's getting ready for some more 4v4. Before we get to that, though, D-Mac, we've got a special guest. A young lady <laughs> who used to bop us when we went to the Halo 1 lands. This is our Verizon player checkpoint, and we got to say hello to Bonnie, a.k.a. Xena. She's got the OG MLG hoodie. Zena, it has been a minute. How you doing? I haven't seen you. We're going to get Zena's face up here in just a moment here. But, man, is this a throwback or what, D-Mac? I haven't heard that name in a minute. Dude, Zena was a legend in Halo 1, bro. Uh, let me just, like, put that in perspective. She was much better than me. Was the first time I saw a female gamer that was, like, just destroying all the boys so there is so much respect for xena in my opinion and it's like damn can't say enough positive things about her bonnie not only were you one of the first uh lady gamers i ran up against but you were also the youngest you beat me in my first free for all when you were 13 years old and you have been around the scene since the very beginning love having you on the show shout out to the brothers the rest of the mod squad you used to play with but tell us a little bit about your career because i remember you from the very beginning of halo ce but you were at every single halo 2 event leading into halo 3 whether you were on the stage or working in the astro booth yeah, well, thanks so much for having me. This is such a great event. Um, yeah, so as you as you know, I started when I was 11 in Halo CE, and then um, I competed mostly with my brothers, but then with Halo 2, I branched out on my own um, and started competing with other women as well, which was really exciting, and then ended up going to college. And after college, I was thinking about, you know, where do I want to work? And I thought, hey, why not the company that started it all for me? So to me, that was Bungie, and I've been at Bungie for seven years now, so I'm a senior producer there now. That is wow. so awesome. I mean... Thank you. <laughs> look, Bonnie, it's like you've had such a large influence. This is like you from your Halo crushing days and now from your early days to now, you're just like the biggest influence on women in gaming, in my opinion. And it's like, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts of like the Twitch streaming world? It's inclusivity nowadays. What's the scope? How do you feel about it? Yeah, yeah, well, that's really kind of you. I mean, there have been so many women that have come before me. I mean, even in Halo 2, we actually had a great group of women. You know, there was Smiley, Foxy, um, I'm sure yeah. I'm forgetting so many names right now, but we had a great group of women. Um, and that was really exciting to see that. I think out of all the all the uh, games that were at MLG, it seemed like Halo just had this great group of women that um, loved competing with each other. But also, I feel like we were all really good, too. We could all hold our own. Um, in terms sure. of... Yeah, in terms of... Twitch and streaming. I've never been a streamer. This is probably my first time on a stream <laughs> in uh -huh. maybe like seven years or something like that. So I can't really speak to the streaming world just because I haven't experienced that. But um, from my experience of just being in the industry for the past 20 years, I definitely have seen um, just a lot of growth around women in gaming and a lot more women getting involved. And I think that's happened because it's become more mainstream. Um, with MLG, you guys know it was pretty underground and, you know, there wasn't as much exposure. And so now that there's more exposure, I think more women are getting involved. Um, and so I think we're on, we're on a good track. We're making progress. There's still progress to make in terms of inclusivity and um, what women can do. But yeah, I'm really excited to see it continue. 
It's on the up and up. We love to see it. I love having you back here. Bonnie, you were at all the early events. You saw us through the growing pains. What were some of the highlights of those early days, though? And did you have a favorite player? I know you were a competitor, but we all kind of were super fans of somebody at one time or another. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it brings back so many memories just leading up to this tournament and thinking about it. Um, uh, I think my favorite thing about the early days of MLG was just like it was like the Wild West in a way. So it, it wasn't, wasn't very uh, regulated. Uh, uh, uh. Um, you know, anything <laughs> would go. And I mean, you guys probably remember. I don't know if they're going to appreciate me bringing this up, but, um, you know, T-squared, I think throwing the toilet paper at Gandhi, if I remember that correctly. Um, you yeah, know, just yeah, I think it was Gandhi going at T-squared. Oh, was it? The, okay, all right. It was so <laughs> rowdy. <laughs> It was just iconic but, trash talking. So, um, so that's one thing I remember. But I mean, I think also just in terms of the early days, to put it in context, like we didn't have social media. I think we had MySpace, but there wasn't streaming, there wasn't, you know, Facebook, Twitter. And so I think all of us were pretty close knit because it was, um, you know, basically, basically like a big reunion every time we would have a tournament. And then in terms of online communication, it was either you're talking trash in the Halo 2 lobbies or um, you are on the MLG forums. <laughs> and so and so I think that just made us all um, really have this great connection. So it was fun. It was a good time. Bonnie, I love your career path. It is awesome to see you go from 11-year-old stomping me in FFAs to then taking over the stage in Halo 2 and now crushing it behind the scenes over at Bungie. Best of luck with your projects we can't talk about during this interview, but I can't wait to see you in my lobbies come infinite. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, guys. That is Zena, A.K. Bonnie Burton. Look out for her in your lobby. She will be tearing you up just like she did 17 years ago. DMAC, we are getting into some more 4v4 action, but man, this is this is such a great day. We're bringing in the best of the best from all around the community here. I mean, my favorite part, what Bonnie just said, was her lack of the lack of regulation was her favorite part about Halo back in the day, you know, how it was just wild. And it's like, yeah, bro, we came from a wild situation, Pucket, and it's really cool to see how things have formulated over time. I don't think we can express that enough. Um, yeah. I think we all saw the vision of where it's going, but once you see the vision fulfilled, it's still surprising. And we had a great title to do it with Halo 2 opened the doors to online play for so many and brought us all together after years and years of just playing with your local legends. So Halo 2 is the game we are celebrating today. And if you're just joining us, we are currently in the midst of some 4v4s. We're getting ready for our next round of matches. The loser's bracket is going to feature straight ripping. And of course, the opponents from the other side of the bracket, that is going to be Carbon. In our winner's final, I got the agency and final boss as Team Elmite's ready to take on Team Walshy. DMAC, do you have a favorite here? Because looking at the numbers, 3031 outside of that early slip from Final Boss, both teams were pretty much in control. I didn't think Final Boss was going to win the first series. So I, I, I'm just going to stick with my guns here and I'm going to go with the agency going to the winner's finals. And, and I also expect on the other side, bro, I'm expecting Carbon to show up. You know, yeah. that was not the proper representation of Carbon and Halo 2. They were a very dominant squad. I need a uh, I need team straight ripping to clean it up a little bit. Eomite's crew beat you up in the opening rounds. Yeah, and while you're still warming up, Ace and Eomite, they've been practicing for weeks. But now you've got three games under your belt. Now you're facing off against a new opponent. Straight ripping. Clean it up. I want to see you go deep into this tournament and challenge Elamite in the grand finals. Remember, loses bracket. You can do that here. It's double elimination, just like the good old days, DMAC. Yeah, yeah I mean, bro, again, they're going up against the family business. So it's going to be tough, right? And, and yep. so we're going to see how this all turns. Um, I'm expecting family to prevail today. Family over everything is what I heard that Ace and Elamite got Blood tatted on their chest. Family over everything right here. 
Yeah, they got tatted on their chest, bro. Family over everything. And then right underneath, it was like thug life. I don't know what they're about now, bro. D-Mac, the producer wild. is telling me to cut you off. We're going to talk a little bit about that, too. Some weird news later for now. A quick commercial break. We come back. We've got the games ready for you. Don't go anywhere. Final boss agency straight ripping carbon still to come. And if you think video games are just for guys, a new wave of gamers may make you think twice. People get very surprised when I play video games. Some of the, like some of the girls like made a name for themselves for being like like good players. My name is Megan Eichmar. My gamer tag is Foxy, and I play on the team Girls Not Game. My name is Bonnie Burton. I'm also known as Zena, and I was the first girl here at MLG. Zena is, is like, like like the entrepreneur of girl gaming. She was like the one who started it off. What I'm trying to do is just break the stereotype of the girl gamer. Throw it out, let's go! People can obviously see that I'm a girl. I like just being called a gamer. Hold up. 
I gotta say, I've come a long way from the ogre's basement. Look at my glorious gaming room outfitted with jerseys and Doritos. Welcome back, everybody. It's Pucket. It's the Halo 2 throwback, and I'm solo casting this next game for us as we give DMAC and Ninja a little dinner time. We're getting into another round of action, though. Remember, in the loser's bracket, we have two teams that didn't have the best showing in the opening round. In the winner's bracket matchup, though, I am super excited to see who's going to come out on top between Team Walshy there and Final Ball going up against Eelmite Warriors Agency. Now, Eelmite in this, he went in and he picked up legit old school teammate from straight ripping. Also on the squad, though, he brought in little brother Ace. Yeah, that Halo champion. Remember him from the 1v1 versus Pistola? Well, Ace is in the building as is BTH Maniac. In every single game, this quad is putting up around eight assists Per game. On the other side, Team Wall should just showcase they can drop huge numbers, not just in the slaying category, but also in assist in CTF. Now the question is, who is going to have the better teamwork as we go into five fresh maps? Let's take a look at what is coming up in front of you guys as we go to a fresh set here in the best of five. It's going to be CTF on Sanctuary, the map you just watched featuring Walshie. Well, he's back on it with more snipers to work with. Warlock Team Slayer is going to be game number two. We've got Midship Ball coming in at game number three. Neutral Bomb is back. I don't even know the rules of Neutral Bomb anymore. That's coming in at our game number four, which was our CTF replacement. And of course, if we get to a game five, we are going to one of the most glorious maps in the history of Team Slayer. Lockout has had some of the best finishes to any games we have seen in competitive Halo history. I am looking for a stalemate on BR Tower, on Sniper Tower, with a battle coming down to the wire with the final we seconds. On left side. And game right is side, ready to go, and, and we're going to do a lot of Astro Gaming listenings. Here is one of the captains yeah, going, from the right, agency. Right, we got right. Eomite Warrior. Reminder, this is Eomite and the agency yeah, versus Walshie and Final no Boss. Eomite, Ace, Man, Legit, taking on Walshie, Aiden, Hysteria, and Captain Walshie. Anarchy. Sniper rifles are the key to success here in CTF, and we are going to listen in with Eomite to find out. Can they pop off? It looks like Ace has got the sniper on the left side, and Legit's already moving in for a flag. Go, go, go. Just stay alive. I'm going to be on you. I'm coming to help you, Nick. Just stay alive. I'm in there. There we are. Just jump down rocks from BR. Rocks from BR. Nick. Coming to you. I'm coming to help you, Nick. Another one. Snipe spawn. Snipe spawn. Weak. In hut. In hut. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. Let's go. Stay alive. I'm watching you. Turret nades. Turret nades. Don't die. Turret nades. Still turret nades. In flag. Flag and turret nades. Go, go, go. Run it. Run it. Rocks. Let's go. All dead. Rack rocks. Back rock ramp. No one dead. Dead. Yeah, all dead. All dead. I'm gonna run it. Captain Anarchy, first guy. It. Turn it. I'm staying alive for Bond, Bond, weak. One shot, Bond. Bond guy. Bond. I got two. Two dead, three dead. Can you run it? Watch the rocks. Watch the rocks. Ace is just punishing, and this flag is rolling. Legit gaming, yeah. That's Brian Rizzo, aka Briz Daddy. Legit back in the building. He is going to dust off the controller for this tournament. Didn't have the best free-for-all, but he's heating up as the show goes on. And you can see some clean BR shots, and while she's back, the real star of this game so far is Ace, though. As the man got the early sniper, he was the one who sprung that first flag with the double kill, and he is still in that power position on the left side. We go back to our Astro listening with the Elamite Ace 2-0. Moving in for another flag. going to be up or Dude, I died. I don't know. I lost sword. What's up, Ram? What's up, Ram? Nick, hide here. Nick, Nick, hide here. Hide. The note. Sniper, sniper. He's got a shotgun. Another turret. Turret. I'll stay alive over there. Coming carbine to help you. They're coming from carbine to help you. You want to know? They were two shots. I've got an intel of some call out. The Astro Gaming listed. Yeah, how long is? I can stop plugging the bill. I will not offend your other spots. They're rocks and they're bond. They're rocks and they're bond. Can you get like a, a crayon drawing of the Astro logo? <laughs> ring two, weak, nated. Nated's weak, ring two. Another one's pushing me. They're about to push me. And ring two, still pushing me. He got me in hut. In hut, full health. Their snipe might be up. This is weak, this is weak, our bond. Our bond door. Nice. I still have sword. They're sure. Uh, they're oh, yeah, they're sure. He's oh, absolutely, he's 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 absol
I got the one shot their court. Nice. Uh, Chris Tree. Chris Tree. Got one. Got one. Two dead. I'm in their courtyard again. Alder Hut. And they're they're shooting what's hot. Is that? I got him. I got him. Three dead for a second. Hey, enter to our wall. Our wall weak. Hey, last guy. I got sniped. I'm helping. Hey, it's our wall. Our wall. Our wall. He's our bond probably. Yep. Fuck, he killed me. I died. I died with sword up on. There are two shots. P, RP or Fire something. Grab it, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Briz Daddy, I'm gonna get someone to clean up your stream, but I gotta say, love seeing the gameplay back. Legit moving through, and now you guys get a chance to see what it's truly like being in the booth Sight with Puckett. We do this all the time I with Sundance and I. Hot mics, mics, my bad. Yo, Double kill though from Eel Might Warrior, They're and we gotta move on this flag. Cypher's the legend Nader yeah, though, trying to hold strong. It was actually Walshy in his back. And it looks like Eel Might will survive with the cover of Ace. This flag should be moving any second. One player to beat that just got past the waterfall. And I like this and decision by you, Mike. Don't Anarchy's force it. One shot Wait got for your teammates to push in. Just be a threat. Constantly annoyed. Nated, though, in the kill feed was the one taking down Ace. The real pressure has been alleviated so far for the blue team. Team final boss, though, needs to battle out of here. And Hysteria getting cut down. That is going to be a devastating blow. Another opportunity for you, Mike, to score. But he needs one more player to support. He keeps calling it out. Legit's moving up. Where is Maniac? Let's go. Let's go. Get caught. Push Court, court. I got him, I got him, I got him. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Get caught, push down. And here's where Maniac was. The whole time turn. he was Let's waiting on that sniper rifle, shot and shot this gun. is their opportunity. We go back shot into shot the full listen in. The agency with a 1-0 lead. I got a swank over on. I'm watching Rock. Four dead, four dead. You can ride a hut. They might spawn there. Under turret, under turret. Stay alive for a second, stay alive. Three, two, dude. One shot, they're rocks. Two of them, two of them, two. Their carbine killed me. And still ring two. He's still in ring two. Where are they? What the fuck just happened? We are slay. Our snipe. And jump up. Our jump up. Our bond. Our jump up. Our bond or something. One shot. Our wolf. Ring three as well. One shot. Ring three. I got two one shots here. Dude, he's one shot. Ring three. I missed my melee. He's courtyard. One shot. Yo, ring three. Ring three. Our jump. One shot. Our jump. Two of them. Our jump. Three dead. Three dead. Hold that, hold that. 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 Hold all right, you just heard four dead. Big betrayal accidentally coming in from Walsh. He was predicting a player to push out from bottom middle. Instead, finds needed. So not the ideal setup yet for Team Final Boss, but with eight minutes, 50 seconds still to go, plenty of time to answer back. They're only trailing one flag. But you have to say, just watching these screens, they have been playing from the back foot. The slaying battle has definitely been won by the agency up to this point. Uh, ring two got me. All dead, all dead, all dead. Our bomb fire. I need help, I need help, I need help. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Another turret ramp and there's a flag. Could be hiding HUD or something, I don't even know. We need to get around to their nades. See their nades. Hysteria and Anarchy looking to clear the base. Anarchy gets the call, but not before Maniac gets the first pick. They did not start to chime in with some snipes, but Elamite and the first kill coming in. Really slowing things down on the aggressive push. Hysteria and Captain Anarchy going back to the drawing books. We go over to our red team with the 1-0 lead. This Maniac. He's still there. He's still They're there. looking for one more player in the shotguns before they will start pushing up as a trio. It was Walshy. Walshy's trying to steal the snipe. Can Dave make the hero play? Sword from bottom middle. Anarchy is threatening. Walshy gets away with the snipe. And how many times has Dave done this in his career? He's not the sniper you're expecting to do the damage in the kill feed necessarily, but to just keep it away from the opponent and to hand it off to teammates is something he has done every step of his way to the top. Here's another headshot, though, coming from your star sniper. Nated in the power position, has rocks completely on lock. Everyone from the agency knows if we're going to leave, we got to sneak out snipe side. There's four two on the axe, four two on the axe. They're all three in that. They're all three in that. They're all three in that. Sniper's on our sniper's side. One shot our carbine. 2023 our snipe. Shot ring two. I do not see. He was at the end. He's shooter. And ring two, hysteria. He's our snipe, our snipe. I can't, he killed me. 
One shot. I killed one. Our wall. Ring. Pushing out. Our wall. Our wall. And they're jumping. They're, they're there. rocks. Jumping team. Our wall still. And they're rocks. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I think it was it. Oh, no, he's weak. Rain one. I got stuck in that last sword, dude. I got two, I got two. They're bond, they're bond one hit, washed out. No, I'm, in there, three, I'm in there, hunt Nick. Don't go too far, Nick. Run, run, run. Run away from that. One shot, one shot. I'm two there. Same spot, two there. Don't die. I got it. Another one, another one. Same spot. And spawn courtyard. I lost another one. Same spot. I'm just spawning, I'm just spawning. Jump up. One shot in there, help there. Your last one, Brian. That was a really good opportunity for the red team to move in on the flag. Some clutch plays within the base from our blue squad. It's going to keep it a 1-0 score. Six minutes still remaining here for final boss wearing blue. But Walshy and crew need to get something going here. You got about a sniper rifle or two left to play with. And that is it. Can't help your shot. Their street. Right, Eel might is not missing minutes, another so four shot coming in from the agency captain. Right. Base cleared. Eel might's taking over mid control. Snipers are up in about 30 break seconds. Three. Break three, one shot courtyard. He's one shot courtyard. Don't let him kill me. In court, weak. In their rocks, weak. Walsh. No rocks, no rocks. That was three down for blue. Final boss in trouble. They're looking for the spawns. They're out front of Snipe. That's not ideal. As Ace falls, you still got three members from your red team up to move this flag. And the double kill from Eulmite is going to spring it. Optic Maniac trying to cover. Snipers out. Challenge is there. That looked like a clean headshot, but instead it's Walshy getting away with the kill. Getting a little help from Naded here. And Naded continues to be a thorn in the agency side. He's jumping up and down with no shield bottom middle. And he is surviving. Over to Walshy, trying to push out from Snipe. Ace has been so strong in this game. Continues to pepper him. The flag got around the corner. Walshy could not stop the flag run. And with two flags in, the agency should have this game locked up. Blue has not been able to threaten. And legit puts this one in with 4.30 to go. Agency looking to take a 1-0 lead in the best of five. Our shot in our court. Yeah, I need help. RP, our flag ramp. One shot flag ramp. One shot in ring. One shot needed in ring. They need a flag. They need a flag. Got him. He's dead. One shot needed in ring. They need a flag. They need a flag. Got him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Anarchy died. Our car. Our jump window. Get ring three, guys. I'm out of sight. They're both right. They're both right now. Our snipe hut, NRP. Our snipe. Got to go to our snipe hut. In our hut. In our hut. In our hut. I'm looking for him. Going court. Going court. NRP shooter. Our court. No way. I got our hut. My bad, my bad. Nice, 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 nice. Challenge here, challenge here. Rubber band. Dead, dead, dead. Ring one, ring one. Two dead. Shooting in from our hut. Just suit up. Like the suit up. Nice. Carbine, ring two. Ring two. I'm going to show you ring three. Probably our wall. Get the combo. I'm going to go ring right now, Brian. Ring three. He's going there, ring three. He missed the jump. Two. He's going up ring three. Our wall as well, I think. Ring two, ring three. Hit him with the combo. What's up, the bond? And his nearest. Our jump up in his nearest week. One shot, ring one. I got one. So he's one. I'm getting it. Combo. He's their bond. He's their bond. Jump on. He's jump. He's court. He's court. Coming me, court. Coming court to help you. What a play from Ace. He is going to make the wall eat the green gun bullet. Tips down wall. She now pushing in. We got Anarchy coming off his spawn. He's the only one there now nated up in arms with him. But they're getting pinched in by two players on the opposite side. While Legit and Ace are distracting. All Might trying to punish from above. Final boss is under threat. Everyone searching nice, forward, and it's all red power. team winning the fights for the agency. Elums are popping off here, and Ace, he's got to have the biggest digits in the game. 16, 26, snipe. Sniping hut, dead. Two on me hut, three hut on me. Rock spawn, rock spawn, rock spawn. Rock spawn, rock spawn. The turret, we can do it. Watch your turret. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm blocking hut. Oh, Ace. Another double. 
One shot, got him. The spawners all dead. Dead. All sent dead. back home for another dead. 10 all seconds, dead. all dead. I'm gonna get it Flags moving in the hands of Maniac, and this one is just about done. Walsh is the first one up. Ilmite calls it. He's hitting the shots from behind. The headshot cleanup. One player on Sniper to defend. Last and it's Walshy, the last one Whenever up. Ace right. is going to buy enough time for this oh, flag to go in. A 3-0 oh, on Sanctuary. The agency opening this one up with a big blow to final boss's confidence. 3-0, 3-0. Doesn't matter. Looking at our numbers, we got Ace dropping 30 plus 10 from Maniac, plus 10 from Elamite Warrior. On the other it's side, it's Hysteria it's trying it's to keep up with the Sniper's player. Horn in their control. Final boss playing from the back foot here in game number one. Very impressive stuff, though, from the agency. And honestly, chat, I think you nailed it. This is a god squad. This is a super team. If we were back on the pro circuit, not the four names, I would have drawn out first and written down here on my list. But to see these guys over the years putting in the time, Elamite and Ace, they have been grinding together. That's definitely showing. Maniac, though, the surprise of the team for me is legit is still finding his footing. Maniac showing you his old school with a number of headshots. We're going to take a look back at some of the highlights here from game number one. Reminder, we've got two matches going down. Our loser's bracket is still coming up with T-squared taking on Ghost Yami with straight ripping and carbon here in the winner's bracket finals, though. It's all about Team Walsh's final boss taking on Elamite Warriors Agency. 1626 snipe. Some of the highlights starting with the pistol. This is how they got that early sniper control. As Ace comes in, takes down the first sniper, grabs the rifle, and rips two more heads. That led to the four down and the third and final flag. Ace looking so clean once you get that power weapon in his hands. Great comms from Eo Light Warrior. And speaking of comms, I'm going to get Ninja and DMAC back on the mic moving forward. DMAC will be rejoining me for game number two. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Twitch Rivals Hill 2 throwback. If you're liking it, let me know in the chat. We'll be right back. Like a son of one of one, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, I know, ten toes, never fold, bang roll. On the go, ice hole, ice hole, ice hole. Can't for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Ain't most of I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. Can't for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Ain't most of I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. I miss my baby, so I hit them on the FaceTime. I need it all for them, so no, I cannot waste time. Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline. We trust the process in mind, they know it takes time. You can get it. Got no worries, I'm gonna make mine. Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines. Paying taxes at a mortar, which you may not. Different bracket, eating off a different plate. Get for my wins, I need my hands. This life is real, if they pretend. Came off the fence, I get it in. I get it in, I get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get for my wins. Layup. 
up, this a rebound, then it's drive, man. Tyson with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not. Get out my way. I'm so, I'm so unashamed. Throw it to my veins. Like my 2K green or blue, I'm not into games. Focus on your player's face while I'm stacking change. We throw out what you got on your whole crew lay. Hold up. And welcome back. It's the Twitch Rivals Halo 2 throwback. I got my old school duo here. DMAC rejoining me on the mic from Chicago. DMAC, the traveling comedian making time for some Halo 2. We appreciate you, D. Uh, uh, Puckett, they thought uh, people were texting me. They said they kicked you off for the tattoo comment, didn't they? And I was like, no, no, I asked to eat. So <laughs> no regrets. Um, I'm glad to be back, it, and I saw the first game, and that felt like a round one game in this tournament, Pucket. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Like, that's that's some shit that I would have expected from round one, and if you already won a series and you just got dominated like that, you would be in your feelings, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. like going on, on the second day after the first one went really well, and then she's like, I'm not even trying to do as much as I did on the first date. I'm not so, even want to be seen with you. All right. Uh, Walsh's team, they got to clean it up here a little bit for Team Final Boss. You're in the hole after that sanctuary. But the best part in the best of five, the previous game score doesn't really matter. It's just about the win-loss column. And you only need three to lock up your spot in the championship match. We're going to Team Slayer Warlock next. And we showed this a little bit earlier, DMAC. It's all about positioning. You got to get that team shot on. And if you can, do a little rotation through the portals to catch opponents sleeping. It was a lot of portal shotgun vibes, okay? We're, we're seeing a lot of team shots. Last time we saw Captain Anarchy go 8, 11, and 12, and that was a great stat line. So expect more of that from people on the bottom of the scoreboard. They are helping the squad, okay? Again, everybody here is a fantastic pro. So, yeah, this is what we're looking for. Yeah, it's good. It's not about the stats as well. I love to hype it up. I've done it my whole career, but we all know you can be that guy who gets the first three shots and someone gets that fourth. They get all the glory for the kills. But the big takeaway I had from game number one, or at least the first time we saw this Team Slayer and Warlock, was the winning teams were averaging near nine, ten assists across yeah. the board. To see that much team shot on, that is how you were going to pave the way to a championship agency is that team that set the tone early on and early it looks like they're up 2-0 as Walsh he's put on his back with Captain Anarchy that means you can expect Elamite and Ace to be on high ground Elamite's gotta wait for his shield to come back and Hysteria with a nice pick there to answer it Nated though is gonna be the star for me if we can get a camera on Nated the man was playing angry at the end of Sanctuary and I think he could be exactly what Final Boss needs to get back in this and, and what it means to certain players, I, I think it means a lot to certain players, but maybe it, Nate it is near the top of that list, right? He's still obviously clearly very passionate about the game. He's trying to win. Uh, I'm saying you're right. Okay. Nated is probably about to go off. Nated's going to find Elamite. The double beatdown is there, but it's a teammate with a cleanup. 11 to 5 though you're down six the great news you got the power weapon right the shotgun actually a power weapon here on warlock and he's just waiting he's that player from up top gonna drop down and challenge him on the other side of the map you got his teammate captain anarchy who picks up the assassination that brings him within five but red team still holding on to their lead and this game could have gotten away from them pretty quickly that's what the beginning was starting to look like and they settled in i, I like that from them you know, uh, FB did a good job with that, but again, agency, positioning, confidence, that, that's really what it's all coming down to. I'm going to help finish him. Walsh on your screen here for final boss, trying to push in on Maniac. Clean shots there. Another player was spotted bottom middle. Uh, blue ramp portal. Red ramp portal. And he is just going to play his angles carefully. Two bullets into legit. Can't go and finish this without taking heavy fire from all directions and a grenade just chucked across the map from Maniac is going to connect. So a little bit of luck and good positioning. 
It's all gravy right now for the agency. Who is going to take over this game, though? Remember, when we saw Hysteria and Team Walsh popping off, it was when Hysteria was up front, top, middle, and you had Walsh and crew just surging up the lift. I want to see them go back to that aggressive play versus these corner peaks from the, the four quarters on the map. Mm. Uh, that is a very good point. And, and again, this game, it was a similar situation in the last series where we watched for like yeah. He might be score line a and he saw it flip. Yeah, so anything can really happen. I got one. It's so Green crazy still. also playing on monitors where you can kind of turn up your Green brightness. Isn't it shot, nice guys. to actually see that guy who's hiding in the Green corner? Yeah. One shot, Green Green Go, everybody. Nice. Right. We're cranking it. Eel might sitting at nine kills on the other side. Nated keeping pace. Those are the two front runners from both sides. Your score still within five. Hysteria, he's the X Factor for me. Keep your eye on the bearded man from Washington. Taking our screen back over to Nated, though. This is your top scorer, and he's trying to make it happen, but they're just pinched in. Captain Anarchy was getting fired at. Nated is going to get dropped as Captain falls, and it's going to be this agency just constantly pulling one kill, two kills away from me. We saw the same type of vibe last time. This is a game that FD just played. Walsh just picked up three. I see him in the feed. And just like that, they're down one. Agency is back in it. Nated stays alive. Doesn't drop any of his shield. Getting into a position here, taking on Maniac from across the map. Walshy on the outside is going to try and support through the portal. But as Team Final Boss is spreading out, I'm getting a little bit nervous because they're going to be outgunned on the left side, and Walsh is going to find himself the victim of a four shot there from BTH Maniac. And Walsh kind of needed that one. That would have been nice to have. Back up to a four kill advantage. It was cut down as close to one this game, never beyond six. Red Ace, Red Ace. <laughs> Green, uh, Red Elf Warrior. Green. Shotty to the mouth there from Captain Anarchy as he takes down legit 43 to 40. Agency still, seven still away, game. nine away still now for final boss. Nice, nice, nice. Here we have alive. They got the portal clock down. They got the shotty. Yeah, and they got the slaughter flip out. Tied at 44 here, Bucket. BXR! And he doesn't take any damage from that engagement. So Nathan coming into a fresh fight. Shotgun was not out, but he still takes down Maniac. We look at the scoreboard, 47-46. We are down to the wire here, DMAC. Final kills to go. Legit's on the move. Elamite looking for the last one. Agency one kill away here. Probably gonna be red. They're calling it out and they're leading with the frag grenades. Bottom mid, inside bottom center. Wall, she is bottom Got center, it. causing problems. Gets what the help from Nated, but it's not enough in time. Wall, she falls in wow. your final score, 50 to 47. Nated and Walshy both with 13 ties. The performance from Maniac and, of course, a legit. But everyone putting up numbers here. Look at that even play. 14, Ace. 13, 12, and 12 with 13 assists coming out of Ace. That is such a fantastic game out of Ace. My goodness. And, and you know what? If I was FB, I would be encouraged. Y'all were right there in that game. That's way better than getting blown out in a game like that. Yeah, you're down 2-0 right now, but it could easily flip if, if you get game three on your side. And but yeah, that was a fantastic game out of Ace. But the brothers, how, Puck it. How do you come everything. back on Warlock? I'm like, there's no camo or overshield to nade yourself down like there was in Halo 1. You could go top middle, but you're just getting peppered up from BRs if you even leave a portal. I felt like final boss, they gave it their best effort. You had a nice little run there by Naden, and while she's staying alive at the end, gave them an opportunity. But you can't fall down early. If you're going to win this series, you got to start taking the lead. We'll see if they can do that as we go back to objective in game three. Yeah. Best player on agency, though, that's what I'm still trying to figure out. Is it Ace right now? Is he having the best tournament of anyone in this game? Yeah, I mean, I thought towards the end of Halo, Ace was one of the smartest pros. It's clearly showing his shot is still there. And yeah, I, I love their strategy. The Elam brothers have always had fantastic strategy. Them combined, it's like, why didn't you guys team sooner? What were you guys doing, you know? 
I don't know if I could team with this sibling. I don't know about you, D-Mac, but there would be a lot of trash talk and some hurt feelings. At the end of the day, we'd have to go to Thanksgiving together where we would all watch a fantastic game of football or perhaps midship. That's where we're going for the next two games. We've got Team Ball in Neutral Bomb, and this midship map is host to one of the most historic oddball games of all time. This was Final Boss versus Carbon. We were going down to the end of the time limit. It was yeah. 450 to 4. 445 going down to the wire. If you haven't seen it, you can now watch it 240p on Mr. Global HD's YouTube channel. That was such a fantastic game. Oh, there, there's been a bunch of classic games on, on Team Ball Midship, actually. And again, Midship works. We used to do it with Neutral Bomb, too, before y'all took it out. And, and I'm going to say it did pain me as a Muslim man, but I was an excellent bomb player at that time. And I was like, you- damn. Yeah. Were you good yeah, at punching was- people with the bomb? Because that's what I always felt the coolest. When I was like blasting people with the oddball or just straight punching them while holding the bomb. Yeah, I would I would be blasting, I would be punching, mostly hiding. You know I'd be hiding. You know, that that was my move right there. And yeah. and yeah, if this is gonna be a, a a big game for FB, obviously they would have to go to losers bracket if they lost this game. And FP, uh, like Walshy said, never plays out of top two in a Halo 2 tournament. Good point. Good point. For those of you who don't know, DMAC, of course, is now a professional stand up comedian. You can catch him in your favorite town, including Los Angeles and New York City's comedy cellar. DMAC, you threw the chat through a loop for that last one. They were caught off guard. But I am not to see this oddball already in the hands of our red team. They are moving to pink side, and they've got map control already. Wait, his serious weak top Yeah, I. I probably got a little wild there, Pucket. Keep it up, bro. That's why we keep you around. <laughs> You're a wild card. Everyone needs one. <laughs> Shout out to my man Goofy's in the chat. Goofy, tournament champion alongside Ninja, for those who remember that event. There's two cars side. And bubble. And drop all fight. Drop all fight. Yo, I died. Top of base. Top of base. Swords down in the window. I'm playing it. I'm playing it. Absolute legend, as are all of the old school pros returning to the chat. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I just saw Eli the Ninja pop up again. We have so many casters. We've got Onset, we've got Gaskin. Sims is in the building. Pansy was in here. Everyone checking out the stream. And I see a lot of people asking, where are the ogres? We see Walshy, where are the ogres? Quick reminder, uh, the ogres are now 35 years old. They're exactly three months younger than me. Ogre one is in Australia with a family, a a child to raise and more. Ogre two is the GM of the Florida Mayhem. And uh, sorry, the Florida Mutineers, their Call of Duty team. It's currently a odd chance. Take a look though at Eomite Warrior going up against Team Walshy. Walshy's final boss, and this is Captain Anarchy, a guy who struggled in the free for all, starting to find his shot again as this tournament goes on. He's going up against one of the best of that is bottom middle. And, and look, Rose is definitely motivated by that extra 100k that Ninja donated, and you're going to see a bunch of uh, jackets to go with that full hawk if the championship comes to so, this is, this is, this is exciting. I'm going to be honest. Yo, I just saw Swift Kill in the chat. That's a guy that I found at the Doritos Combine. Speaking of Doritos, we already gave out some today. And we have a year supply of Doritos going to our winning team. One of the best prizes in gaming, DMAC. We used to get it for free, but that was at events only. You could have it all year long. Come on, bro. If I'm going to have Doritos, I know I'm going to have it for a whole year. That's the way to keep the read. Stop. You know? It's it's so funny to think back about our old school sponsors and to see folks like Dorito still around. Very cool stuff. Amazing. Welcome to the new blood with Verizon and State Farm. It's only a matter of time before we brought you into Halo 2. Yeah, of course they're gonna be around. Two shots, two shots, and really P2, P2. Your street, full health. Us do now it's all read it. Last one stated, one-on-one. Penalty, one-on-one. And it's like, oh, be reminded when we were in that chat. And that, yep. 49 seconds to less than 15. It's been a low-scoring objective game, but a number of kills being scored on both sides. It's a constant battle for this pink tower. 
as and is every midship fight. Two under. There's two under and Maniac, three. well, he's got the power position currently in pink two. I haven't seen a lot of players go into pink three. And if you remember the end of Halo 2, Guys like Lunchbox Roy, Fear Itself, they would just get up there and rain down BR fire. I want to see guys like Maniac start to take advantage of it. Here he is. P3 can see everywhere on the map. And if you've got a solid, slow sensitivity, you can just rain four shot after four shot. Double kill for Maniac. Now looking for the triple. Walsh is spotted bottom middle. And he's got him two shots away. Walsh was bottom middle. And bottom middle still weak. They spawned. Ninja puzzle. has mentioned it. Maniac. I, I think you mentioned it too. Fucking Washington Maniac is middle, one of the sleepers. In street. I hit him twice. Get going. Two shots in P2. Two shots in P2. I'm on him. I'm on him. P2. One shot. Swords up. Swords up. I hear you. And I really love Maniac. He's now over 2,800 subscribers on his channel. If you followed the man throughout his career, he's been very open with his battle with addiction. He's been sober for a while now. This has been his first year streaming sober, and he is loving life. So excited to return to this competition and honestly i love the fact that he landed alongside some new teammates i've never seen him play with ace i haven't watched him with elamite in years awesome to see some collaborations that we never got kind of treated to back in the hill two days yeah it's like two yeah kind of choked up thinking about maniac and his journey and it's really beautiful him being so open because you know other gamers have been through it too so it's like, mm -hmm. if you need help, seek help. And he's definitely put that on display. And it's just a beautiful thing as we've grown as adults. And, and we're like putting our stuff out there. And as some of us get to be personalities, we display all of that that comes with it. And we hope to grow. I'm gonna shoot and three. He's Your done a great job. Excellent job. Bubble. Uh, get in bubble. Back down. I'll watch. I'll tell you what he does. That's right. Ninja came in. We had fifty thousand dollars slated for the greatest Halo 2 tournament of the last decade. Well, Ninja came in and tripled that prize pool. An extra hundred thousand dollars on top. We now have a hundred fifty grand going out to just sixteen Halo pros. Some of the the biggest checks that we ever saw for Halo 2. And it's kind of sad to say, but. This is where we all started. This was the beginning of North American esports, especially in the console scene. And these were the original legends that we all cheered along. P1 and Ball. Yeah, fuck you. We knew we were biting the bullet for creating something fantastic down the line. And everybody that's part of that is happy to see it. You know, whether we stayed in gaming all the way or whether we pivoted or whatever, everybody wants to see the success because this is what we wanted. They stare on your screen. They're trailing by a minute here, DMAC. Just real quick scoreboard check-in. Eight minutes, 30 seconds to go. It's a minute and two second advantage for the agency. They're also up 2-0 in the series. This is your winner's final. $12,000 is going to first place. You're guaranteed top three if you get to this winner's final, and you have to think you're the favorite to win it all. So far, a 3-0 in the opening round here for the agency over T-squared straight ripping. Now, you might warrior in the agency just a few minutes away from a 3-0 over final boss unless something drastic changes here for the blue team. Yeah, if you're agency, your confidence got to be on 10 right now, right? Like... Well, we're not worried about it. This is looking like a 3 old sweep. You're counting your money in the bag. But we've seen this story before, fuck it. We've seen teams get too confident. And then what happens? So it's like, this could end up being a tournament at the end of the day. The finals are going to look like, but yes, this looks like it's going to be a field. And as Fear itself will tell you, we just saw him in the chat over on Ninja Stream. Shout out to Fear. He reminds everybody, if you don't want to miss out on a tournament like this in the future, check your emails. Adulting is hard. We're sorry, Fear, that you didn't get in this time around. You miss out on the $100,000 bonus from Ninja. But not only that, Ninja also went to everyone's stream and dropped 100 gifted. That's $8,000 worth of gifted subs you love to see ninja giving it back here for the halo 2 throwback yeah and i we've said it while he was here but i, I think it's important to be said again somebody that is recognizing the space and giving back to the space that he came from and, and giving love i i think he loves to do it but everything ninja has done i mean he's turning up right now 
fantastic well, situation for three. gaming. I got shots. It's a win car two, for car three, bubble. Bubble is weak. Walshy, two shots out of your bubble. I'm still waiting for him to turn into a dirt bag. Ninja, come on, man. Quit being so wholesome. Here's a look at you know, Might Warrior, the oh, best shit, captain in the tournament, according to the chat. We are wondering who's going to walk away three, with this. Three, chat was two, saying, two, two, two. out of the four captains, what's after what's watching you on my stream, he looks the cleanest. And I have to say, I agree with this chat. You put him next to Gosiami, Walshi, or T squared. I've got Eomite coming out on top of that BR fight in almost all three every time that happened. Yeah, Eomite looks like he's on right now. I'm not going to lie. I never mind to say it. And I have to get him to admit I'm going to have to know. Quick one day. But today, he looks like he's on. Three down. Three down. Let's go ball. Sword's down our Eli. Sword was down our Eli. I still think they're cheating. But he's on. Yeah, they're they're probably cheating. <laughs> they got wall hacks or something on. I don't know what's happening with the new entrance. They know what's happening all over this map. All right, the sticky maids will not land. Finally, a little bit of good news for Walshy's final boss. And just as I say, I thought they had oddball control. I thought they had pink control. Look at that. That is a red player bringing the ball all the way under the base and forcing final boss out of the power positions. Small plays were game changers back in the Halo days. It looks like Hysteria may be able to get out of this one unscathed. Shots coming across from Carr and some nice cover fire from Walshy. That's a clean four shot to take down Elmite. No damage on Walshy, and he continues to dish it out on Maniac, who's spawning bottom pink. And, and this is critical right now. I mean, basically, uh, every second counts now. If you have about three minutes to make this fight, because otherwise you'll be out of territory. Blue one out front. Right, Walshy was checking blue base, didn't see anyone called it out, but the news comes in too late that they're spawning across the map, bottom pink side. This ball is now down. You touched on it, DMAC. 420 left. Not a ton of seconds to score. It is so hard to get away with more than 15 seconds at a time in oddball, especially against the caliber of players in this event. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough comeback. Basically, everything would have to go fantastic. And as well, she died with that sword. That's obviously not what's happening. Chat, D Mac saying, uh, or sorry, D Mac. Chat is saying you need to come back for infinite. Any chance we can get you to quit your stand-up thing you've been working on for a decade? Bro, I don't think I can quit stand-up for gold, but I think I would love to be in Halo. I love Halo. I think that in today's careers you could do three things. You know, four things. Look at a uh, comedian like Joe Rogan. He does MMA, stand-up. He's got a podcast. I'm not going back to two, two dead. you know? The, the DMAC hustle, I'm here for it, bro. Yeah, bro, I would love to come back for Infinite, especially if it's to do it with you, bro. This is like doing it with the homie, you know? You've yeah, been my mentor in this game in a lot of ways. Yeah. You think we get Nexi back for a full bracket show? Oh, my God. He has, like, a great job out in San Francisco. He is so well. He came out to one of my shows two years ago. Two times in a row, two, two nights in a row. One time with this lady, and we just awesome. hung out. It was uh, amazing. Jeez. I don't. <laughs> Nexi is an absolute legend, and he was the first 16 year old to really teach me a lesson uh, when we were landing. That was to sleep instead of trying to drive your car home at the end of a 24 hour land session. He ended up hitting both guardrails. Trashed the car, survived it, came out unscathed, but that was kind of a wake up for all of us, DMAC. Like, okay, if we're gonna land and we're gonna land this hardcore, everyone needs to sleep over tonight. Yeah, I mean, bro, we used to go for days at my house. You know, DMAC land, we uh, mm, my house, the Mecca of Halo. I, I remember like towels would come fresh out of the dryer, and that was my key to sprint up to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> We used to have a good ass time at Mac Land. And, and How many legends do you think came through your house? I'm trying to think. Like everyone on the East Coast came through a D Mac Land at some point, right? Some of the the top streamers yeah, here on Twitch TV, including CD Ed, was there. We always had guys like Ghost Ayami and the best from to the tri-state area. Go, uh, Captain Anarchy came through for one of them. I was yeah. there. Dexy was always there. Who else you had? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. You name it, you name it, the highlights. Hans? I think. Another one under, another one under right now. One shot under, two more. Has 
Got Besides it. a lot of the West Coast guys, they weak. had their own yeah, land, and GGs, some of the GGs, guys boys, had their own no. land, and Ohio guys. So, if you were outside of that region, and of course, you know, like, people like Boo, Triple X, all the TSK guys. TSK, that's a team we have all talked about. One minute. Yeah, Lil, Lil Poison, brother Poison, who was also a great player, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I ended or everything. Who's all those guys? Yeah, we used to have a fantastic big group. Severance. Around. I'm just throwing out names around, of people. Uh, there <laughs> is role, officially a forfeit here from right our right. blue team. Your red yeah. squad, yeah. the agency, are going to take it with a score of 412. I like this call by Captain Walshie. He says, let's not give him. You know, the confidence letting them know they can clean sweep us. We're going to back out of this one before we get there. 32 kills is the highest scored from our blue team. But that red team, 32 on Elamite, 33 on Maniac, another 31 from Ace, and legit leads the team in objective. The agency is rolling right now, DMAC. I mean, yeah, this is, this is fantastic news for the agency. This is very bad news for everyone else. You know, what? if you're the agency, you're not worried about it. But it's like, how's everyone else doing? Fuck it. I think we right. need to check on the other series, see what the highlights are looking like. What do you think? Yeah, I want, I want to see what's going on here. Losers Bracket Battle is going on simultaneous. It is 2021, and we do have bedtimes here in our mid-30s. Here's a look at what was happening, though, for our blue team. This is Snipe Down going to work for Team Carbon, playing alongside Ghostyami, Snakebite, and Enable. He was going up against so a very tough lineup in Flame Sword, Best Man, Neighbor, and T Squared. Daddy T getting picked off as Snipe Down throws down a double. The man was putting up some medals here for his stream. Fantastic. Snipe Down looks like he hasn't missed a beat, man. I could watch him play Halo all day. Gets the sword. Puts it to use. A slide by. Woo. Don't mind me. I'll just come back for round two, T squared. Well, Snake Bite, he was able to scoop it up after Snipe Down died. And honestly, the Snake Snipe combo, it looked like they just controlled this pink tower, D Mac. The power position locked in with plays like that. Yeah, this is the play I was looking for in round one. And, and honestly, I still think they should have won round one. I still think we're due for a fantastic finals. And I think it's going to be between. Carbon and the agents. This is my call. We're going to game four. It looks like that series is still alive. We'll see if we continue right here as it's the agency moving forward. Team final boss and Walsh's crew waiting to play the winner of this one. You got straight ripping, or did you say you're going carbon here, DMAC? Uh, I think I'm going carbon, bro. Going Ghost Ami, Snipe Down, Snake Fight, and Enable. That seems to be a pretty safe bet. Chat, do you guys agree with DMAC? Who do you think is coming out on top of this game? Number four, we're loading in yeah, right save, now. Save it, and it looks like it. already a 1 0 lead here for our Carbon Squad. Ghost Ami in blue, the captain, leading his team into the base as they score a second time. And, and, and me and Ghost have played a lot of neutral bomb midship together. I know him to be a very good neutral bomb midship player, so it's like, this is the right guy we watch. Yeah, I remember you had that big land before the metal lands. A lot of pros came out for that. Ghost Yami, he was on the come up back then in the middle of 2005, end of 2006. He was on the championship team, Carmen, playing alongside Gandhi, Shockwave, and Karma. Yeah, that was like, yeah, shots, man. Ghost was, that was, was, Ghost was just, he was just one of those players. It was very similar to Flame Sword, where it's like you saw the talent right away. I was yeah. Let's go, baby. Maybe no one knows what. Let's go, baby. Better than everything. Well, that was an eight-minute game. Not a bad showing from your blue squad. Less than eight minutes. Let's make it 7.30-ish. The killing spree from Ghost Ami to close it out. As that was Carbon up 2-1. That was the fourth game, and that should be the series. We'll get the official numbers here in just a moment. I got to see the stats there on Ghost Ami's screen because the man's looking clean, D-Mac. A lot of these players, they had to shake off the rust, right? We saw kind of an ugly, shoddy sniper opening free-for-all. Since then, everyone is elevating their game. I think some of these players stopped playing Halo 2, but they haven't stopped gaming.
And so you just give them a little bit of time, and they'll be right back in it. And, and I think that's what we're starting to see. Snake bite showing you. He is still one of the top players in the game, a pro for 14 years now, 19 kills, 12 deaths with eight oh, yeah, assists, a-, a strong performance in the objective game and snipe down, not afraid to get dirty with the bomb, puts in two of them in addition to his 14 kills. Strong performance across the board for Team Carbon, and now yeah, they yeah. go up against Team Final Boss as we say goodbye to T-Squared and Neighbor best man and their fourth mr flame sword d mac kind of surprised he's straight ripping the first team out it's kind of nutty well, guys we did yeah i almost think you know uh, uh best man did. didn't have his best day but it's all uh, good. Uh, which is okay it's still like I hey he's still getting paid it was nice you know what i mean again. so it wasn't with all my friends they didn't have no their best day today Flame Sword, I thought he was going to kind of be an X factor for them and kind of lead them a little further than he did. And, and it's okay. Maybe it was like T squared was leading the squad. Yep. And hey, bro, T is on 176 million Dr. Pepper bottles. He's doing just yeah. fine. I've got a few in my mom's basement somewhere in Ohio. Guys, shout out to everyone coming by. Do me a favor. These pros, you can hear it in their voices. They're a little bit frustrated. They're still competitors, but go show them some love once again. Say goodbye and drop off some subs to T-Squared. Neighbor, a.k.a. Mason Cobb is his Twitch channel. We got Best Man and Flame Sword, our first of four teams out of the action. Three still remain, and we come back. It's Carbon and Final Boss rematch of the 2006 National Championship Four. Wow. on our Halo 2 throwback.
enforcement have you got? The year is 2005. You're watching this on USA Networks nine months after it occurred in a small town with a convention center. It's fucking a DMAC. The Twitch Rivals <laughs> throwback continues here with Halo 2. Carbon versus final boss DMAC. 15 years after the original, it's going to be Ghost Yami taking on Walshy here in another 4v4. I'm, I'm going to need to see it another 15 years from now, too. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm bro. Here for it. This is such fantastic vibes, man. This has been one of the most nostalgic days I've had in a long time. Spending it here with you, Puck, is fantastic. And just the whole crew has been amazing. So I just want to say a thank you to Twitch today, bro. I really want to say that. Thank you yeah. to Twitch Rivals for putting this on. This is so cool. And uh, yeah, the agency is running through this tournament. And now yeah, Carbon Final Boss Losers Finals. Wow. Agency has been clean sweeping the top of that bracket. Three over T squared, straight ripping. Three O over Walshy, dated hysteria and Captain Anarchy. That sets up our losers bracket finals matchup where Ghost Yami and Naval Snake Bite and Snipe Down were able to take down straight ripping. They are now out of the bracket and Carbon moves on to take on Walshy and crew. Looking at this mix of players, though, we've got some of the names that were kind of more famous at the end and later Halos, and then some of the guys that were here since the very beginning. If I'm looking at the OGs, I'm going to names like Captain Anarchy, coming to one of the very first Halo 1 tournaments in 2004. Walshy, of course, at events before and MLG even existed playing at APGs. Nated and Hysteria, they kind of came on my radar a little bit later, 2006-ish. Since then, though, they have been mainstays, and if I compare these rosters on paper, my Halo Edge is leaning towards Final Boss on this one. All these games, Enable and Crew, they might got it for Team Carbon, but I'm leaning Final Boss. DMAC, where are you going? Bro, that is very surprising for me for you to say that. I think Carbon has so much firepower on their side. Ghostyami is playing so smart right now. I think I'm going with Carbon. Going with Carbon. Yeah. I like this. Team Final yeah. Boss, because I'm wearing their hoodie. Don't feel like changing. Team Carbon, that is D-Max way. He's always down on the bracket show, and he might be right when no one thinks he will be. Here's a look at the five-game series. Neutral Bomb Midship. Just what you saw Carbon clean up. Well, they're ready to go again. Can they win in under eight minutes against Walshy Squad? We're about to find out. Beaver Creek will feature Team Slayer with a lot of snipers and some rocket play. Oddball Midship is going to be game number three. I got Warlock CTF for game four, and if we get to it, Sanctuary is going to feature all of the power weapons in that game number five. This is a good lineup. I wanted to see Beaver Creek. We haven't seen it yet. This will be our first time. Um, and we haven't seen this midship. We haven't seen this midship in a while. So it's like uh, this will be a fun. Well, we just saw it actually. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, we, that didn't count, happened. bro. That was we, a two-minute like version. A, a third of a game, right? We didn't yeah, that was a two-minute version. Off. So, so tell me about this map a little bit, and what was it like playing as a competitor? Because we didn't have neutral bomb in Halo One. We had flag. We had team Slayer. We had oddball. This was a new addition in Halo Two. Yeah, this is honestly a very sneaky game. If you're a sneaky player, you will do well in this game. That's guaranteed. So, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Somebody to play very strategically. And, and yes, obviously the other strategy is just you're dominating the whole time. There's some moves to be made, and there might be some surprises in this game. No help just yet. I'm gonna lift up, and I'll help. 
I got hit from like their front Walshy base or with something. the comms. Oh, you can see I'm he started you, the day with 160 subs. Ninja dropping into the stream, yet. dropping off 100. Yeah, you guys help boost him up to 344. Let's get him to 350 before the day's over. Here's another optic member here. You saw the man, Mr. Snakebite, popping off in Halo 5. You've seen it in Halo 4. I remember him doing it all the way back to Halo 3 and Halo 2. He's on your screen. I'd love to crank up the comms as they go in for their first plant of the game. They're pink streaming. They're pink. Oh, bro, it, it's still, it's literally fully armed, bro. It's it's got one second on it. Let's get there. Are they tossing? All right, let me toss. Another car pocket. I got them. Car three spawn. Car three. Dude, it's car. Both bubbles. Yeah, they're bubble. Walshy, 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 they're bubble. Yeah. Yep. Bubble one shot is okay, there. Yeah. That, I'm in their window. Car bubble. Nice. Right now. I can I can run. Run. Yeah, 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 last guy. Native, native. Oh, bombs front. on their base. Dead. 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 There's Walsh. Car two somewhere. Our car kill me, guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nice shot. Nice shot. Car side. Window. You guys just keep slamming. Yeah. Bro. I got Eric. Stay weak. They're bro. Literally locked there. In their base. Nate, it's one hit bottom of their base. Oh, they're going to be the pink tree in a second. I'm looking their street. I'm looking their street. No eyes yet. Bomb. Drop. Right, they're they're evil. They're 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 still. Like, I'm just talking about the pink tree now. Same with Nate. It's OP. P1. 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 Nate. Nate. P1. I'm here. They're going to be the pink tree. Hysteria one hit. Hysteria's out. I'm on their point. We have it. We have it. I'm gonna lift, bro. I'm gonna lift. Slay again. Slay again. Drop. Stop. Under base. Drop. Under base. Drop. 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 I got him. I got him. Oh, another one. Another one lifted up. Same spot. That's two dead. Two on two. Two dead. They spawned. Eric's gonna run. I died with bombs. What's happening, sir? Fuck. I. You gotta give me that. I just did that. I don't want. I don't want. I just want. I just got it. I'm literally on the back. Walkie's dead. Their car pocket. Bomb. Doors down. Watch out. I tossed him down. I needed it. Hysteria's their Eli weak. Hysteria's their Eli weak. He won weak as well. He was their Eli one hit. Hysteria or half. I got two. I'll back under, bro. It's two dead. Their car pocket. He's one hit. Their car pocket. And they're their kneeler. I can't. I can't. Their Eli on me. He's their kneeler. He's kind of weak. That's last guy. Our anarchy's up. Nice. All dead. One up. Lag right now. Hysteria. I'm glass now. He's glass. Hysteria. He's half up. One hit on glass. I got our front base, top, middle, and our car. Good job. I'm getting shot in the back of the car, I think. I died. Sword's down under the base. Couldn't find it. Sword's down. On their base, on our base. We might have sword. We might have sword. Anarchy's one hit their glass, dead. I shot me, I shot me. Oh, one's their kneeler, guys. One's their kneeler. We're ahead. On their pink, they're pink. Glass, black glass. Pink, pink, pink. Watch face, someone watch face. Hit it face, dead. Three spawn. Put my car in the back. Three of them. Anarchy's weak. Our slide weak, guys. Our slide. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. Our slide's still one hit. Our slide's still weak. I'm trying to get to you guys. You lie on me, Nade. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Nade will hit their needles. 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 Still bottom middle somewhere. Anarchy. I don't know. One hit. One shot or two. Three down. Three down. They're flying. They're flying. Keep the energy, guys. I'm moving up. On their side, weak. Or on their P2, P2, wall, she weak. I hear that. I hear he jumped. That. He's up. He's up there. Might be car. Might be car. One shot their pink. One shot their pink's right now, needed. Under the base. Nice. Two dead. Another one. I looked at our P. I'm in the sword. P2 awesome. Our car side as well. Give me a few seconds. Our flag, top mid. Look at it. Our one's my mate. Our needle is full. One hit on our base. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Force and bomb. We have bomb. Car is clear. Force the pink, force the pink. Bomb, draw. Right. Swamp you one, guys, swamp you one. Yep, yeah. Uh, one. P1, P1. Bottom middle's weak, middle's weak. Kill the stairs. Another one, P1. P1, P1 one, Eric. One dead. Glass, glass. Glass, they're Eli. Walsh. 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 I got one. Walsh, their car pocket. Walsh, one hit, car side. He's one hit, the Gandhi Walsh. Gandhi Walsh. Around their Gandhi Walsh. So they're. The stereo one hit under the base. The stereo one hit under. Stereo, watch out under the base. They're bubble, they're bubble. I got a stereo. One swamp. And under, uh, yep. They're needle. They're pink. I don't know where they're at. Anarchy, they're bubble. On their flag, anarchy. On their nice. window, damn. Yeah, I'm gonna run this in. Yeah. The tunnel, tunnel. No, the my weak. Two under the base, lifting up. One two, two under air. I got one. Inside. Lift it up, lift it up. I got him. I got him. I got two. Bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, yeah. One. yeah, yeah. One's their kneeler, their kneeler. Nading from pink, nading from pink. I got three. Last time. Get the kills. Who's on kills? 
Alright, I got it, guys. I got it. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, one. Bottom mid, guys. Yeah. Yeah. One Looking bottom middle. Feet down. Another. Go for bomb. Uh, go yeah. for bomb. Go for bomb. I'm on hit. I'm on hit, guys. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I spawned their flag. I think I just heard him fly. Just get kills. I'm going for it. We need to kill. We need to stop. No bomb. Yeah, I'm not going for bomb. I'm going for bomb. Car three, car, car three. three. Our, our slide, our slide when you spawn. P1. Uh, under the one shot car two, Asteria. One shot car two. Car two, car two yeah. Asteria. That one hit car two, Asteria. And then our, 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 our one from base. Two, 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 two. Car. Another car. Another car. Another car. Another car. Another car. Another car. I'm going P3. I'm going P3. We're going to have to sell. Under the base. 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 I have sword. Yeah, yeah, Aaron. Under the base. Anarchy. Anarchy, their car pocket. I don't want to go anywhere. Under the base to the right, Eric. I got him. I'm bringing this bomb up. I'm bringing this bomb up. I don't see. What does car look like? Gotta be car two, guys. Gotta be car two, right? Or under. Or under. They need bubble. I can't do anything here. Uh, let's go to the other side. Another one there. 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 Another one we're arming, we're arming. I'm arming, get out, get out, get out. I died, oh no, I died of it. Into the grab. Oh, I didn't wow. see, did, did I get the pressure, guys? All good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i am Bombs, bottom center. Whatever. I'm okay, going pink. I'm looking bottom now. Pink two, weak, and they're level two. Two on two. Uh, my flag here. When they're flagging. Our side window. I right, keep up the aggression. I just fell. We're moving on. We're on. They're pink one. They're pink Oh, Anarchy's one hit. Yo, uh, pushing their street. Two of them. There's a guy at the street now. There's a guy at yeah, get the bomb, get the bomb. I got it, I got it, I got it. Three dead, three dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Watch P1's half shield. 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 P1's half Oh, they're running in the bomb tower. That is... They spawned in the bomb. Where? They're arming? Are they near it? Whatever. He's under our base. He's under our base. Yeah, we got it. Bomb, rock. Oh, yeah. Bomb, rock. Our pink one, our pink one. Our pink one, we cut, Ben. Look at P1. Uh, they're level two from car. Oh. Another one. Right now, we. Three, 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 three. They have a bomb in front of our car. Energy, one shot now. Energy's down. Sword is down. He's dead. I'm going for sword. Part two, he's got sword P3. I think he's got sword P3 naded, I think, bro. I don't see him. I naded him. They're near. He won weak naded. He's gonna have sword volley. They're pink now. Stereo there, guys. I'm sneaking bomb. I'm sneaking bomb. They're black. I'm sneaking bomb. Aaron keeps their car bucket one hit, go keep bucket. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I hear you. Trying to help you. Pick two, pick two. Warming. No one there, no one there. One hit, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Three down, last one, last one, Walshie. Last one. He's P2, he's P2, he's P2, he's P2. We can see the scoreboard currently one to zero and is in favor of your red team carbon right now. Snakebite up top, getting behind two. That is going to pave the way for another bomb coming in. Two a lead here, DMAC, with five minutes to go. You got to think this is an opening win here for carbon as long as they can hold on. They're going to push me. They're bubble. They're bubble. Final boss had control pretty early on. And carbon got control when it mattered most. Later in the game, they never gave up a score. This is kind of what I expected to happen in this season. You know, no surprises here. You know, maybe some surprises early on in the tournament bucket, but by this time, I kind of know the rhythm. Anarchy, stay spot, stay spot, Anarchy. I thought 
A little difference in the intensity on the comms, and you can hear the celebration from the red team. That's four down. You go for one more spawn cycle. Unless there's a clutch play like that, Dave comes from under the base. He's alive for three seconds, and he manages to stick the bomb carrier to stop the plant. Hysteria can't repeat for the performance, but it looks like that bomb is still out, and it's still not down. Will this stay 2-0? Yes, it will. Final boss is still in it, but only 4-10 to play with. Oh, you know, that was a fantastic save, and that actually might end up meaning something. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to base. Level 2. That's it. Mr. Hadbat, I saw people in the chat asking, who is that? That's enabled. You remember the young man later joining status quo throughout his career, but all kinds of different teams throughout his early days. One of the most successful Halo players of all time. And then he went on to score even more cash in Call of Duty, and now he just carries around a Gucci X-100 Thieves bag. Love to see the collab. I don't know how he got one, but I'm a little bit jealous, Nate Shot. Just telling you. Here we go with 320 to go. Our blue team is continuing to surge forward. But at what cost? They are met in the base time and time again, whether it's sniped down from pink or snake snake bite under the base. They have just been punishing. This looks like a good opportunity finally, maybe for this final boss squad with three down. Can they get a plant? I don't see the objective moving up. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, this doesn't seem yeah, like we're we're enough momentum here. We're happening here, Pucky. Right? Hmm. I'm still thinking about the Gucci bag. Yeah, right? Yeah. What? I kind of want one. I definitely want one. I don't, when, did, I just, when did Gucci think it was cool to start collabing with gamers? Because I'm here for it. That is the crazy thing. When I saw that, I'm like, man, mate. Car three. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, dude, boot in the window. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. the, the and that's how hooks are in the chat. I gotta give a shout out to some of the old heads here. A lot of brothers were in the pro circuit. Uh, Hoaxer is here. Oh, I remember, was always a guy going deep in the free for alls. Didn't really go too far in the team games uh, outside of the top eight, rather. Um, but after this, he kind of started a, a content creating career and has been one of the big faces in the Halo scene. So great to have him with us. Oh, once again. Almost being armed right now by Snipe Down, but again, it's the plasma grenades from Dave causing problems as the desperation plays will keep it 2 0. But you're down to a minute 47. This is where the perfection to needs to come through. And oh, Nabel, with the finish, will make it a 3-0. No chance for final boss as Carbon takes game number one. Dude, that stop was... Yeah, that looked like a dominant one. That bro. looked like something people expected early on. It didn't happen. It looks like they found their rhythm a little bit. Both <laughs> and enable he the ones to drop 35. You didn't expect that. If you're looking at the lineup compared to Snipe Down and Snake Bite dropping 29. So, hey, 28 kills, not a bad game of Halo Bomb. You're playing for 15 minutes, 120 kills across four players. I love to see it. And if you're thinking Carbon might be the favorite in this one, you might be right here with DMAC because you guys called it. I did not. I thought Final Boss was going to have the advantage here. DMAC, look at those kills. They're getting smoked, bro. They're not putting up numbers like we're seeing from the other top teams right now. We need to get more than 14 or 15 each game. Yeah, that was a bad display by Final Boss, especially if you got a captain like Walsh. And, and this is a big thing on the line for Walsh, bro. Being outside the top two in Halo 2. Doesn't you don't hear about this a long time. Walshy, he mentioned it earlier on the show. He has never been outside of the top two or not in a final. Is this going to be the event that stops him short? He doesn't have the full final boss squad, but he does have strong side with him today. He's going to be in-game coach, and they will need him for game number two. Look at him back at some of the highlights. You got some nice plays with the sword out of Hysteria. Enable, though, was on another level. 35 kills, including that triple. Also, you had 35 coming in from this man. The captain, Ghost Ayami, living up to the hype as he finds his form back from the 06 days. And I think one of the things we discounted, Puckett, is just Enable still doing this on a professional level. 
You know, it, it's not like he's not grinding. And, and so when you have a player that's in the zone, doesn't feel the heat, this is just another day at the office. This isn't something that happened 10 years ago. You know, you, you start to be like, oh, dude, okay. I don't know why I didn't call him out as a player to watch earlier. And, and again, disrespecting what he's done in the game. Only the second player to win major championships in Halo and Call of Duty and making the move over to COD and, of course, staying there where he's currently now a content creator at 100 Thieves, but showing you he still got the skill back in the Halo game and definitely a player I'm looking forward to watching on Infinite's Drop. His content has been incredible. If you haven't been following Enable, do it right now because the man has made enough cash in his competitive career, right? From here, you've got that nice base layer. I think he's going to the moon with the content plan, DMAC. That seems to be the way to get real rich in this business, like a man ninja is teaching us yeah that is the way bro what we learned is through halo there was a lot of interesting personalities enable being one of them one of the coolest kids that i met in my time i was like oh this kid is like pretty reserved and so cool and i loved his vibe right away and i'm glad to see how he's grown as an adult because now he's a man and he's like gone through several different careers one in halo one in call of duty now as a content creator and yeah it's probably going to go the same as the other two ending with the championship he's 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 walking around with some rings right rings in a fat bank account that's what we're expecting out of enable i saw a lot of people asking questions what's going on with enable's thumb well if you didn't know it enable look at your thumb right now you got that joint closest to your palm then you got a little joint around your second knuckle after that you've got a thumbnail Enable's missing that thumbnail up. He plays with a nub on his right hand, and it has never held him back. One of the best pieces was beyond the controller with Enable. Excuses, I've heard them all. It's never stopped me. It never will. Enable is a champ through and through. So is this man. He's been killing it in Apex Legends. But I felt like this guy was born to play this game, and he was born to play with the sniper rifle. Please allow Snipe Down to get to the sniper tower here on Beaver Creek. I got rockets and blue pistol. Get yeah, there's never him. been yeah, yeah. something more powerful oh, than, than snipe down. Uh, 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 okay. yeah. one, yeah. Red pistol, I got him. Yo, in Creek and on, and on uh, shotgun. Comms everywhere, and there's the power weapons, rockets in the hands of Snakebite, a little puckety, but it's all good as the kills are cleaned up. Snipe down was the one doing the damage from his left. Rocket tower. We're a little wonky in this game. Rocket, don't you agree? Yeah, they shoot late. Not nearly as devastating, but still quite effective as Nathan just found out. Oh, I got it 48. Shout out to Furion, one of the old school montage right. editors. Yeah, yeah. I believe that's the same Fury. Welcome, buddy. He's currently watching on Enable Stream. You can check out all of our streamers as well. They're live on their personal channels. Drop a sub if you're really smart to see him leading up to Infinite. His staring, though, just took down an overshielded player with a double beatdown shotgun exchange, and then he takes away the sniper rifle at the end of it. This is a huge potential turn of events here from the blue team. Where? Somewhere blue? Back of red. Yeah, this is the type of momentum shift that you're going to need. Final boss, this is like, you don't want to go down too low. Not if you're playing an objective your third game. That's a very tough position to be in. The chat is demanding catchphrases. I'm not Pickle Rick, guys. I can't just yell them on command. 14 to 14. It's a tied game as they are going back and forth every step of the way. Fuck yep, yep. Don't, don't chase Rick? them in. Look for their teammate spawning. <laughs> Uh, bro, we're gonna we're gonna watch some Rick and Morty together. Don't you worry. I'm gonna call my boy. Oh Cubs. my God, bad, bro. Oh. Up, like, I am. We're gonna we're gonna watch some Rick and Morty together. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Back red. They're gonna port or something. Oh, anarchy on your screen was able to scoop up that overshield. Naden has two players weak back and blue, but you can see they're just a little slower than what they once were back in the day. As the kills do come through, but at the cost of a teammate's life, and the rocket is going to fall into the hands of Ghost Ayani as Captain Anarchy. Oh, he looks like me out there. Yeah, again, botch rocket, but also Halo 2 nice rocket for sure. Yep. Yeah. We have rockets, right? Can't trust him. Nobody likes yeah, him. Yeah, dude. 
Nice jumping shots. Uh, I mean, the guy's just transitioning to top red base. That's all he's trying to do. Why not remove a skull on the way? I I've seen that look from snipe down before too. That's that zone snipe down. One shot top red. One shot top red. Walsy. Can we get it? Can we get it? Snipe down. Hit the body. Looking for the finish. Calls out Walshy. Meanwhile, you can see the push for the overshield. Hysteria and Walshy on top of the base. It's actually a really nice play here coming out of final boss. But until you take the sniper out of Snipe Down's hands, everyone on this map is in trouble if they show even a fraction of their character model. Like pistol or front door? Like inside blue, I don't know. Hey man, you are! Oh, made five now, fuck it. He's going neither side. He's going kill for kill now. Rockets, sniper in the hands here of your carbon lineup. It's gonna be snake bite inside. You can't miss a rocket at that range. Very smart for carbon to slow it down the way they just did, especially with the power weapons that they have. They're not worried. Ooh. That looked like a clean blood shot against Nade, and he survives yeah. with a little wiggle. Snipe down in the top left, bottom right with Snakebite, who tried to push into support. Rockets are down underneath that base, and there's only one player to challenge two up top. The good news is you still have overshield if you're Carbon, and that should be enabling Hysteria to push up top. And, and beginning of this stalemate, Pucket, they were down seven. Now they're tied up. That was a fantastic stalemate by Carbon. They did exactly what they were supposed to do when they got their power. The game down, take control, and now they're back. 30-29, it is a one-point advantage right now for final boss. Carbon wearing red in this. They took home the bomb on midship. Now trying to take a commanding 2-0 lead, but they're playing from the back foot, and they just swap spawns. Looks like we go back over to Nate, and he is leading the blue team. Is that ninja? In my ear hey boys 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 i've been i've been waiting i've been itching i was i was told the plan was to wait until losers come in the finals man but i i i, I just can't get enough i can't get enough i'm here i'm here we got it. come on boys we missed up, dude. eric grab the slime or ghost this is close man sad to see shirt up and out but uh i'm really hoping that final boss takes this game so we get a nice little game five you know what i'm saying right i'm like let's just go back and forth all the way every single match i'll hang out till midnight i know down for it. it was only a 7 a.m call time for them on the west coast 100 percent dude they're all fine they're gonna be fine i know let's get them like a mcdonald's sandwich we're good to go here's the push to the back of the back you're gonna find four red bodies and there's an easy double give me your sniper right for the triple. Oh, and it's... oh, you had OS? You gotta hit that, bro. Come on, bro. Don't back down. Wow. We're not taking the game that serious, are we? Wow. Nate is still gonna be able to put up a spree before oh. wasting the remaining ammo, but that's what we needed to see out of this final boss lineup. Now a five, make it seven kill advantage. They're within eight of taking game number two and tying this up. Where's the sniper? Do we get that or? It's gonna be very. They're gonna have to try to throw this game. That's that's where they're at right now. Yeah, basically. They don't even need to go yeah. up into this point. They were up 28 21, and then it was 29 29. So they could mess it up again. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's happened before. Oh my god, they needed rockets down. Yeah. I told you it could happen again, especially when you see Carbon get some power weapons. They have great control. I don't know. Especially, you get one sniper in the hands of Snipe Down. I think this game just is tied up again. In the meantime, yeah, does Snipe Down have a sniper right now? I don't. Oh, he's, he's waiting on it. He's waiting for it. It's like Dude, they're giving up the gear. Yeah. You're That's going funny. against Walshy here, though. I think Walshy knows exactly what is coming up as well. And you can see there is someone in the dark sniper. Do they invest the rockets across the map? Halo 2 rockets not nearly effective at this range. You can easily dodge them. And they're forced to move in on this OS. This is going to cause carbon big. And Walshy, I called it. He's the one to cause problems. Oh, man. Nice double cover from Snipe down, though. He's defending it, man. Two rockets are wasted, though, which is absolutely huge okay, still. Man. Oh my god, they're trying to take him out. Makes him drop it, but that's a win, too, right now. Completely off the map. 
Oh, but Mr. Hadbat is trading out there, and any trade is a win for Final Boss, who is just two away. Snipe down, running out of time. The Rockets are now overshielded here, but you gotta get that kill before Hadbat falls. Kosiami missing wide right. It's gonna cost his teammate. And let's be honest, that last fight didn't have the most impact on this game, but that just seemed to be the way things were going for Carbon. Final Boss with a slight edge, and Nated reaching his peak form, dropping eight. 18 with just 10 deaths he was on fire and he did most of that work with the battle rifle before securing the power weapon steam mac yeah that was that was really really great by final boss at the end because they got caught earlier in the game basically in the same position and they messed up so learning from their mistakes midway through the game fantastic move they made it a series puck it i guess it's up in the air again Okay, our predictions are, I don't know if you missed this, Ninja. Yes, but he picked Final Boss. I, I picked FB. Carbon. He picked Carbon. Okay. He's cheering for the underdog. I'm I, cheering I for the it. legends. Right. Dude, I think that, I honestly think that Nated, Nated's on Carbon, right? Or no, 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 he's on uh, FB. Yeah, he's on and Final Nate, Boss with Walsh. Yeah, yeah, I honestly think that they can win this, man. And the reason I say that, like, if you know Nated, I mean, Nated Scott, you know, he averages like 600 viewers. There's a lot of Nated fans that are probably watching the stream yep. right now. And if you watch Nated, the fact that he hits the triple kill, has overshield left, and runs away from the kill tack to continue to keep the sniper control, and then hits Ghost Ayami top arc, like, dude, he's in it to win it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's not, he's zoned in, he's focused, he's playing for the win, he's not playing for clips, and that is a scary Nated. I'm with you illegible and everyone else in the chat i see i love watching great halo can you guys imagine the glory we are going to be witnessing here in just a few months a new halo is dropping and even if that one fails me i still got this one to come back to every 15 years the halo 2 throwback has been an absolute blast alongside dmac and ninja if you guys weren't around in 2004 2005 2006 let me catch you up this guy in the middle he's now a stand-up comedian but back in the day he was one of the fiercest pistols in new jersey right he didn't have a brain <laughs> but he could three you like no other his Halo 2 skills, well, let's just say his BR was like mine, but his power-up control was way better. DMAC eventually got scooped up into the commentary booth, and D, honestly, looking back, those were our glory years, and we didn't even know it. We got paid to show up on ESPN Friday night, ESPN Saturday night, just sit in that booth, party with Sundance, Nexi, and Farouk, and just enjoy some of the greatest Halo we have ever witnessed. Yeah, it was beautiful times, and I grew to the person I am today because of those times. And I think a lot of kids out there that went to those events, not even necessarily worked at those events, could say the same thing. Where it's like, dude, those were very formidable, and I didn't even realize at the time how formidable they were. Mm -hmm. And so it's beautiful to have been part of this. It's like, I don't take it lightly. Us OGs, we know who we are. And it's like, love is shown throughout you know, ninjas coming through, showing love to the OGs. And that's like, it's a beautiful thing, man. Halo community, what more could you ask for from life? Well, Ace just said it. Uh, I think we all are waiting for the closing DMAC freestyle, which would always await for us on uh -oh. Sunday nights of the events. You know, we'll, we'll save it for later, DMAC. I'm not going to throw you under the bus live like that. Uh, but. <laughs> Ninja, were you ever able to witness the glory that was the, the DMAC freestyle? Because he would just go out outside of the hotel God. lobby and take on any challengers. They would come yes. out of, like, Connecticut or Colorado trying to take on my yes. Jersey boy. Yes, <laughs> dude, one time, one time. It was in Orlando. I want to say it was in Orlando. Uh, so there were, pine, there were not pine trees, uh, palm trees. That's all I know. I remember it was a Halo 3 event, and it was lit as hell, bro. It's so good. Oh, so good. So many great memories, so many great players still in wow. our tournament as we get back to the games here shortly. Yeah. Uh, Ninja, I got to ask about the comms, though, because you've had great comms on every team, every squad you've ever played with, no matter what that title is. How do the comms in Halo compare to what you've seen in other titles? And does Halo have the best comms of any game? Are you willing to say it? Because I think yeah, no, totally. if you look at that core group of the early days, yes, we all made the same call out three times, but we arguably had the best communicators out of any game because you needed a teammate when battle rifles were involved. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, I think that especially when you're talking about just how much was going on, right? I, in in the, like such a quick 
pace. So the fact that Call of Duty had a lot of quick kill time has meant that the call-outs weren't nearly as, like, I don't know, like, necessary, right? One person can literally kill three people in a matter of, like, two seconds if, you know, if he if he just hits a good flank. Whereas Halo, there's just so much more communication, longer times to kill, and, of course, like, the objectives are crazy. So communication was everything. Um, and I've played, dude, I've played Valorant. I've played, uh, you know, not competitive League of Legends, but I've played almost every single type of game. And the level of communication that you need uh, in Halo it definitely surpasses, I would say, probably every other esport, honestly. It's pretty good. I, I almost got him to commit hard there, guys. Ninja, I'm trying <laughs> to throw you under the bus. You are you're untrappable, <laughs> man. No one can stop this hero out. Well, I'm just waiting on the game like you are, chat, and I'm super fired up to show you where we are going next. We've got another round of midship coming up. We've got so many more games to go. We showed you an objective. We showed you a team slayer. More objectives Amazing. coming up after the break. A quick break right now. When we return, it's Ninja, it's DMAC, it's Final Boss, and Carbon. What year is it? It doesn't matter. It's Halo 2, baby. Came in with the what's that? Left out with the who she? Laying game like 2D. I be kicking like Bruce Lee. Okay. Margarita to the brim tip. Black denim need a slim fit. Yeah. Same people that I flex with be the ones that I'm in the gym with. I'm a living legend. You a dead cause and I'm dead. No, I'm dead, right? Leaving early, but I'm here night. Long and short to keep the head right. Teed up out in Malibu. Got sand all in my good shoes. Press it with the pessimism, but I only came for the good news. I am the show that they came for. Hitting the target I aim for. We've been discussing the contract. Just telling they get what they pay for. I am not with poverty. Really, it started to bother me. I need the yacht with the property. They come with the view that you gotta see. Came up from the basement, hit the rooftop with a passion. Bad with some good credit and a good sense for the fashion. Dope blowing with the left hand, gripping with the right hand. Over share to the airport, I'ma hit you back with my flight. Hey, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'ma flick up. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow I just stay up. favorite flosser alongside dmac and pocket we are coming back with halo 2 ninja there he is buddy ready to rock again we got final boss we got i had to fit it in somewhere in here uh ninja I'm, I'm pumped we were just talking about it during the commercial break like if we could just have this in our life once a month yep. every two months yep. wouldn't the whole earth just be a happier place yes yeah, it actually would, man. I, I can't. Like, I've just been 
like my heart is smiling like all day today. I've been super excited. Like my, my cheeks hurt. Uh, and I, and my face cheeks hurt, uh, <laughs> because I said, <laughs> cause I know, cause I've just been smiling so much, man. And just thinking about these legends coming back, playing all day, getting amazing Halo 2 action, bro. I, I, I agree. I need this. I, I just got roasted by the chat. Uh, somebody called me soldier one eight seven looking like mother pocket. Uh, and then I, <laughs> and then I remembered team classic from halo three legend pimps. Uh, if you had a soldier, you had classic back in the mix. And I was like, yo, this, this squad fear, excuse me, was there fourth. This squad was so fun to watch. And then I remember like those guys came up the same way needed and legit did just no names that are all of a sudden on everybody's radar. And it's, it's so good to just be with you chat as we are going through these nostalgia rolls, bringing back all kinds of memories today, though, we get a chance to see legit continue in action. He's going to be on team Illinois in our championship match. They're waiting on the winner of this battle where you'll see Nated on team Walshy taking on ghost. Yami snipe down snake bite and a enable raw knotted up after one apiece the objective game crushed by team ghost yami and carbon the team slayer won by fault walsh and final boss so where do we go in game three dmac well well first i would like to address pucket somebody sent uh my wife sent me a picture of a comment that says why is dmac look asleep and poor <laughs> so i think that your comment was better and I had to change my T-shirt after my comment. Okay, so it's Nike, bro. And, you got strong brands on. Yeah, and, and so the way I'm looking at this team ball situation, again, it's going to come down to control. And, and if How I'm leaning towards yeah. the team, base, base. Base. Okay. they're yep. probably going to. Okay, here's the carbon captain on your screen, Ghost Yami. Legend of Midship. This just seemed to be his range. Every Halo game has its range. Every map has those gunfights that are just going to appeal to a play style or two. Ghost Yami, his midship play, it was him and Shockwave just peppering people. Not always expected to finish the kills, but he can just lay down so much damage from anywhere on the map. And he's showcasing it early on. He doesn't need to be the one finishing, but boy, he is going to be on top of the assist leaderboard at the end of this one. That was a pretty failed BXP there from from the Walsh master. Good play ball from Cal from Anarchy yeah, though. CC glitch, you know? Not, not Dave's fault. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. Yeah, this is definitely looking like it's probably going to be a, a carbon game, but uh, yeah, what were you going to say? I was going to say, how many BXBs did you whiff? Because I felt like there was nothing worse. At least with the BXR, you could keep shooting afterwards. The BXBs just got that pause, and you're just like, oh. Yeah, when you when you get the lunge, man, Halo 5 was the king of that, bro. Failed melees. There was no game worse than Halo 5, bro. Like the amount of failed lunges you would get in that game and Halo 2 anniversary. Miserable. Like there's nothing worse, especially like it's just you have, like those types of glitches, man. They can't exist in a game, right? Like it is up to 343 when when Halo Infinite comes out to make sure that there's no game breaking mechanic like that. You know what I mean? Like imagine if you're a football player and you're a quarterback and it's like, oh dude, I couldn't throw, man. I got I got right arm lag or something. It's like. Like, what? Like, there's no, you have to, like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to remove that from the equation. You can't yeah, disable yeah. a player for, like, you know what I mean? When he would have gotten the elimination because your game isn't working. I'm with you. Yo, Infinite, you heard it from Ninja's mouth. Don't let it happen again. Don't let it happen, man. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's the man from TSM, snipe down on your screen. There's no sniper rifle on this map, but as he showed you in the previous objective, he can still finish on top of the kill column. He finished with 28, I believe, last time we saw them in game number one. Let's take our screen over to the Star Slayer from Team Final Boss. It's been Nated in Hysteria, carrying the heavy weight up to this point. And Hysteria, last time we were here, he went negative 11. So I'm looking for a much stronger performance out of the guy who's doing the dirty work right now with the ball. Yeah, I think he's realized that uh, he probably has to do a lot, if not all of the work. Um, and if there's someone who could do it, man, it's Jacob. Like, I've, I've teamed with him before in Halo 2 Anniversary and, 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 and some other stuff after. And he's just phenomenal. Now, I was working Call of Duty at that point, so talk me through the H2A days. What was that game like, and how does it compare to what we're watching now in the MCC collection? Yeah. Listen, H H2A was clean, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it was not... But yeah, it was, it was a fun game to compete in. It really was. Uh, I think they did a great job with it. 
Uh, obviously, the issue of MCC in general, the launch was, you know, uh, less than, you know, desirable. It didn't work. But, yeah. But, but, it got but, eventually. but H2A was fantastic. It was, it was a pretty solid, you know. Uh, uh, Snipe Down doesn't like the melee weapons. Ah, ah, right there as the sword betrays a bottom middle. Dude, he just, he got baited out. That was a Toro session right there by the player bottom middle. That's not a glitch. That's, 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 that's the sword. You're so the sword to miss the guy below you. Yeah. 100%. And that was, uh, wow. That was hilarious. I love Eric, man. Did you guys hear him, by the way? In, in the, one of the games where it was a uh, midship bomb, when Walsy like jumped up and stuck him, and he goes, Nothing's changed, Dave. Still, nothing's still throwing grenades. <laughs> Dude, I. I <laughs> Also. Yeah, Love it, bro. Love it. These guys have been playing against each other for a decade, man. Like, think about that, dude. Oh, so crazy. Nate, it just gets fucked out of the sky. Snake bite shot. It's on right now. We picked the right screen. Shout out to our observers and everyone working behind the scenes here at Twitch Rivals. If you guys want more Halo on Twitch Rivals, do us a favor. Tweet at them. Message them on the daily. Tell them Puckett misses them because I want to do this every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah, guys. See, like, I don't, I don't, I can't remember the last time I was passionate about something like this, man, when it comes to, like, a tournament. If you guys seriously want more of this, man, like, you need to tell, like, text your buddies, it, everyone in here that's got bros you guys just play Halo 2 with, man, friends, send them a message, tell them to log in, man, let's get the viewer count up, bro, get this, get this stream shared, because, uh, nothing speaks like numbers. Nothing speaks like numbers. Great call right there. We'll be spreading the word as Halo continues to grow closer to that internet. Sounds... I think we're all expecting those numbers to rise across the board yes, here on Twitch. Yes. Let's get it. This just sound like a businessman right there. Yes, sir. It's like numbers. I like that. <laughs> uh, all right, Paul's finally down. Sword is bottom middle. Hey, let's keep this up. And you got Mr. Hadbad, aka Enable, on your screen from 100 Thieves. He's been doing a fantastic job of locking down this car side. Now, unfortunately, two of his teammates just got picked off from pink. So, ball's still bottom middle. You got to make a decision. Do you go for positioning here? Do you try and go for a player that's holding it? Well, Hysteria from pink 2 is not going to give him any options. And honestly, this is the guy who could turn the tide. With Hysteria top middle and you had Nated across the map, this is where you can start to score here as our blue team. Yeah, two dead, and knowing where a third player is, that's a guaranteed start pushing for the ball, right? You push with at least more than one person, and you're going to have a, you're going to have an advantage, right? Because one player is already weak, and you have a two v one on the other guy who's full shields. You know, you just grab the ball, and they're starting to rack up time. Good call, bucket, because yep. that was the move right there by Hysteria. Yep, I've seen it a few times. Listen, we know what we're talking about here. Ooh, he's going to get it? Good when it comes true, like when it actually happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain didn't fail me. No, this is how it used to work. Oh, that's a full white from Carbon right there. Let's go, boys. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me. Yeah. Red, you're Eli, red one. Oh, you just heard. Is that Bravo? Bravo comes? Where is that? Yeah, is this Andy Cozy? What the heck? Hold up, hold up. Leave them there. Leave them there. Hold on. Do not push Trigger's down hey. coach oh, yeah, has broken here. into the $150,000 tournament ninja. I mean, as the contributor here to the prize pool, is this legal? I'm gonna let him allowing him. He's, He's allowing it. Sword hair Bravo. Dude, that depends. If it's sword hair Bravo, I'll allow it. If it's sword hair, beefy as hell, Jack Bravo, who got set to the top. He makes me nervous. The red flag. Red card, red card. Hey man, you gonna add 100k? The coaches gonna end up coming. <laughs> Dude, how crazy is that, bro? Hey, listen, you know when that 100k was added, someone texted Andy and was like, "Get in here, I get in here." No, Bravo, quit whatever you're working on. We need you. Whatever you're doing, of course, Bravo. I, I bet it was Ghost Yami who who made some calls too. We'll, we'll find out exactly who bought the Bravin, but you already got strong side here, Coach and Walshy on final boss, so I feel like it's only fair to give Carbon and Bravo, right? I mean, oh, we gotta, sure. we gotta get strong side of Mike. Though, you know what I mean? He's just sitting behind Dave. It's true, it's true. It's true. It's true. Andy is joining this from, you know, he's in the call. Hey, man. Final boss started it. Carbon perfected. <laughs> 
And I was just told uh, Triple X, the former coach of Team Carbon and Stray Rippin, is coming out of retirement here to finish this tournament if Carbon makes it to the grand final. Sorry, Bravo, you're going to be out of a job. Snakebite on your screen, taking on Nated. He's going to win that, and that's going to score at least 10 seconds of ball time. Nice job to clean up Walshie from P3 first. That was the power position you had to worry about. Now you've got control of the base. you got a player over on car. One player trapped underneath you. This is a nice setup here for the Red Squad. Guys, yeah, so dude, anyone, you yeah, get a guy P3, yeah, you're usually in a good spot, but absolutely down dominated from I'm old man Walsh. Not Hands even taking work. out all his shields, man. Look at that. Gonna drop One down, week. take out Ghost uh, Ami too. They gotta start uh -oh. racking up time though, man. That was three dead and they still aren't racking up time. Yeah, there was a second player down there to help out Walsh uh, last second, but it wasn't enough. Nated, last one up here for final boss. Meanwhile, the objective is gonna be scored here by Carbon Snake by rotating it over to Carbine's side. And honestly, I don't know who it is on Car's side, but I gotta give him a little bit of flack. It was snipe down in a position to help out a a little bit more than he could and after they lost their pink control snipe down should have been pushing in to help out that objective instead we go to final boss once again while she's sitting up top bubble he's got snipe down below the base and they do have the obj control very rarely is over slaying a bad thing an objective very rarely but when it comes to time-based objective that's where you can get outslayed by 30, 40 eliminations and lose. Honestly, it's, it's just getting the important kills. You got to kill the guy yes. closest to the ball, right? After you do that, then you can start peppering shots across the map. Exactly. It's impact frags. Red car, red car. Yeah, they're on blue, blue, blue. Just nailed. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to pull away. They're going to ball right now. I'm balling now. Five minutes remain, the difference in score, 10 seconds. It couldn't be tighter here in the middle game of the best of five. This is our loser's bracket finals. Reminder, winner of this is going on to face my Ace, Maniac, and legit a $48,000 first place prize. That's gonna be 12K per person and a year supply of Doritos available to all of our winners tonight. Oh my God, man, let's go. I hope that they're staying warm too, you know? Sitting in the finals. That's always a, that's always a factor when you're when you're in the winners finals. So you're just in uh in finals finals, right? Ooh, yeah. I'll be honest. They've three would everybody. I want them to come in cold. I want to close yeah. finals. They true. Been too hot, bro. True. Oh my god. Hey man, people have gotten old. It's been a long day. Maybe a nap is the thing that can keep them going. <laughs> We'll see imagine, we imagine they are all Blue taking like a 30 week. minute hour no, nap while this series is going. Pink two, pink two, pink two, hysteria week. Hysteria, week. hysteria, hysteria comes <laughs> running and gunning a hot four on a navel. Meanwhile, red team still scoring underneath. It's a one point difference as Carbon has taken the lead for the first time in the last 10 minutes. And we're down to our final four. I heard that after Ninja added the 100k, all the tires are blue, blue one, blue bubble, and red. We can go sky blue one. Seal.com. Great people. They come massage your feet no matter what city you travel to, DMAC. <laughs> Uh, I actually went to a Beachland one year and everyone lost their mind when I called in a masseuse. I was like, listen, dude, I'm getting migraines, my neck, my back hurts. I, I need to treat this. Hour later, back up into full form, right back on the chill out. That's the play. Swords down in the in the uh, cubby. Swords down in the cubby. That's an adult Halo Land move right there. All right, 222. Yes, it is. And on the clock. Nated's on ball. Nated has ball. Red one. Oh, come on, man. I want Nader. You guys have no idea how bad I want the wall and Nader to win this. I'm running this to blue. But Dave, they might be spawning pink side blue. Yeah, it's kind of awesome too that Walshy reminded us. Nader and Walshy played together on Carbon. This was shortly after Dave broke away from the Twins. And there was a lot of speculation on whether or not they would have success. They brought in one of the most aggressive lineups I remember. And Nader had a pop-off event as they scored into the top four. Taking our screen back over to Hysteria. He's chasing the objective, but ball is down. 2.30 remain and still just a 10-point advantage. It's climbing now for Team Carbon. This is the largest lead we have seen in the last six minutes. Yeah, push me, push me, run. I think they're gonna run away with this, man. They have, uh, they have final boss trapped it. Car right now. They're somehow letting them travel down to bottom mid. 
which is blowing my mind. But oh, look at the hated dude. So aware, bro. Gets shot two times and knows that the guy shooting him is one shot instantly challenges and keeps him one shot. And stays alive. Snipe down, gets out with his life. Killing spree, unlocked. They're bringing the ball back to him. Great comms here. And the two players up, you need to make that call. And actually, I just saw a player top middle. So an aggressive play at the end of this one from Carbon, and that allows Captain Anarchy to sneak in here. Takes down the ball carrier. It's final boss scoring. Oh my god, this is down, down to the wire, boys. This is a massive one. We want to get frag grenades too. Taken out, dude. Walshy got him, man. Let's go, baby. Snake fight gonna play ball it though, and they're still spawning pink. What are spawns? It's crazy. Still a good trade. That's three days. Enable. He had the glue for the spawns, man. They just kept popping up. Oh, survive. Causing problems, but yes, you mentioned it. This was the key play. The man from Taxi Driver, Mr. Captain Anarchy, holding on to that objective, and they're within five points. Finally, Snakebite stops the scoring. Naded's inside, but Snakebite's gonna fall at his hand. So now ball down, 55 seconds left to go. This one's gonna come down to the wire, DMAC. Who do you got coming out on top? My heart racing, bro. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like it's going FB. Oh my god. Three down. Two down on each side. Red ball. Red takes the lead. sense of. Wow. This is Carmen with the last minute comeback again. We have traded the lead three times. Hey, this is not like 12 years ago. You gotta jump off with that, man. I got the game, right? Oh, no. Go see how he scooped it. There's time to win here. Three dead for red. Nice game. Let's go. Time, You're right. Gun. Bottom right scoreboard it continues only for the red team. Blue stops scoring as Captain Anarchy wow. falls despite a late run there from final boss. Carbon holds on. They take the lead in the final three minutes. They give it up once and then steal it right back, D Mac. Wow, man. Look at Nate. Okay. Like, look, I found top of a 39 bomb showing exactly who he is in that type of situation. Yo. Just like the game you described before, Pucket, a nail biter between final boss on carbon, ball midship, we see it before. Can I get someone to IP check Sundance DG Avani in the chat? That can't be the real MLG Sundance, is it? Sonny, if it is, no much way. love, brother. The reason all three of us are here today are the co-founders of MLG in the building tonight, Ninja. And Sonny, if you're just joining us, I don't know if you heard this, but Ninja, he heard about this $50,000 prize pool. He tripled it. He dropped a hundred thousand dollars and a hundred subs per player. We're getting lit okay. here in Halo 2. Ninja, has it been a good day or what, bro? Hey, it hasn't been a good day. It's been a great day. And it's just getting here's the crazy thing. It's just, it's just getting started, man. We're almost at the grand finals. And I'm honestly expecting another nated pop-off game. We're going to game five. I'm calling Ooh. it now. Another native pop off. I'm ready for it. Here's a look at our breakdown from the free for all. We had Elon Might Warrior finishing top of the captains. Top four finished with 1,200 bucks all the way down to 16 points. Everyone made money. And then, of course, we played Big Team Battle, where you scored some serious cash, regardless of which side of Blood Gulch you played on. Coagulation, same stuff. In the 44, though, this is where 80% of the prize money is going to break down. $3,000 per player there for straight ripping. They're out of the running but we're still deciding who's moving on to play for that first place. $12,000 and the year supply of Doritos. $150,000 event with 120 right here for a 4v4. Highlights before we get into game number four. Looking back, this was needed. Picks up the double. Gets high ground a little bit later in pink three. Well, peekaboo snipe down another double on the other side of the map, though. Snipe down for Team Carbon has been red hot. It doesn't need to be a snipe rifle for him to dish out damage. He did it with the BR all game long, and he finished around 29 kills. Very tight finish, though, DMAC. This one was back and forth, back and forth. Both teams with a few objective mishandles, but also some huge slaying plays like we just saw in that triple from Captain Anarchy. Yeah, this is a much closer series than I thought it was going to be. I don't think I was giving final plus top respect. 
that they can easily dominate this next game. This could and should go to game five. Very easy to match. Final boss's only win yeah. was that game two on Beaver Creek, and it was still a tight one, which is three kills separating the two squads. Now we go to CTF Warlock, and we need final boss to win this to see Team Slayer Sanctuary. You know I want a game five. I've always wanted him on the MLG main stage. Why not do it here for Twitch Rivals? Dude, I think that honestly, there's more, isn't there, there's more history, right? More experienced players on final boss right now from Halo 2, right? Would you say overall? Because Snipe Town yeah, was like. I, I mean, uh, Anarchy's so. one of the day oneers. Yes, uh, yes. Walshy day Walshy. zeroer. Yes. And then you had Hysteria, Hysteria. come in and towards the end of 2005, 2006. That's why I think that they can win Warlock right now. Warlock Black. Compared to Snipe Town, who came a little bit late toward the end side of Halo 2. Enable as well was the Halo mm. 3 Shiner. I think that the Warlock OGs, I think that even if they might get out slay, they'll find a way to run the flags back enough, understands the spawns well enough to be able to win this game. I like that call. Wow. This Warlock map is that's, all about getting wisdom, free down. Ninja. Yeah, right? It's not just the shot, D-Mac. Warlock can be fast and furious, and it's all about clutching up. Um, I wonder, are we going to see... You can toss it onto the base yourself, right? Yes. Are we going to see any alley hoops? I, I want to see some oh, of yeah, these on. back in the day. Because those were the cleanest two. transitions. When you had, like, Saiyan tossing it up to Ogre 2, and then Ogre 2's putting it in as Saiyan has already teleported, putting shots in the spawners. That's the level I want to get back to here for Final Boss. Yeah, bro, I want to see some synchronized flagging. That was my favorite sport in Halo, okay? When people are running that beautifully, that's what I like to see. So let's see if it gets done. Yeah. Shout out to Fish Slays in the chat. Puckett met you at Orlando 2008. I thought you were Sundance. LL, you played CE with us, took our money. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Nated here on your screen took a lot of money from the Halo kids. $2,005 are his career earnings. Member of Storm Ventures, of course, perfect storm with extremist. He didn't need the big names in the game to finish on top of the podium. He did eventually, though, with Agency and Carbon, two of the squads he's best known for. Fun fact, though, he's been a runner up in every single Halo title. And that is a ridiculous stat to have here, D Mac. How many second places can you rack up before you just give up on the franchise? I mean, bro, $205,000 worth of second places is a lot of second places because there was not a lot of money in Halo at that time. So my man was frustrated. <laughs> you know, like. Damn, that's that's a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. I feel for him, and after seeing that stat, I hope he wins. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's kind of funny because on the other side of this, you've got a Nabel who is kind of also a uh, longtime silver medalist. <laughs> uh, so somebody, somebody's got a chance to earn another silver tonight because I'll be honest, neither of them are beating agency the way their teams are playing yet. But this is arguably the tightest match we are going to see in the tournament. And we're going into a game for with Carbon now on match point. Ninja, you, you mentioned Nate, it's fun to watch. He's been around. We've yeah. now seen his career. But what do you think is the best part of the guy's gameplay? How would you describe him to someone who has never watched him compete in this Halo scene? Um, dude, he's like a he's like a firework. You know what I mean, dude? You, you, you don't want to set him off, okay? Because if you do, he's going to blow up. And it's going to be pretty to watch. It's a pretty blow up, right? You can show it up in the back. Uh, he's going to so explode all over the enemy. And I mean that strictly as a firework. So everyone get your head out of the gutter. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's I think that's what we're going to watch right now. We're starting off with obviously the man that made the legend slayers. himself, uh, the Walshinator. Already two dead. They didn't run the flag. Go Look at that objective, man. He's just chilling. Did not go through. Dave's calling it. Snake bite's not chasing. He had half health, but the flag was still killed. That's the problem with running the flag that direction. If you go right of the base, you can still be shot through the bottom middle tunnel. I believe that's how this map worked. Uh, Nated, though, coming fresh off the spawn and dishing out some kills, but snipe down here for Team Carbon is bringing this flag up, and that one will be the first of the game as it's scored by Snake bite. That was quick, y'all. <laughs> well, uh, we plant, we plant bottom mid. We plant. I guess I was wrong. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. 
Just shut up for the rest of this match. No, <laughs> it looked good for Final Boss early, but it did, it did, it did, it did. with a quick counter there. That was a really good counter cap, man. And that's dude, that's, that's the beauty, man. I love no. games so much. Was that a blank melee? Okay, so Hysteria was clowning him, right? Uh, yeah, Snakebite put in the first three shots. Hysteria's one shot. Forces Snakebite to overcommit. Teammates put enough shots into him that Hysteria hits the melee, wins the kill. And now we see them in an opportunity to score. But you got the camo in the hands of Ghost Ayami and DMAC. You play Wizard, there's four power-ups. Here in Halo 2, it was just this camo on the map, and if you played it right, you can make some serious objective plays. Not so easy to get away, though, against this level of pro player. Uh, and not quite the camo that we saw in Halo 1. I wouldn't say it's a true camo, so it was harder to get away with stuff. But yeah, yeah. Maybe when your brightness was to turn on 100, you could get away with it in Halo 2, but not that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy to spot camo, but uh, we saw Naded, like his, his shields were completely regenerated, right? The easiest way is when they're regenerating shields, there's like the yellow, you know, glow that pops off around you, you stick out like a sore thumb. But like, he was fully, fully shielded and Naded just instantly spotted him hiding bottom. Like that's... He's like, bro, we know where you're at. Hey, I see you, bro. Oh, like, four are up, and this flag is moving here for Carbon, guys. This could be the second capture. Snipe down with spawn camping. He's waiting for the port. No shields and taking his time. Now, this was a smart play. Ghost is uh, going to wait for those shields to come up to put it in. Don't want to risk the headshot, and that's a 2-0 lead now. Yep, we're three down. All dead. All dead. They're playing real clean. All dead, though. Let's see if they can do it. Get a nice okay. trap. You want to get them in the side base, right? You always want to try to force them. Yep. You want to play top middle. You want at least a player to the left and the third on a portal as the fourth runs your flag. That was the ideal setup back in the day, and you can see it was working early, but Captain Anarchy top middle not seeing any targets. They're still going to try and force this one home for the blue team, but I don't know if this is the right decision. Over commitment on the objective when they get excited. You got to know when to just put it down and go for the sleigh. Yeah, I think that's what he tried to do. It, hysteria definitely looks like his sensitivity has kind of got him killed a couple of times. Oh, I got nib. He wasn't even able to throw the flag into a good spot because he was trying to turn and look at the guy bottom mid. Right. Had bad goes down top middle. Captain Anarchy and Native coming off spawn with success as they find some early kills. That was three down for the red team. So Walsh and final boss should be able to take high ground control here. And as long as you got two BRs on every spawner, you have to think you got a great chance of closing in on this objective. Where is the support though? You got the two teammates coming off the of spawn. Wait for Native to get there. It looks like they're prioritizing the camo and this is the right guy to get it. This is exactly what I was talking about, man. Nate tried to throw a nade yeah, there, but he didn't have, have it. to be like aggressive with camo in this game. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, one, one, two. Oh my god. The BXR to the belly button. You got to aim up a little bit higher. And Nate is going to be kicking himself for that. That was the last player in their way of scoring. Shotguns out for snake bite, but two beatdowns from Hysteria is bigger. The blue team. They're battling out of their base, but they're still down two, and we only have ten to go left in this CTF. They look clean, man. They honestly look like they're, they're getting control, they're getting the slaves, but they just can't seem to, to maintain, and I'm sorry, can, to contain the spawns of Carbon, right? Like, they get, they get the eliminations, they get about three down, sometimes even all four down, and then they start to pull, they pull the flag, and then instantly someone's already rotated. Oh my god, nice double kill. Yeah, he, he made up for that BXR right there. That was so clean, bro. Do you see that? Dude, the dual wield, the jousting BXR, where both players, without speaking a word, are like, are you ready? I'm not gonna shoot. We're both BXRing one another. Let's see who's gonna win. Let's go, bro. I love no that. No cheating, no early shots. This camera's coming up every minute, and this has been a second one in control here. Of your final boss squad, Flag trying to run to the left. Camel's gonna stay alive, gets repositioned high ground, but they don't have a number of kills yet in the feed. There's three opponents all hunting for this return. The Camo score, though, is another great use here of the ability, and they're gonna put it in to take this one 2 1. Still trailing, the final boss has had all the momentum. Our needle's got shot, stick by. Like, FB did I mean, a good I mean, job uh, respond, I mean, especially by I mean, getting I mean, those camos. I mean, we just, though. Yeah, yeah, they're flat right now. Inside bottom mid and top mid. 
Just, just over him as the flag goes out. Oh, Anarchy oh, doesn't get the return. Snipe down on your screen, and he's looking for Nated. Got two shots in his back, helping out with Walshy. Team shot is here as Carbon, just like that, they rally it forward. This is going to get tossed up. Can they score it in time? And Nable gets behind the wall with one shot to go, and we'll put it in a 3-1 game, back up to a two-objective lead. Carbon in total control. Final boss looks like they make these opportunities, but they spend so much effort when Carbon's able to just get it done with the flick of a switch. It just seems like they're, I, I don't know what exactly is going on, if they're just getting all three members or four members down at the exact same time, but it definitely feels like their caps are, are a lot more flawless and a lot easier, right? It, it seems like they're not working as hard yeah. to get those flag caps. And it might have been a little more focus on the camo again. You just saw Hysteria get it. But outside of the one capture, we've seen just kind of one back smack from Nated and a failed first push. And then on that second attempt for both Nated and Hysteria, one or two kills to go with it. Maybe ignore top middle of the map and start to post up on the sides. And guys, maybe we discounted both the army. He took down final boss, you know, uh, he, like, this is a legend, a legend yeah. leader, and you put him around enough talent, he can always make a situation happen. Stereo looking for an able. Players in the grenades, they're pinned in. And Nated can't get there in time to clean up. It's Snipe Down dishing out the damage. And Kosiyami takes down Walshi. So another final boss push absolutely shut down. There is one left in the base, and it looks like he will fall. So here comes Carbon pushing out with control once again. Dude, Nated's so annoying. He killed Snakebite as he grabbed the camouflage. Now he's doing his best to stay alive. He needs help from his team. He's going to get it. Kosiyami dead flag out. And now he's also trying to get it. Look at that. He knows the spawn so well. Instantly throws the flag out again. Nated is being so annoying right now. Dude, you can hear the finally low saying he can run it. Yeah, finally they cut down Nated up top. Player down low, and Lowe's knows it's not clear yet. He's waiting for this Nated spawner. At least one more kill. Tries to go back through the portal, but there's three up on the opposing side. Two of them top middle. and Snipe down, who's coming in for the flag returning with three dead on final boss. Carbon going for another counter cap opportunity. Well, she's yeah, down. Dude, they're playing oh, so well, man. I mean, they had it, dude. They had two dead. They were playing it so perfectly. The flag was out. 57? All right. 57. And you can hear again the legend coach himself, Bravo. Their flag, their flag. The comms in the background. I see the best quote. Eli's like, I can't believe they didn't invite Brad with seven Ds. I remember this guy in the free for all. Uh, I'm like, Dragon Striker to Station 12 and Brad. Damn, this guy's got eagle eyes. Uh, uh, nice, their flag still. I'm pushing oh my guys. god, I remember that, bro. That was so... Dude, can we like, just think about that for a second? Like, I have no idea how you guys were able to structure those tournaments back in the day, bro. Excel changed my life. As soon as I learned about this program, I was like, wow, this is doable. That's crazy, man. I, literally, 256 teams, and you're calling their names on a microphone to their station. Like, what? And, and we, we thought it would be a good idea change. to rank those 256 yeah. teams by free-for-all. Like, that was that was our dumb decision. Having the yeah, free-for-all no, set up. Their name. It was their gamer team. Right. <laughs> that shit was wild. No, yeah, no government names. And uh, sadly, it is not looking good for my boys from Final Boss. You can see the scores coming in. Enable continues to improve. Press two more flag caps to go with his 25 kills. The Hat Batman is back on his game, and you'll love to see it, DMAC. And you think the Naval is taking it personally that he was picked last or no? Because uh, I think Lose he is. Lowe's was picked yeah. last. Yeah, Cap Anarchy was. Uh, Naval was second. Well, well I'm oh. saying last on his team. Good you help. Know? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I think that's what it was. You know, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's out for blood right now. Things are looking good for Team Carbon, and now we've got the agency waiting in the championship match. A CTF is done. We've seen some midship, so we're going to show you guys some graphics and break down what's coming up in front of us. DMAC, first, though, the highlights for you looking back here at Warlock, because earlier, I couldn't even remember. Is there a camo on the map? Well, the camo had some big plays, but so did just solid BRing and teamwork. Yeah, it was mostly solid VRing and teamwork for Carbon. The, and the camel 
did make a play at some point. You saw Walsh, he, here he is, he's taking control from the side, but at some point you did see Naden come through with that camo, and that, that was fantastic. It got them that one cap. Yep. But it was too much from Snakebite, man. And Snakebite and Snapdown, they were fantastic. Enable, again, it's like, these guys, they played like a team, led by Gulfiyama. They played incredible. A 20 point yes. difference in oddball, but this one, a difference of four flags, Ninja. They are looking clean as they move into our championship match. Yeah, they're so good, man. Snipe down and snake bite. Look at him, dude. This is literally a snipe down, snake bite montage. There's our watch. Yeah. And I call them, and they're just absolute monsters. Look at that. Man. Even, punch, toss, even punching the, the flag. Even punching. finish, bro. They are just alley hooping in the base as it's a 3 1 finish. Carbons, Gosiami, Snipe Down, Snake Fight Enable. Now moving on into our grand final match to take on Elmite Warrior, Ace, Maniac, and Legit. The Halo 2 throwback has our grand final ready to go, and I am all kinds of fired up. Chat, do you feel this energy, baby? Are you ready to make some noise? We're locking it up here with the final match in just a few moments. From the moment Halo 2 was released in 2004, it was clear that Earth would never be the same.
In addition to groundbreaking FPS gameplay, compelling story, revolutionary visuals, and a rockin' soundtrack, Halo 2 popularized online multiplayer matchmaking for a new generation. It's also credited with giving birth to American console esports. The game was incredibly skillful, incredibly competitive. It was this online explosion that got people to actually see that there was the potential for, you know, video game competitions. The rise of Halo 2 raised the ceilings of esports athletes, making idols out of gamers like Walshy, T Squared, Elamai Warrior, Ghost Ami, and Nated. These Halo pioneers inspired a new generation of esports phenoms. Halo in general, it takes skill, like a lot of individual skill one of whom would go on to become the biggest gamer in the world. Ninja comes from the Halo community. Quit trying to steal our superstars. Ninja's the biggest game in the world, and he came from Halo. In the zone, baby. This is what I'm in. Halo 2 transformed the worldwide landscape of gaming forever. And now, it's time to finish this fight. Hold up. Let me know when you're ready to get Dallas, I love me well enough. Just one more match to go. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Halo 2 throwback with Puckett and D-Mac. Ninja's going to be joining us in just a little bit, and we've got a good reason to celebrate, D-Mac, because after about 15 years, we all got an email. Some people got a phone call even. They said, hey, you want to get the band back together? Well, we did, and we've got Ninja here corralling us all. Not only did you bring in 16 legends from the Halo 2 scene, Ninja, you also upped the ante tonight as soon as we got them getting gaming you dropped a hundred thousand dollar bonus on him Amazing. and we're about to see one of the biggest if not the biggest prize pool matchup for a grand final in halo 2 history oh shit i didn't even think about that that's pretty lit all right like, i mean come on boys this is what we this is what we're here for okay this is how much yeah. money these guys should have been making yes. a decade ago 15 years ago right because a decade ago was like halo 3 but i'm so pumped man and honestly this finals is going to be a disgusting Taking a look at the money here, D-Max straight ripping goes out in fourth place. All the players, though, awarded 3,000 of Ninja's dollars. Third place, that now belongs to our friend Walsh and Team Final Bosses. He needed Hysteria and Captain Anarchy were just removed from the competition. But this last match decides the difference between who's walking home with $12,000 and a year's supply of Doritos or 9 k Your final two teams in the running, we got Elamite Warrior in the agency going up against Ghost Yami and Team carbon break it down for me d for anyone who missed the glory days of halo 2 tell me about these eight players i mean bro what could we say about these eight players all of them have basically won a tournament you know like this is two fantastic teams this is exactly who i thought we would see in the finals i'm so excited lots of excellent storylines and yes the brothers have cheated their way here and they deserve to be here Yes, a 3-0 sweep has been the name of the game throughout this tournament for the agency. With his very first pick, after winning the free fall out of all the captains, Elamite Warrior picks his brother. After that, he had to wait, and he was able to catch Maniac on the way back, and then adds legit a former straight ripping teammate for him as a fourth. Right off the draft, everyone in chat was saying that team is stacked. A lot of questions were on how is legit going to play. Well, it seems it only took him about three games to get back to his old form. And now they got a chance to show it going up against Ghost Ami's Carbon. That looks red hot on that 5-1 Warlock victory ninja. They're looking clean and the team to beat right now in the event. Yeah, man. This is going to be, honestly, I mean, I want now I want now I want the, I'm an underdog again, right? I mean, Carbon coming from the loser's bracket. And this is for those of you guys who don't know, we're not resetting the series, right? Yeah. So it this is, is a going to be. Decision. I, I, I had to talk with the uh, admins. Okay. I was like, listen, I know we've got a bit of a time constraint, but these pros, they've been in the position. We've all seen the reset, and we know it could just extend this for way too long. So let's just put, uh, what, $48,000 in first place on the line here for five-game series, Ninja. What maps do you want to see here in the grand finals? <laughs> I'm hoping for some more Warlock. I need a warlock. I need a lockout. Uh, Ooh, we got like, it right here. 
Tell me, tell me, let's All right. go. Team Bowl, this is exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay. This is the Ninja Top 5 game types here for our finals. We got CTF Warlock. We've got the Snipers flowing on Sanctuary Lockout. A fan favorite, especially for Oddball. Neutral Bomb Midship if needed at game number four. And if we go the distance, are we going to see another 50-49? A Team Slayer Beaver Creek is waiting for us there. And boy, I would love to see Snipe Down get another crack at that map going up against the likes of Ace and Elamite. I'm ready, man. Put me in. Okay, well, don't actually. I mean, like, can can you start the game? Chat's asking. It. I mean, bro, start it. Can, can we just say one thing though? Final boss is. I mean, Carbon is actually probably the team that's improved the most throughout yeah, this totally. tournament. I mean, they literally lost that B, and then they just literally flipped the series against them three one. Even though they lost, you know, one three against them last time, so yeah, they're on fire right now. Uh, Twitch, I know you guys already did your Duncan picks earlier in the day, but I need to hear from you right now. Let's take a look at the rosters one more time as we wait for Elmite Warrior to finish his bathroom break and wash his hands with soap. Uh, we are going to see the agency. We are going to see Team Carbon one more match. Elmite legit ace and maniac for the agency on the Carbon side. It's Ghost Yami, Enable, Snakebite, and Snipe Down. After all you have witnessed across the free for -alls, across the big team battle, across four different rounds of five game series, who do you think is going to be the team to beat? Are you going agency or are you going carbon? Right now, everyone is saying agency 3-0 from what I'm seeing here in the chat, DMAC. I don't think it's going to be a 3-0. I think we're disrespecting carbon by saying 3-0. I mean, uh, look, goes the army. Excellent leader. He's not going to let his team get swept in a final. But on the other hand, Elamite, excellent cheater. So I don't think he's going to let his team get swept in the final. So this is, it's going to be something. Taking a look here at Elamite, he kind of uh, broke out through the Halo 3 US Championship free for all. I remember there was a tournament where pro players were not allowed. Eli pretty much dominated that, became a pro player at that same event and went on to win seven MLG championships. He's the older brother to his teammate Ace in this one. And honestly, probably the most successful people to ever come out of Kentucky, that duo. I mean, yeah, bro, it's either them or some type of horse. Yeah. Secretariat so. owner is pretty rich. All right, here we go. It's time to jump into the grand finals. Enough, Phil. The party is full. The lobby is locked. It's time to lock it up. In the words of the great Farouk Taid, classic CTF here on Warlock. And we're opening things up with the captain of the agency. This is Elmite Warrior, the man behind some of the best comms we've heard all day. Inside, bottom, center. Inside, bottom, center. One shot. Got him. Yeah, man, Elamite has been absolutely out of his mind with comms, dude. Tom mid, Tom mid, weak, snake bite. Snake bite's weak, Tom mid, I'm leaving him. That's basically a triple out of Elamite. Ace stole that second one. He drops snake bite to no shields. I'm going green. No cleanup, though, and you're going to see a naval take down Maniac. So the flags are going to be safe for a little bit longer. A small slip here from the agency in the first 30 seconds, but a nice start overall. They're trying to just nade me out. Staying alive is so important, man. I'm so geeked for this finals too, Tyler. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it has been literally, dude. What a journey today, man. Seriously, like, boys, we've been we've been here for like the last eight hours. Two shots. And it hasn't felt like. I'll be honest. Not felt like. Health and flag. People always ask, like, how did you do those MLG tournaments? How did you go and just cast for 12 hours at a time? It's like, to be honest, when I wasn't in the casting booth, I wanted to watch Halo. So you might as well sit in the casting booth and throw on the microphone. We did this just for fun, and it is so good to get those same feels we had way back then, now doing a remote broadcast from our own homes. Maniac's getting the flag back to the base, Ace and Elamite still trying to escort this one in, but there's frag grenades coming from Snakebite up top. Once he's down, the objective can move, and there it goes. Elamite Warrior with the cleanup, Ace with the score, it's the agency on the board first here in the grand final. How did that happen? Flag down on the flat, and you guys let it go? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, it was. 
Triple kill. Wow. up and oh, running the OBJ. Oh, Does he go left or right? Five. It looks like his teammate to the left oh, just fell. Oh, so this oh, is going to be a tough oh, finish here on the flag. Drop the objective. Go for another oh, round of slaying. Seems to be the game plan. Good shots on Snakebite as well as Snipe Down. But both players survive. And with Snakebite now the last one up, he's got a clutch. Can't do it. Flag number two should be coming in. Do you see the damage, bro? The amount of damage that he's done so much before he goes down. He literally got sniped down one shot, backed him off. Then he got three shots into snake bite, bottom mid, while tossing the flag up top. He literally got two players, one shot, and moved the flag. That is so much light. Like, so much worth of a life. You know what I mean? One respawn, one of your spawns, you do that much. And then some. It's incredible. Ace is so good, bro. They're already up 2 0, man. This is going to be. This might be a sweep, boys. Yeah, this is trouble for Carbon as well. That back to back cycles of three down at a time. What does that tell you? It says the enemy is set up. They're waiting for you to spawn, and they are punishing you with a lead grenade and then just waiting for your fourth to go down. After that fourth falls, the OBJ is on the move, and that is the cleanup on Ghost Ayami. Flag still in the base for now, but it's only a matter of time. Shoot me in the back. Yellow. Is even my better? Now, then he's yeah. Yeah. Then he I think he is, is. yeah. This is insane. He's playing. Yeah. Two of the comps. Kyle's really, Two really good. Two yellow His comps are he's literally yeah, coaching his team that. as well. I've seen so many, so much guidance in the house. He's in the house. Right, from the From like literally telling Ace to throw out Kyle slaying out. And their nades, one shot, their needle, one shot. Nades and needle, both weak. Dude, I thought I said, why didn't these two D. Dude's team before. It's right, it's right. What's yellow just, flag? One shot dropping yellow. Our flag, our nades. One to our nades. The young brother and Elamite was young too then. Right. I, I mean, Elamite was 15 years old. You had Ace at 13, right? I'm not playing with a 13 year old brother who can't even go to high school with me in the same bus. Because we Go can't ramp one uh, shot, they're uh, <laughs> But honestly, it's kind of funny to watch because Strongside was a teammate of these guys, right? Strongside gets the come up first. He joins Carbon. Elamite still had about a year after Strongside's come up that he was given a chance by the pro players. He had to prove it. He had to pave the way. And he did so for his little brother, Ace, who went on to win even more money in Halo than Kyle did. Here's a look at Snipe Down, though. And this is a guy who didn't have to grind to success. He just found. It. And I feel like there's so few players in Halo history that were able to just come to an event and automatically be a threat to everyone else that was established in the existing dominant players in the league, D-Mac. Snipe Down had an era. There was an era that was the Snipe Down era. Okay? And before that, there was only one era. Really, two. It was one shot for Hellport. One shot Hellport Snakebite. Snipe down right, did come to the game. Their flag, their flag, snipe down. Wow, there. I'm looking. looking. Their flag, they said, just not this is here. And their flag, like, help. And on top of that, he was the most nades, exciting nades. player to watch. Flag, you're not snipe down. Our friend, flag, three day game. Today, yeah, man. Hella excited. So I'm hopping off right the side right while making big plays, dude. Yeah, I wish, you know, it is, cra it is crazy as I've gotten older. Um, you know, like I would say in my in my mid 20s, toward the end of Halo 4, up, I really up. started to understand or, uh, what it means to be like a good teammate, right? Which is kind yeah. of crazy because I've been competing for a very long time, and you know, looking back at my younger self, Three man, I, I was so selfish and like. I was gonna say, I, let's just say I, you yeah. always loved the the spotlight. You were in a position <laughs> to succeed whenever I was cast in your position, and your teammates not always the same. But yeah. we would come to your screen. And I was like, Yo, Tyler's good for three kills. Watch this. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'll do that. I love it, man. Another spree is out, gentlemen. I just wanted to chime in on the score while we were reliving some of our fondest memories. It's Team Carbon just in the hole as Agency has put four up on the board. The fifth flag was out. It doesn't look like it's going in yet. Yes, it is. Hadbad comes off the spawn and Enable is going to throw it down. Not in time as Maniac actually is the player with the score there. What a finish for the Agency and Carbon is now in the hole once again. They were able to tie things up in their second game and third game in the previous series, but I wanted to see Carbon come out hot because this agency squad has not dropped a map in the tournament yet, DMAC. They are perfect. I mean, bro, when you make Snipe Down go 6-16, six and 16, that is, that's a powerful squad. And so this is starting to look dangerous. 
they don't look worried that there's not going to be a reset if they lose because I don't think they worried about losing. This is dominant. Yeah, somebody at Twitch Rivals must have been talking to Eli My Warrior for about two years now. He's been preparing for this <laughs> moment, and he is ready to go. Ninja, did you slip him the news? Did he know this was coming? Because Kyle was ready for today. No, 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 no. There, there, just there's no inside trader information that went down before this tournament. Guy <laughs> was like, no life in the game for God knows how long, waiting for this moment to arrive. Uh, and oh. the, the, it, dude, there's just, just that was disgusting, man. And the only That's way so to funny. beat Snipe down in Snake Bite, like you, you it, dude, it, they're like tigers, bro. You know the tiger don't don't like what is it? Don't uh, let up your foot off the neck of a tiger, right? Or you're gonna okay. die and just get eaten. That's that is Snipe down in Snake Bite. If you are going to dominate them, it needs to be like, you make him go 6 and 16, that's because they kept their foot on his neck the entire time. They didn't let him pop off, and they 5-0'd him. Right? But if you give yeah, him... Bro, breathing, I've heard of that. Yeah, bro, I've heard of the tiger statement before. Uh, that one, and then, like, don't jump with a giraffe. That was another one I heard. <laughs> Story time. Uh, can you follow through on this analogy? <laughs> I'm going to need that analogy, like, just analyzed a little more, DMAC, just if you don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I think we'll do it when we do the Halo Three Twitch Rivals. I'll I'll explain the whole. Don't okay. it That's takes time <laughs> to process. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Smart man, D Mac. It's gonna click two a.m. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, oh, I get it. Uh-huh. Uh, I see some phenomenal faces in the chat. Shout out to the man, MLG Sundance. Sundance D. Giovanni is also in the chat. Which one of you is real? I don't know, but I expect a fight to the death. We're going into Team Slayer Sanctuary. First of 50 kills, sniper rifles, and of course, that ring three to control. Green guns are still on the map, and we'll see if those come into play. So far, haven't been devastating in Halo 2. Like I was kind of expecting. Mm, yeah, uh, we really, I think I... So, saw it while she tried to use it one time, like literally once, and it, that was it. Like, I have not seen the green gun, uh, the noob combo, if you will, shine whatsoever. But uh, Sanctuary Slayer, man, I mean, they, correct me if I'm wrong, there are no bases, right? Uh, one's our jump up. Like, the spawns yeah, are yeah. everywhere, right? Our jump right, yeah, so you're either gonna spawn yeah. snipe side, rock side, or right there on your flag. And no, off no, no, the no, break, I, it's, it's, but other, like, red, red can spawn on blue side in Sanctuary, uh, yeah. right? But, yeah, 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 yeah. You are no longer stuck to the spawns. It's, it's where your teammates are at. Snipe down is going to fall at the hands of Elamite. And that was an opening sniper battle. We needed to keep eyes on it. Red team gets both snipes. Carbon is in trouble. Agency playing with so much energy. As you can see, three players shooting at snipe down. The comms are here, and so is the team shot. Dude, Elamite's comms get me so jacked, bro. He's so yeah, for real. And it's so intense. Oh my, enable space getting ripped Watch off. Spots. It feels they behind us. Don't I need even come up these Watch stairs. The challenge from the ring too. He goes for the nose scope, just a half inch short. Goes to Yami with a big play, but he won't be able to regain that sniper rifle. Meanwhile, the teammate, it's gonna be. Snake bite, it looks like, with the sniper opportunity. He's hitting body shots, but you only get 12 bullets from these snipers. You gotta make the headies count. One shot their bot, ghost. Yo, snipers on their rocks. Two guys, one shot their bot. So clean, bro. Maniac might be one of the most consistent players. I'm getting bot. Yeah, very consistent. He's got a nice His shot was always fun to watch. Look at this guy. I remember playing Maniac in Halo region, and he just slapped me so many times. Like, I would try to contest him thinking, like, oh, he's in He's some old old dude trying to hang in the pro scene, and he would just shoot. Just bop. 100%. It was so frustrating. Maniac, awesome streamer as well. He's been putting out some sick content with Hitch. Beyond Gaming, you can check out their musical preferences. They sing to you. They make you want to never listen to music again and more. But uh, always entertaining. You love to see him competing, and he is always going for that top spot. Right now, though, Maniac and the squad are in the driver's seat with Ace legit and Elamite here from the agency. Up 1-0 in the series, and now up 10 Kills here yeah, in Sanctuary. Oh, this has been dominant. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to see a sweep, but it might be what we're gonna have. Uh, and again, though, let's, it, it still is not going to take away from the epicness that is this tournament. But I think that I speak for everyone when I when I say that I, I really want Carbon to get their shit together. Yeah, I, I think we just need to do like a little roster swap after the first series from Agency because they showed us this all day long, guys. We shouldn't be surprised to see him doing it here in the final. Right. 
Right. Mm, I got, and I don't know. The comms seem a little, a little stale. I don't think I've been listening too much to Carbon's comms. Uh, but it doesn't sound like they're, they're you know, firing on all cylinders right now. Yeah, I, I think the confidence is down bad, bro. I, I think that's what's going on. <laughs> When you lose 5-1 in the first game after winning so many in a row, now you're like, oh, that's my three-o And we mentioned that you might squad had been waiting there in the winner's bracket. They had won the previous round, trying to find out would they be playing straight, would they be playing carbon? Well, eventually it was carbon coming out on top over final boss as well. And the agency, they're looking like they got fresh fingers. Carbon still looking for answers, but they were able to close that 10 kill lead down to about five for a moment. Back up to six, but you got a sniper rifle to play with here for Ghost Yami. Yo, E, do you want this? man. You know what that's, you know what that's basically, dude, Halo 1, bro. Like, Halo 1, Halo 2 campaign. When you were doing the night vision map, and you have like 80 uh, rounds, uh, 80, 80 rounds in your sniper rifle, yep. keep zooming in. Oh my god, I said so much. It's like I can kill a hunter with one shot. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, they're orange backs, bro. Those things are so annoying. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make the armor for your back. <laughs> uh, Ghost Yami with a shot at ring three. Can he make it count? It would be a big one. I thought it was actually on the sniper, but that's just Ace Poe going around with a battle rifle. Two players, no shield. If you are the blue team, you got to surge into the ring. Staying back with the sniper is going to work for a little bit, and it has been paying dividends. I think they were able to steal the second snipe, which is the reason you're seeing this panic from the agency. They blew a 10 kill lead, and now it's a two point game. Yeah, man. You I love that immediate backtrack. I was mentally thinking about it, and, and, and I'm happy that he turned around with that sniper. Oh my god, he just got absolutely throttled. You don't want to rock the new the, the T2 combo, man. Sword sniper. On this. Yeah, unless you're going to be controlling ring two. You know, because then you can control your jump up if people try to come in on you and, and keep your distance with the sniper rifle. But he immediately tried to turn back around. Dip I'm getting the ammo. Out. I'm getting the ammo. Red that sniper okay. ammo. That was the plan. Okay, so you got two snipes now for the red team. We were worried for the agency for a moment. Well, I'm putting all my worries to bed. I think this one might be faked here, DMAC. Yeah, I mean, you saw that mistake there by Ghost. I really don't think he should have got ring two with that snipe. He did a good job pulling back. And then once they got aggressive again, we're starting to see they're, they're just trading kills. And he can't trade at this point. That's a good win from the Rocks. No shield. I believe that was Hadbad. Mr. Enable hitting the jumping heady. We're still within five. So it's within range for Carbon. But Maniac and Enable, or sorry, Elamite, are on the push, moving their way up to Rocks. Maniac's going to find the sword, and all the action is inside the ring. Elamite calls out three. Just wait a few moments, and I bet you that Ginger with the sword will be moving his way in. And it is a three-point game here. There he is. Maniac cut down, though. So Sword is down a two-point game, and you could have this one going back over in Carbon's favor. They've got the power weapons, guys. Wow. We need this, man. We need this. Guys, I don't want to leave. I don't want this to be a 3-0, man. I honestly might just send a text message to every single member. Of, it, of the up. agency and be like, listen, yeah, we'll one grand down. to each and every one of you. If you guys <laughs> one game, uh, like, I need a game five. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay it a, a thousand <laughs> per hour to extend this one, fellas. All right, oh, there's oh, oh, Snipe down, trying to stay alive. No shield for the blue team. The green gun comes out. I think Maniac got behind the rocket time and Ghost Yami is also going to survive with this fight. 45, 45. We are down to the last five kills on both sides. The hero play coming over the top. Can go stay up. You got Snipe down coming off. Spawny He's got your cover, but is it in time? 48 47 for the first time. Carbon takes the lead, and they're two kills away. Oh, no, he's like going down. He's not a bitch. One more kill. One more, baby. Ghost Ayami, the captain, finished strong, bro. I'm ready for it, Eric. At the top, we've got Snakebite taking heavy fire. Everyone coming off the spawn over on Snipe side. They were not ready for it. And Elam, that is ace from the sky, giving them their 48th kill. One for blue, two for red. Agency still in it, but Carbon threatening. And there it is, as we are going to see the final kill. Wow. Each maniac, a big finish for Hadbad. And Nabel finishes on top of the leaderboard. 15 there with Ghost Ayami as they combine for 30. 30. Shot, dude. That's I'm gonna tell you, baby. Because I also 12 assists by my boy Eric. Did not Snipe out. Anyone <laughs> from from uh, Carbon or from the Did not. Okay.
Did not send it. Did, did not receive it. We There's no the grand finals, baby. Oh, I love it, Ninja. Thank you for that energy. I needed it. I needed Come this on. game five energy, and now I'm starting you, to feel it, D-Mac. You feel it? You feel it? It's creeping in, dude. Bro, Woo. this, that was quite the, the game. I mean, you didn't think that agency was going to let a game up this series, bro, especially with the first half of this second game. You thought it was over. I thought I was only going to get another 20 minutes with y'all. And it looks like we strap it in for at least another 45. Boys. I'm, I'm here for it. I just cracked another Red Bull. I am ready to go. Chat, you guys ready to rock with us? Shout out to all of the OGs. If you were at an MLG event during Halo's lifespan, let it be known in the chat. If you came for Halo 3, let us know that as well. I want to know, where does everyone stand? Because we're old heads, right? We're in our mid-30s if you're like D-Mac and I. Ninja, he's got the baby face of an 18-year-old still, and he's going to keep it forever. But uh, Ninja, we've got some old heads here on the sticks tonight. I believe every single gamer at least 30 years old. Walsh now out of it, held the top score at 37 years old. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm old, bro. I'm 32. Not 32, 30-T-O-O. So, there you go. 30 all <laughs> Yeah, these are games these are the all guys. Yeah, these are all oh. the, the look backs here, the first half of our championship match. I mean, you you looking at some? Just again, man. It's I could watch Halo 2 forever. I really can. Beautiful I could gameplay. play this game forever, man. This game was so good, and like, it's already the Halo Infinite is clearly like you know it's done. The core mechanics of the game, it's in. But I just want if there's one thing that I, I, I if I could give a message to 343, man, the simplicity of Halo 2 and Halo 3 is what like it's so clean. It's what makes the game so beautiful. Good maps, good gun balance equals good game. Here's a look at Snipe Down's career earnings over 300,000. He's continuing to score in Apex right now, but the man made his first paychecks in gaming playing Halo. The first event win was way back at MLG Las Vegas. It was the national championships in 2008, and he won that title alongside Straight Rippin. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, it's been a lot of years. Fun fact, currently a streamer for TSM. You can go watch him every single day right here on twitch.tv slash snipe down fucking people that look that good shouldn't be that good at halo it's true you know yeah. they, people love to hate on that i mean the guy looks good and is good you know what i mean he's got it all it's he's got it all and also bro he's in a very i think he's married if i'm yep. not wrong right mm -hmm. bro i look at pictures that's a that's a couple doing it I like the way they move. Okay, that's couple goals. Oh, oh couple, got it. They're doing things in life together. Well, got yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, and I, explaining things that I don't God. always understand the right way the first time. Here we go, though. My Shout bad. Out to our friends at Xbox <laughs> in the chat. Much love to everyone who has been behind the scenes working on Halo, whether you're part of the marketing team, PR, you are a part of this franchise's history, and we are excited to have you with us tonight here as we close out the finals. It's the agency. It is Team Carbon all knotted up one apiece after clutch comeback from Carbon in game two. Yeah, no, no, I bet no, they go on, like, vacation and stuff, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Going top blue. Doing the I'm with you, D. I'm with you. All right. Yeah, blue, 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 blue. gonna lose the battle over top blue, and that means we are gonna have some early cover for this ball to be grabbed as Enable throws down some shots. The objective is gonna be scored. It looks like the game plan. Let's take it green and just spawn each other up as far away from that sniper as possible. watching low. Instantly. This is classic snake bite. By the way, like, I, dude, I, I'm just gonna say, I hate you. Okay. I've competed against uh, Snakebite nice and been taken out by his team so many method. times. This is a classic Snakebite method. It, of course he's going to bring it into green room, the ball set, within the first minute of the game. He's on the pistol. We're going, we're going, we're pushing. I'm pushing top middle. All right, so nabel has got a, a decision to make. What do I do with this sniper rifle? Tries to make the tough play as he goes for the jump shot. He's punished, but it's going to be Snakebite still down low. Shotgun ball combo. No one can touch you up close with this other than the 
the sword guy. And of course, he's got the cover fire behind him. Those were the important plays. As Gosiami picks up the first, they're up to 24 Dude, seconds yeah, now for our blue glass. team. But the agency, they're oh, coming to pinch in. And there's the sword man to get the job done. Ace picks up the important kill, stops the scoring, and is on his way up for the new sniper. Man, that, that bait, that cla I, I don't know if it's a bait, but I used to do it all the time too. When you're like, you shoot someone once or twice with a battle rifle, and you have a sword, and then you go with the sword to finish them off. Oh, kind of like luring them in a little bit, like they, oh, maybe this guy doesn't have the sword, right? And then I don't know where you just slash him. And, and people are kind of waiting for you to melee them, but they're not expecting right. the the lunge range of that sword. I, I was a big fan of getting single kills. I never got a multiplayer or multi kill in this one. Anyway, uh, we go over to a few of the players up top if we can. I want to see what's happening with the sniper rifle because historically on lockout the sword's key, but the sniper rifle controls. Yeah, you can get the sniper pretty much set up at S3 or top ER rather. Why your team's holding that bottom blue setup, man? Oh, you sneak, you sneaky, very nice. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Harvey looks more comfortable on this map. You can see it, right? They just seem to be doing such a good job being in all these random places, keeping everyone away from the ball. And there's the head glitch. Yeah, look at that head glitch. Works, baby. Works at MCC. Oh my god. Oh, he's so he's annoying. I love it. Ghost the Army abusing the map. Where, where, where? Blue I'm team up to 45 seconds. Just a 20 point advantage, though. Okay, as the last man out. standing. And Aesir, he's got some decisions to make. You can pour it up top. You can rotate long. And you're just guaranteed to take some heavy fire. Everyone expects you to play the ball from here, which would put the ball back up top middle. But he could also just be a jerk and leave it there on the elbow. Force them to leave the BR tower. Yeah, sometimes keeping the ball elbow is better than actually just play balling it. Nice snipe. All right, so uh, we're gonna watch him pop off. Yeah, blue team is set up here. You got a player top BR tower. You got snake bite with the sniper, and as long as you don't have someone assassinating you on this tower, you've got about 50 seconds of ball time. Snake bite. Oh, there's two more players up top. There's a second one that looked good to me. Doesn't count though in the feed. Mm. Just dropping shields for the fellas. He's out of ammo soon after this next shot. Sniping with Halo 2. The Halo 2 sniper rifle, man. The headshots were always interesting. Uh, you can snipe someone in the neck or like right in the shoulder looks like a headshot. Bring the ball to Brian. Bring the ball to Brian. Bring the ball to us. Me. I got one. Bring the ball to me. He's just making the call saying, Brian, bring me the ball. But uh, doesn't use the call out, which is sword room. It helps. Cause are there from his fuel might though, and look how injured everybody is. Ace just doing one pop on two players. As top of blue control, he's got the sword away from the enemy as well. Things are looking good here for an agency chance to pull away 110 and counting to 50. This is the largest lead we've seen yet. Not BR. One was bottom BR. And library. Yeah, now you're starting to see the agency look like they got control of this map. Look at you, I'm not even mad you got beat down right there. there. <laughs> Kidding you. My man, dude, he, did, he knew exactly what he was going to do too before he even made the jump. Like, I was like, this guy, he's like, going to be R3 or he's making the jump to the library window, man. And he just... Flawlessly done. Someone definitely texted him about this tournament. Yeah, the OG. Uh, <laughs> really showing they put some time into these maps. That's like doing the chill out window jump. It's a little bit easier because it's slightly larger, but still very difficult to time. Beatdowns are still coming in here from the Elums as we've got a naval moving to the top. No sniper rifle waiting for him, and they are going to have to play that ball. Both players, no shield, and now they'll be looking for a new spawn as Ace comes and clears the tower. One shot. Uh, Enable no ball, ball time, so That's That's sword sword that. assuming that he's yeah, obviously, yeah. hopefully, top ranking. I have entered snipe sword. Ace is doing a great, great job BR. staying alive, man. They all oh, do. They have the ball, ball library, BR top right now, and they pull the What's sniper rifle. This could be very dangerous, man. I mean, it is. It is. I found the trap. Snipe power, bro. Oh, there's a double. No, I have sword. Hold on. I have sword. Oh my god. And he has sword? Oh my god. Do it. He did not know that he's running. Running a Riot 10 in a row for Ace. He has not missed a headshot in the last five kills. This is the greatest game in the world. Halo 2 is so good. 
Uh, Finally Yami, misses Yami. on the seventh and still I finds Ghost Yami, Yami, Yami to Yami keep the screen oh. alive. Oh, it's oh, throw it down. God. Head open ramp covered. S3. So good, man. Dude, straight up right now, Ace is dominating and carrying this last minute of all time. And it's not even close. Whips out the sword, using it perfectly. Side, top side, bottom ramp, bottom ramp, bottom ramp. Nice shot. Yo, Enable, hold that, baby. That's kill number 14. We're looking at a rampage next. One away from 15 in a row. Holy. Red sword, red sword. They spawn sword in BR1. They're gonna be open. Man. You ready to play? Ready to play ball? So difficult. Sights on respawn. They're gonna be the FBR. They're and he's not even shoot, going for the metal. Shoot, he's going for the OBJ. I, I hate this I about you. Shoot. You Elamites are too good at this Halo 2 game. Top BR, bridge, 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 bridge. Library. They spawn library. Where's the middle? Library is dead. You guys are fucking math might be real bad. That might have been 14 round two. I got it. Top blue. Top blue. I want to see Ace's screen, bro. Thanks. Two dead. I got it. I got it. I don't care if he gets a thousand people. That Don't want to kill Brian. Right now, we are not going to play. Stay on this screen. Just, 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 uh, it must have just been a thing of the past. They stopped scoring at some point for him. Ace was on one. Finally, it comes to an end. But now, for a minute, 45 seconds has been added to their lead. And you are going to see a triple kill is what it took from Snakebite to finally stop that run. Triple kill, and they still just, they just got the ball. My, yo, Ace just destroyed. Three down, last one. That entire oh, minute and 50 it. seconds was because of Ace's pure domination of the sniper rifle right. sword top combo. Blue, blue pushing me. Not over Shout out to his teammates for the comms as well, but I think he nailed it. Like, you just got to call it what it was. No one was able to move past the 50-yard line with Ace having that sniper out. The new snipe is going to drop at 6, 76 seconds, I believe, after the previous one went down. So at about 20, 30 seconds here, we're going to see everyone charge that snipe tower. Sword is off now, guys. Sword is off now. I didn't make any time. You hate to see a power weapon leave the hands of a player and fly off the map and be put on respawn. But it's the right play. It's the right call, man. Sword is so strong on lockout. Nearing the three minute mark is the agency. Carbon, well, they're down big. This is Ghosty, I mean, the captain, their best player when it came to oddball, at least in Carbon's playing days. So smart with the I'm objective, in, knew where to position himself, and honestly had some of the best short game that we saw out of any of the pro players. Yomai with the shoddy down bottom snipe tower. The comms are missing. Enable does it here. Instead, challenges up top where Maniac was waiting. Snipe tower was flooded. We called it. We knew it was going to happen. They're trying to get Ace the big gun once again. Instead, it's the older brother's turn. Kyle starting off with a double. What else can you add to your spree here? And Come window, on, I think. This would be poetic if both of <laughs> and the brothers drop killing frenzies. And they're just, what are you thinking, bro? Starts with yeah. the two little mics, Matt. You're just playing on it. Let me sit shortcut. And bottom BR, maybe? I'm sitting shortcut. They're all forced to move through sword. Get your song. Calls it out perfectly. Green room has been locked down. We're over three minutes. Blue team. Glass. Has carved it within a minute 30, but the agency is still oh, in control. Nice, 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 Unfortunately nice. for Kyle, though, his teammates lost the fight down low. He's got to move out of that power position in the snipe tower. And uh, we could see this game really pull away. As sad as I am not to see a spree, I'm excited now that Carbon has an opportunity to come back. Yeah, me too. And they do. But it's they better make moves. I, I know they're in great position right now, but there is not much time left at all. That sword is down there as well, and red team just like that has flipped the control. Yeah, man, these guys aren't obviously teaming, right? They've teamed together for this event. They're, this isn't like they have been playing for the last three months preparing for a tournament and strategies. So I don't like that Carbon is trying to run this bottom mid setup, this bottom green setup. I don't like it, right? 
That is a that's one of those setups where like everyone needs to be in a certain position watching the right thing, making sure like otherwise there's just way too many holes, right? Someone's gonna drop down from bottom mid. Someone's gonna drop down, you know, on one of the it's just not Yeah, that's a good point. Right? It's so much easier to just put it in BR2, put it in library, and just rely on pure teamwork and aim when people are literally forced to jump across the map to get to you. To their credit, it was it. the agency that brought the ball down killed, into green. It just has not left that room for the green, last two green, minutes. Rotate, rotate but I'm with you. Carbon, if you're going to win this game, you got to take it to the BR tower. I need to see you set up in sword because this scrappy back and forth with each other taking over green, not going to work for you. Ace with the play ball, though, is going to reset that objective. This is an opportunity for both teams to take control. The question is, who's got top of the map locked down? Greener, greener, weak I mean, I gotta leave him. I gotta leave him. Greener and weak are shooting me. Gotta be in desperation uh, mode now because you got a minute and 20 seconds left. I love it. All right, we can do this. Good comms, man. Let's go. Trying to lift teammates up right now. You like to see that gap just closed. Clock's ticking up. I, I want to see Ghost Ami just double shot someone who drops down. Eric, I know you got it in you. RRX. Why, why? RRX. Exactly what they need. This is what they need right now. It's going to be a double kill. Sniper control, sniper and enable. Snipe down, I'm sorry. Snipe down and enable. Controlling snipe down is dangerous. This is scary. Only a minute left now. We got a minute. Much fire. Other glass, he's dropped green. Enable is just being peppered. Finally, has the shield back, but they can't cover. The ball is going to be dropped on, and these snipe shots not having the same amount of effect that Ace was putting out there for the agency. Regardless, though, we got to credit the OBJ captain, the man behind the carbon name, Ghost Ami has been able to catch up on that scoreboard. It was a minute 30 difference, gentlemen. We are now within five seconds. He's cut it in half, and we got a minute 40 still to go. I'm dead. Uh, there's two, like, you finally have here. Snipe Down or Nabel that were controlling Snipe Tower, making sure that nobody was dropping down from blue, shooting them in the back, right? And then also being able to watch bottom middle so that nobody drops down on Ghost Ayami. That was a flawless setup, but now there's only a minute and 90 seconds left. He's 30 seconds. Ooh! Is that Snipe now? Was that a double shot? situation? Snipe Snipe down's just as blown away as I am. Oh my God, Snake back with the jump EXR, bro. Red team with a starting push lead. D-Mac running out of time right now. Carbon's got to go right here. Wow. They almost brought it back, man. Wow. And that's what's scary about this setup too, man. This is the only setup on the map where like, if you have control and then you lose it, the enemy team literally has your setup. Right? You know what I mean? I don't like it. No play ball of potential. Like, it's just here. It's high risk, high reward, I guess. Dude, there's two on the ball. Two bottom green. Two bottom green. We're about 10 seconds away from this just being unwinnable. And here is the final fight. And it's another oh, yeah, yeah, shotgun yeah, yeah. from Ace to seal yeah. the deal. Yeah. Ghost yeah. Ami's going to get dropped down low by legit. And you got to be feeling course. good if you're this oh, man. Oh, Ace in the middle of the game, but the team on his back, at least 15 that we saw. They didn't technically give him the riot medal, but we all witnessed what he was doing with that sniper rifle. One of the best performances on the day, and he's rewarded with 38 kills there in the feed. Plus 22, a dominant performance from one of the youngest oh. gamers in this competition at the age of 31. <laughs> Amazing oh, that he's 31 and still young. Probably the only forum in which that exists. And, and that was just an amazing performance. My goodness, that, that snipe situation was just phenomenal. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm trying to think, like, snipe down with the sniper. You had those moments where you're like, oh... Ace was on one tonight on lockout. That felt some over-level yeah. sniping with total control. Here's a look at the legend from game number three. A lot of people first finding out about Ace when he went into the Halo 4 1v1 championship against I Got Your Pistola was able to lock up some serious cash there and continued his career now streaming every single day as well just like his older brother elamite you can check out his channel and tweet at him mlg ace aaron elam though putting on a show for us ninja these shots were disgusting that headshot bro when you can time the quick scope in between the the battle rifle bursts which by the way is like a millisecond 
Like you do not. Well, when you can time that quick scope, it's so clean, bro. That double kill was disgusting. Best shot of the match. Ace is such a talented player and a track man. man. Yeah, what a good looking man right there, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. He had a 30 sub goal for the day, sitting at 166. Ninja has given him 100, but shout out to the 66 others who have joined his stream. He is live right now on twitch.tv slash Ace TV. Go become a sub right now. 332,000 career earnings. He won that Halo Championship in the Free Frog like we talked about. And tonight, he is now just one game away from locking up another 12,000 thousand dollars and a year supply of Doritos DMAC does it all end here is it done with the three one or do you think there's enough in the tank for carbon to take us to that game five team slayer I mean how, how could you go against ace after that game you know honestly Elamite's fun fact should be that he is the older brother of ace that's really <laughs> how dominant he was Okay, so th this is just like I'm riding with the tide. I'm going with the next best player in the game. Ace is riding this next game. It's game four agency. We're wrapping in 10 minutes, unfortunately. Unfortunately, unfortunately. What What's Matt for, Pucket? Uh, map four. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I don't. I should, but uh, you have it right now. Boom! It's getting late, guys. It's getting late. Thank God, I have a fantastic production team who has my back. Neutral bomb midship is coming in hot. This is where we just saw Hadbad and crew dominate through our losers bracket finals for Team Carbon to get into this position. Same game mode. Let's go again and see if they can close out like they did against their previous opponents on Final Boss. I've got Carbon in this one. But first, you got to stop Elamite Warrior. Someone shut him up in the first two minutes. You got to put Elamite on his back. First fight, second fight, third fight. It's the only way to slow a man with that many words down. Right, DMAC? Yeah, bro. He's talking a lot. Obviously, he be talking is what the, his right. teammates would say about him. Yeah. And, and it's like, dude, it's led him to 12K, so they probably don't mind. But if this was, if he talked this much in a different situation, we would all be like, you, you got to stop talking. Right. 100%. He's the 100%. man. Kyle, They're probably just going to try to win. They're probably just going to try to win. So he just stops talking. D, yeah. Honestly. <laughs> and that's, that's a solid strat. Shout out to neighbor in the chat, Mason Cobb, one of our other Twitch streamers who is in this competition. Mason and T squared are going to go out in fourth place, but they bank $3,000 for the four v four alone on top of their big team battle winnings and more shout out to one of the OG competitors hanging out with us for the grand finals. This could be the final game. Mason, do you think it's done here? Or are we going the distance? I'm feeling a game five, which means I need carbon to start popping off. Here's the guy in their way. Way, though Ace, who dropped the positive 22 with 38 kills in game number three, is charging his way up to pink. And this is the power position on midship, as always. It can't end here. And I mean, there is something to be said. Fuck it. When we tuned in to watch Neutral Bomb by Card before, they situated it in eight minutes. Okay, so they were dominant when we saw them last. I don't want to stand on neutral bomb, boys. It can't. YV Terror in the chat saying Ninja looks so happy watching Halo 2. I can tell you, I'm with him. During the commercial breaks, when he tells me what he really feels, he's the same guy. He's been loving this all day, as have DMAC and I. Sword is still up on the top of the map, Ninja. And I wonder, does that come into play as much as it does in Team Slayer? How would you go about this in a team game where you need to take an objective and force it into the opponent's base? Let's go, Zerkar. Let's go, Zerkar. If you're talking about the sword, man, it, on this map specifically, it almost feels like the spawns are qu quicker than nine seconds. They're not, but it feels like they are. And I would say the only thing that you're going to be controlling with that sword is you're going to be car three, just absolutely slaying and slashing anyone that comes car two, that spawns car two. If I'm the enemy team, I'm grabbing the comms. That's what I'm going for, man. Because you can't really well, have too much. Yeah, you might worry. It looks like Ace may be the only one in the way here of Carbon. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, you can't do much of the sword. Yeah, I got you muted on Discord. Go ahead and click that little foot pedal one more time for me, bro. It's a, yeah, it's a big choke, man. I was responding the entire time. Kind of embarrassing. Special streamer here. Uh, 
He's one shot. If you rock, if you rock a few thousand people before. Yikes, dude. Uh, if you're rocking the sword, man, you're gonna want to control uh, car two, car three with it. Like you're gonna want to be car three, looking down on the spawners, car two underneath you, and just slicing them as they try to flood into the base and throw sticky grenades. Right, you need quick kill times to stop them from delaying the bomb with plasmas. And it's honestly the only place you're really gonna be able to use the sword. You're pretty much just gonna be not gonna be able to utilize it. If you want in there, Eli the Ninja is saying he would love to have the sword just slash around the base for all of the spawners. That's it. I remember that, right, DMAC? You would try and come up the lift, right? You spawn down low. You're like, I'm going to be the hero who stops this bomb. What's waiting for you? A guy with a sword who just cuts you out of the sky. So far, it looks like the base pressure has been there, but the objective can't get into the agency base. Ghost Yami is going to try and rotate for the new spawners over on car side. And so far, so good. That's two down for the agency and finally this bomb is moving in after the kill on legit just went under the base i got native man yeah and, and you're right Puck it. we would be we would be waiting for, for, for that slash you know what i mean we would be waiting in the pocket you'd even know we were there and all of a sudden it was you, you gotta wait 10 seconds. Right, you just get crammed you know what i mean someone comes in with a sword and just snaps <laughs> Legit finally cut down, but that bomb will not be planted. Finally, all four members of Carbon are dropped. This is going to be Agency pushing out of the base. If they take over Pink, they're going to be in a great position. Ace moving the bomb up first before they get top control. These guys are coming in confident, knowing where the spawns are going to be. Three BRs are waiting for you off the spawn, and Ace knows there's only one in front of them. That player clutches up, though. It's Ghost Ami with the insta explode to stop the plan. I'm pretty sure he needed himself. I don't want to be that guy that calls out players mistakes, but uh, I'm looking good there, man. But this is the kind of match we wanted, baby. I want a close man, and I honestly don't want it to end here. If it ends here, I'm going to be a little upset. Man. Neutral bomb on midship. Like, this is a great game type, but not to win a championship. Not to win a championship off of. He's not a champion. This is not a team. This is not a Fever 3 49 type of type to stand off somehow. Huh? I don't even know if that's possible. It wasn't it. Part three. Will be. Gentlemen, I hate to do it. I am handing you over the mic, my dog. Is scratching at the door. Give me one second. Two dead. Three dead. Where's Ghost? That's host. Okay. Well, bro, sometimes he's one shot. B two. You have to take care of your pets out here. One shot. I think very important. I don't even know how you have pets right now. Three puppies. Three puppies. Bro, I feel like I've seen pictures of these puppies, and I feel like all of these puppies have fucking cramp out. So I should have known. One shot in front of their base. One shot. Oh, nice. man. Hey, Two dude, welcome to 2021 where pets Thank have you. more followers <laughs> than actual people. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, honestly, it's pretty cool. It, it, no, it's, I like it. It's cool. Three, 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 two of them. If you like, if you like, bumps in our base right now. Like, I always like to let's get real He's philosophical for half week. a second, man. Like, I always like to think about it. Like, imagine you're okay, you're okay. working we for us, time. right? Another one there, car. And kill. we go oh, yeah. to an yeah. alien planet, drop, right? Yeah, he did. He did. And let's just say, it did, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm not talking about beep bop boop aliens. Like, they could literally just be humans like us, but living on another. And imagine, like, we, let's just say they are aliens, though. Imagine them beep bop boop big heads, right? And it's like they show us their social media. And then, and, and like, this is my, this is my alien dog that has 10 million followers. How weird would we think they are? all dead if you kill them. All dead. All dead. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, right. I just came back I'm, and, I'm, and heard alien dogs with 10 million followers. I'm here for it. Will Smith shit going down in here. Okay, so after all week, you must one hit after base. Yo, fuck it. You can Yo, never leave us again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, shout out to parents and parental duties. When your daughter's gotta go, you gotta let her go. And that's my daughter Olive. She's going pee. Um. My dog. Eagle my Warrior in the kill feed once again. And gentlemen, I don't see a difference in the score. What has been happening? It looks like all eight players are just rushing up the peak two and dying to another blue explosion. Yeah, man. It's just a bunch of sticky, and under. sticky spam, bro. The amount of people dying to plasma is. I got two. You might need to stay alive here. Who likes the double kill, but he's going to brawl. Get a car, double kill base. So big and bomb. Here the we go. Bomb moving up behind the Ace. There's under one the player base. on car side. Eomite has caught him. He has tagged them up. The kills have not been scored yet, and that's a huge assassination. The death. He drops back, fades it in, but still a clutch by the defense.
still not planted yet, but this will be the first one, and that means there is eight minutes left on the clock. It's still not planted, Ninja! Get the kills again. No, no, no. Do you I'm see? I mean, listen, you, you have to force spawns card two, right? Card two are under the base where you want to force the spawns. And I don't know if it was Elamite, but it was somebody coming from the carbon side. I'm sorry, from the agency side that was actually blocking card two spawns, which is where you want the enemy team to spawn. And they're gonna get the plan anyways. First thing, going piece. to the agency. He's under, he's under the piece. Well he's done, Captain Kyle. Kyle. Dropping down after the plant, he'll finally get smoked, but not before three kills and the objective is scored. Going over to the other side, we gotta see what's happening with the naval. Get the man up on my screen if you can, because I've seen the hat bad all over the kill feed. Maniac got, trying to battle my, out. It's Ilmite up top, and I'm here's the guy who finally is going to take pink control. Enable on the move. Gives up the shotgun on the ground. He's going to do it all with the BR, and he's got some support from car side. Bomb's still bottom middle, but if Enable can get this kill, this is the first chance here for Carbon to score. I got, I got, I mean, just so not even on it, man. Yeah, base, yeah, I'm looking at the base. They're they're not really able to lock down any portion of the map. So maybe we need someone pink three first. I can't finish him. I'm I don't know what they need, man. Agency, agency is just playing game. fantastic, man. They're, they're bringing me back. Their play style is bringing me back to definitely, Ninja, you said it before, Sunday vibes. 100%, This is amazing. That's so frustrating. Snake <laughs> bite, man. Finally gets up to P3, gets hit with the nade. Legit comes up behind him, a second nade. Meanwhile, Elamite, Ace, and Legit all pushing into the base at once. The coordination has been unreal. Defenders coming out from underneath. Gosiami gets the first. Three down for the agency. Carbon's got to take control here. Last one up, that's Ace in pink, too. He's got no shield, and off of the respawn, Already into action is legit. Red team in trouble. Let's go over to our blue team if we can. One shot P2, go see on me. Another one on our flank. There's sight downs on our front base going left sides. One shot. Yeah, this game is so good. This is such a good series. On their flag. Even if the agency takes it here, man, this finals has been fantastic. Both these teams have played out of their minds. It's been such a pleasure to watch. For sure. Maniac ruining days with Elamite. One player goes down, but Maniac stays up. The defense holds strong, and you only have to do it for five minutes and 50 more seconds. A one point difference. That's all we've seen. So many attempts from the agency. Rare attempts from Carbon. This could be a good one, though. Snipe down's up. You've got Ghost Ayami up, and now everyone that was in a strong position is down. Bad spawn, though, for Snipe down. It's legit finds him from behind. Another stall. Yeah, and to, and to put it in perspective, two thirds of this game is finished. They got a third of this game left to at least tie it, to send it into sudden death. And it's, you know, the, RP, RP got me. the pace of this game, it doesn't look like it's going to be a positive. Yeah, three, bro, three, that was actually three, three. great. Give me some ghost, ghost is pissed, bro. I don't think I've seen him die since he came out of that spawn on blue two and got the opening pick. Now he's controlling the pink side of the map, and the bomb is going down. Doesn't get planted, and Nabel had it so close. It's still in a good spot, though, man. Like, the bomb, even if it, even if they toss out bottom mid, it's still in a good spot right now. They have them trapped into their base, trapped in car right now. That's one dead, one guy, one shot. Got it. Top there, middle man. was not expecting Maniac to be running up near the sword spawn. That cost Maniac his life. And again, a little bit of breathing room for Carbon, but you can see the bomb on the opposite side of the map. Elmite says, get this out of our base. Drops it down in pink one. Snipe down, cleaned off pink three. Eomite's gonna try and stay alive here. There's no support to go for the objective, and he's getting super aggressive. Yeah, man. This is so, this is so easy for agency right now. All they have to do is just keep their distance, slay out, and, and just keep the bomb bottom mid. Our basement, dude. Right? Our basement like they don't don't have to focus on the objective at all. It's just slaying out, maintaining control for four more minutes. Two one hit pink two. You know, and if they if they making sure that they keep plasma grenades as well. They're going to be able to nade him off the bomb if they even bring it into the base to begin with. This is going to be so hard, man. This is such an uphill battle for Carbon, man. Three minutes, 50 seconds left. They have to go off. Someone's got to pop off now. What are you seeing, D? Dude, uh, you know, I'm seeing a great tournament played by Agency today. That's honestly what I'm seeing. And they have... They, they're keeping their opponents shot, straight up on their toes. No control being made whatsoever. 
I can dude. Right. So this is. Yeah. Did Hot Pocket in there? P2? Is it P2? Oh, it went, what a shock. When you are up 1 0, and you're just waiting for time to end, and the other team has an objective to finish, you can just get them off by all four of you folks. Yep. Oh man, it just looks rough, dude. It just, you're like. Even when Carbon has had four dead, and the bomb is in the base, it doesn't look like they have control still. You know how rare that is? You know how hard that is? To, the entire enemy team is dead, and, you don't, and you're somehow not winning. It, it, it somehow feels like you're not in control. That's difficult to do. I doubted it. I doubted it. I didn't arm it. And they're about to get another plan. If, if, if ADC secures his plan, it's over. Under. Full health. Full health. Yeah, under. That's under. So I think that's but I think it's even if they don't secure the plan, honestly. Ladies and gentlemen, after this game, potentially, maybe after game five, if we get there, we want to know who do you think deserves the MVP honors. Our Pizza Hut MVP will be crowned after this series, and you all will help us choose who. Right now, though, for this squad on your screen, it is Team Carbon, and they've got the chat on their back. I see Golden Boy for the win, and so many more cheering for this game five. They've got two minutes and eight seconds to score to force overtime. You got to get it done right Right now, goes yeah, Deami, no chance, time. three yeah, dead. Agency well. with the full two, control two, two, two. as it's a naval up first. Everyone is just getting picked off a of spawn. They are starting to choke them out here for our red squad. Usually got to pay extra to watch someone get choked out. Fuck it. But here on ESPN 8, the Ocho, you might be able to get it for free. We know a guy. In their car, yeah. Long car shots in, from Maniac, sniped down, getting tickled, up. enabled, double gunned as Ace and, and Maniac are surging one. forward. One it's going to be a legit last one. Up, small opportunity for Carbon. 90 seconds still to play. One player up in pink, two surviving it. Sniped down, who finally goes down. And goes to Yami here, has to be a hero. Elmite says no, both picks as Elamite, the captain, is showing up in a big way in the final two minutes. Another Ace kill here as the Elams have control of mission. Yeah, dude. Carbon just trapped in their base right now. Can't even get out. Bubble, they're bubble, they're bubble. And it, they're almost at the point of the game where if they can just keep the bomb on the other, just even even a little bit on the other side of the map, right? Even halfway in Carbon's base, it's a time workout, right? Time wise, just alone. 20 more which is what they do. The the yeah, yeah, they're oh, going, going for a second play. score, right? You want to put this the exclamation point on the scoreboard. 30 seconds to go. It's only a matter of time. Last ditch effort from Snipe down. He's going to stop the bomb plant. But what else can they do with it? Agency continues to pour in. Legit is there the cover here from Elamite as they are just moments away from celebrating Ninja. That's it. Let's go. Let's Congratulations go. to the agency, man. Let's go. The Elam brothers, wow. man. Let's go, the agency. Ace. The six. We are the Let's six go, percent. <laughs> we are yeah. the six percent. Let's go. I love these guys, man. Hey, and I believe this marks the first, I would say, the first legitimate big boy tournament that AC and Atlanta won together in front of Yes! Deserved. And legit, wow. I love legit and Maniac so much. Honestly, I'm so happy that they won. <laughs> I love that Kyle was able to grab legit with the fourth and final pick. Maniac scooped up was definitely a power decision and a power play. The man drops 26 assists in addition to 38 kills the ginger getting the job done but if i was voting for your pizza hut mvp how can you go with anyone other than ace 41 kills in the final game of the tournament after putting on a show in game three as they locked it up on lockout d mac ninja boy this was a blast coming back watching halo 2 gave me all kinds of feels i didn't know i could feel anymore ninja same same. I haven't felt like this in a long time watching watching anything, right? Well, I, I watch LCS, man. I've been watching Valorant. I've been watching so many esports, so much esports. This is not, it's not even come close, bro. This is D-Max. so good. Take us through Best the Thursday. highlights, brother. Let's relive this game number four. This is some star-studded competition, but the agency made it look easy. Bro, they made it look easy. They came into this tournament with a certain type of confidence. Obviously, I was kidding the whole time about Elamite and Ace, Ace cheating, and now I'm they not so cheating. sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> they look very dominant. And, and 
this was fantastic. And again, I'm going to say they should have been teaming a little bit uh, towards the end of Halo 3 because this was fantastic. Absolutely. Shout out to everyone who came back to witness these pros go at it once again. Ace didn't really compete at the top level in Halo 2, but he shows you if you gave him the chance, he definitely could have kept up with the rest. He and his brother, Elamite Warrior, drafting a great team and putting in the work tonight. They're going to lock up our number one spot. Ninja originally, we're just going to give them what? $4,000? You have tripled that. We'll talk about all of the numbers, oh, the crazy. Doritos, and more on the other side of this break. Rebel Soul Child got a fist ball. I'm a respawn of ancestors, and I'm blessed, huh? They are not him. Tell him fess up. I get checks up. Hella carefree. Nothing scares me. Hella reckless. Yeah, I got next up, right? No, we not the same. Cause see, when I look in your iris, you likely to talk and I'm ready to ride. You do better keeping it quiet. My pen is ignited. My soul is enlightened. I like who I am, but I'm biased. The palette is right on my drip is a fountain. I'm not like these regular guys. All of that talk is misguided. She like the way I make the tape print. But the way I make the words play is grim. I'm the reaper reaching for the kill switch. The label cut the check like the blaze smith. Something's sparking where his brain is. The beat is somewhere where they prayers sent. Geronimo, the way I make the bass jump when no parachute is tasteless. They likely to run their mouth, but when they see you face to face, they quick with the shape shift. Up through the night, work the grave shift. Battle from the cradle to the grave. Big mad how they face tense. Look both ways for you catch fade. I'm a nice guy on the inside. Still, I'm not somebody to be played with. Keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on a swivel, yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way a thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on a swivel, yeah. It's only really my surroundings. Can't stop, won't stop. Till I told the world when the glow trap. Bet I keep it out like it's so top. Type of thing I hide in a tube sock. I done skipped town on a new block. But I'm still around if you just not. Better hold it down with a group drop where I kick down for the crowd of a loop pop. Let them come around for my moolah. Better run them out of town for their hoopla. Queen, she a hun like Mulan. Everything the hoes, what they were, but they just not. They be right up in your face with a fake stop. They be thinking it's a game, but it's just not. They be thinking we the same, but they sub part. Get from joy through the mud when the flush stop, pull up. Hey, I feel amazing. Pyramid scheme, how I play the angle. I send it to your girl, but I make a facelift. This is your brain, little bitch. Hey, I be hella wild, but you can't tame me. Got the keys to the cradle with no cable. Smell it like basil. Yeah, I got the flavor. I ain't got no patience. Kept it with a savor. I be on a nerve, better feel painful. Make a sound when I serve, had a dish taste. Triple conversation. Give them waves till they make shit. The flotation, it's outrageous. Righteous with the sound, but a finger raising to the whole nation. Yelling out 12 till they throw me in the cell, but I make bail for the young and rebellious generation. Keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drown in. I head on a swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way a thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drown in. I head on a swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. Welcome back. It's Twitch Rivals, the Halo 2 throwback. We got Ninja in the building. We got DMAC on the mic. And we've got four brand new champions here in Halo 2. A squad that could never compete on the MLG Pro Circuit together, but was put together in our draft. Ninja, the agency, they came out swinging and they put an exclamation point on a fantastic event tonight. Dude, I, 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 wish, I wish it didn't end there, man. You know? But, uh... Yeah? I'm so I'm so happy for the boys. Should we do this again? Yes, yes we should. Yes, I, I absolutely, man. That was so much fun. I could do this once a month, Amazing. minimum. 
Let's take a look at the numbers here, Tyler. We tripled the money with your $100,000 contribution. That means that T-Squared and Straight Ripping are walking home with $12,000. Walshy, Naded, Hysteria, and Captain Anarchy representing Final Boss taking home $24,000. 36K is going to Ghost Ami, Snipe Down, Snake Fight, and Naval from Team Carbon. And your champions with $48,000. And Doritos for days. We're talking a full year supply of Doritos. It is the agency, Evil Might Warrior, Ace, Maniac, and Legit, the squad that, honestly, when I saw it on paper, I was like, top half's looking pretty scary, bottom half, we'll have to find out. Well, Maniac, he definitely believed the hype. He lived up to the hype with 38 kills in that final game. DMAC, it was a full team effort. The, this was amazing. It, it really felt like 2007. They were right in it, and it was high level of play. That stretch by Ace in game three was incredible. You know, it, it felt like this dude had been playing for a long time. And yeah, man, it, yeah. I, I was very, very happy and nostalgic with today. Don't jump the giraffe. Okay, chat, your votes are <laughs> in. It's time to reveal your MVP with a little help from our partners at Pizza Hut. Love you, Pizza Hut. Just like no one out pizzas the hut, no one could stop today's MVP in the game. So let's unbox our MV pizza and see who this winner is. Ooh, pepperoni and ace. I would eat this up. Oh, yeah. Get a slice oh, of that. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Hey, let me get two slices of that real quick. <laughs> you know That's what I'm saying? 15 kills in a row. At least he put out a show on lockout and he put up the biggest numbers in our final game of midship bomb. If you're looking at the numbers, Ace has got some of the best and is definitely our Pizza Hut MVP. Guys, we talked a little bit about the players, but now it's time to talk to the players. Please welcome to the show all four members from our championship squad. I got Maniac, I got Legit, I've got my man Ace and Evil Mike. Coming up right now. Was it really you playing, Brian? Because we never saw a face cam. The stream looked pretty good, but is Legit back in Halo 2? Brian? Champions, look. Classic Brian. No, hey, no mic, no oh, cam. Great job, guys. He hasn't changed job. it. <laughs> no, I care, you guys. Bro. Can they hear okay. him? Yo, uh, Eli, I hear you. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, bro. All right, you're with me. Okay, so Kyle, we got to talk about this because let's be honest, you're the reason everyone now has $12,000 in their pockets. Your comms were incredible, but you led this team from the get-go in the free-for-all. This was the squad you wanted. You drafted the boys. How did they live up to the hype today? What did you think of the squad, and how are you feeling after winning a Halo 2 tournament 15 years later? Whoa, Puckett, this is a loaded question here. There's a lot in there. We need to touch yeah, this. There's four. There's four uh, but what I will say is that first. that was so much fun. I, I don't even think I've had this much fun since I can remember. Not Since pre-COVID, probably, right? So, like, this was absolutely amazing. And getting to, like, talk and hang out with all these guys was, like, truly a blessing. And, and sure, that we're all super stiff competitors, but just, like, being able to reminisce on this with, and go through it, the games with everybody, uh, truly is something I will never forget because it was so much fun. And, of course, a shout-out to the to my teammates and Cisco, of course, our coach, for, for helping out. But, yeah, I literally feel amazing. Wait, you had a coach? Uh, it's almost bittersweet because I don't want it to end yet. Yo, Maniac, is that some new ink we got there on the neck for the champion? $12, yeah, dollars We can get a back piece to go with that. Throw that. Oh, uh, there's there's <laughs> going to be a bunch coming. All 12K straight to the tats. Let's go. <laughs> oh Yo, what was What's it up, like, D-Mac? bro? Because we all saw you. We all saw you win with what up, baby? PH. What was it like playing Halo 2 with a, a youngster like Ace on your team? <laughs> Uh, I mean, low key Ace was our hard carry. I mean, I was MVP, but I would say Ace <laughs> was more of the the slayer, the hard carry. Um, these guys, Kyle and Aaron, have I think been grinding a little bit, so that definitely helped us. Uh, I'm just glad I didn't do bad because I only played like <laughs> five or six social matches before this, so I'm glad I came out played pretty well. <laughs> I'm glad you played well. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, Aaron, bro, I've always been saying it. You're one of the best. Uh, first of all, it's amazing to see all four of you. 
Okay, it's like four homies that I haven't seen in a while, and I hope to see y'all in person for real. And bro, and bro, I know. Just say it. Y'all were cheating. You and your brother <laughs> were sitting next to each other. The whole part of it. No, but for real, bro, uh, it, it kind of looked like it. It, it kind of looked like you had it dropped a step. Is this the team that y'all talk about making this squad before the tournament started? Yeah, hey, who did you want to play squad? with? Did you want to play with your brother, or were you kind of boned when Kyle snatched you up early on? Uh, I started to think that he was the best captain, like recently, um, especially you know on host, and also the fact that he lives in California with me. So not with me, but. He lives in Los Angeles, and I live in California, so <laughs> I knew the connection would be. I knew the connection would be good, and there's no, there's no sneaker going around. I'm not at his house or anything. I'm, far away. I'm just playing. There's I'm no just cheating playing. going on. I think I saw that same dog in his background. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear that dog? In the background? Uh, I visited his house before, but no, I don't live with him, so there's no collusion. Trust. Yeah. No, but I yeah, I wanted well. to be on his team, and I figured, you know. I was going to say, if I didn't get, he didn't pick me, I know I was going to get picked. So he had to get me if he wanted to team with me. Yeah, my uh, my whole go. strategy right. was to get Aaron first. Because, uh, that, I mean, that was with the free-for-all. Even we could choose our own pick order. I knew if I had Aaron, like, we're, like, a good backbone of the team. And if we have people that, you know, can do what they need to do, uh, that we had a really, really good chance of taking it. So uh, it was actually kind of funny. Our name was is an acronym for our last name, Elam. So, right, like, Elamite, Legit. Ace and Maniac. So it was kind of funny once we realized that that was actually what it was. The things oh, were starting to look no. good. And, I didn't and, even uh, put that together. Everyone just stepped up. Discord, man. Someone wow. Jesus. Written in the That's stars. That's nerdy right? stuff, guys. We cool. recognize that. I hope it was someone in your chat and not you, Kyle, because if so, you're thinking about way too many things today. Now you got to think about how you're going to spend the money, though. You got $48,000. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's give you one last chance to plug it because we're going to ride this all the way through Infinite. This is the first of many Halo tournaments coming our way, hopefully, on Twitch Rivals. So, Kyle, where can people watch it? What are you streaming on your channel on a daily basis? Oh, man, I'm all about that Halo grind, right? So we do tons of MCC, but Back for Blood and a few other ones as well. So, you know, definitely appreciate the follows. And, yeah, I just want to thank you guys again. Dude, Pucket, thank you so much for casting Halo. Love having you here, DMAC. And then, you know, big shout-out to Twitch Rivals and Ninja. Like, Tyler, thank you so much, dude. Like, what you did today was amazing for all of us, especially in people's mm -hmm. individual streams. And, uh, you know, obviously, we got your back no matter what, dude. Love you so much, dude. Thank you Love again. You guys. Really, really appreciate agreed, it. Agreed. Love you guys, awesome. man. Congrats, I man. love yeah. everybody involved here. And take a screenshot right now so you can write down their Twitch streams later. It's Ace TV, BTH Maniac, one of the funniest men on the planet. And now with a beautiful neck tattoo to go with that stream. And Legit Gaming TV is a real person. We're going to identify his face later. <laughs> Still waiting for some <laughs> images to be shipped up from Mexico. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. 48 grand in the year supply of Doritos is now all yours. And we have to sign off from the agency shout out for joining us here for halo 2 miss you guys man love you guys let's go let's go baby love it ninja we're about at the end man was this your plan did twitch rivals give you the call how did this all come about because i i gotta send some flowers i gotta send some thank you cards after this one yeah dude no this was this was uh they they shot the idea rivals shot the idea by me they were like would you be interested in doing uh, a rivals tournament i was like yeah of course and then they pitched uh halo and i think a couple of other games and i was like halo makes the most sense and uh, the, the, the Rivals team just absolutely killed it. They were like, which Halo? I said Halo 2, no shot. I'm not mm -hmm. going to do it. I love Halo 3, um, but no way it was going to be H2A or any other. It had to be Halo 2. And then I think I, I handpicked like at least 16. I mean, I'm pretty sure I gave them a list of 8 to 16 of the pros that I needed to be in it. And I think they were all here. So, dude, shout out to I the team at, at Twitch, man. They killed it. And uh, Wow. I just want this. We're to looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to Infinite. Please carry me in that first week. I could use the exposure on TikTok. DMAC, you are going to be traveling the globe. Where are you going next? Where can the people catch your comedy show? Because you know all the OGs in the chat are buying tickets when you're in their hometown. Bro, uh, uh, yeah, please come see me live. That that's great. I'm in New York at the Comedy Cellar regularly. That and so and also you can see me in Houston. Uh, September 17th and DC October 15th to the 17th. 
There we go. Much love to my man, Nexi. He's making music on the West Coast. I saw people asking about Julia Alexandria. She's got a baby in San Diego, living her best life, still working on baseball. And, of course, my man, Farouk They stopped by the Overwatch League. He and his son came and checked it out. They're still into gaming. They're crushing it there on the West Coast. Your OG family is still intact. And as you can tell, (laughs) so are the players. I want to say thank you so much on behalf of everyone here working behind the scenes on Twitch Rivals. That's going to do it for our Halo 2 event, but you got more rivals coming your way. Shout out to Ninja, shout out to DMAC, but up next, you're going to hear some different casters coming your way August 24th. Rocket League's EU Showdown is kicking off at 9 o'clock Pacific. On the 25th, we go back to Call of Duty Warzone for a showdown, and then of course, on the 26th, it's Chess, Hand, and Brain Showdown. We'll see who's got the biggest noggin on Twitch.tv. Big shout out to the partners, Pizza Hut, Dunkin', State Farm, Doritos, Samsung, and Verizon, and everyone who helped make this possible today. Halo fans, I love you. This is it for me, but I hope to see you all soon with Halo Infinite. I'm going face. I'm going face. I got two. They're paying. They're paying. We're going to add an extra $100,000 of my own money into the prize pool across the board for you guys to compete in. If you weren't sweating before. This is why we love Ninja. Ninja is the man. One shot wash, you turn. Yeah, right, 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 right. I'm blocking you guys. No cards, come on, stop.